Hey guys, it's Minx here. Sorry for the lack of uploads, just been recuperating after Christmas, but things are going to go back into full swing with lots of long plays as we come into the new year. Want to shout out our Patreon supporter, Wizkid Sid, for the support. Thank you so much, Wizkid. Thank you so much for supporting us on that $50 tier. It is so, so crucial for us keeping this channel running to have support like that. So thank you so much. I also want to shout out, of course, our producer, Alice. Her links are on screen right about now, so make sure you throw Alice some love because she is a beautiful, amazing, fantastic, wondrous Nomkin. This play through is cookie cutter it's it's something and it I get a little salty towards the end but overall it's a pretty good game and i hope you guys enjoy it guys it's probably not worth saying this but we only need two subs to hit our patreon goal for the month with only three days to go it's gonna be really clutch if we do do it but two subs at any tier you can even subscribe for a year in advance to get a discount have a look see what you think link in the description if just two of you did it, even at the $1 tier, that would make life so much dumber for us, and we could hit our goal. Anyway, sit back, relax, it's a long one, this is Cookie Cutter. Hey guys, it's Minx here, hope you are doing well, I hope you had a great holiday period. This is Cookie Cutter. This is a horror-based Metroidvania, focused around very unpleasant body horror, and talking vaginas. We're going to have a wonderful time with this one. I played a little bit on stream to get a feel for it, but I'm going to start a fresh save here because I've forgotten everything I did, and I want to start from the beginning. But that does mean that I will know what I'm doing a bit better and get through the opening a lot faster than I originally did. So we're going to jump in from here and begin Cookie Cutter. First, there was the void. There are no the subtitles in this. Came the matter. And like a cancer floating within nothingness, the megastructure, many sought to discover its secrets, but all failed. All, that is, except for Victor Garbanzos. He led the Infonet Corporation deep into the heart of the megastructure and vanished. For years he was gone, presumed lost like all others. But one day Victor returned. He emerged from the heart of the megastructure with incredible knowledge, unbelievable technologies, and immeasurable power. To the astonishment of the people, he declared that the worthy would no longer fear death, that the Infonet Corporation would forever preserve their souls in immortal metallic bodies. Metallic bodies called Denzels. At his command, the Denzels built the magnificent Golden City, Mecca to the Chosen, epicenter to all the knowledge and the power of the megastructure. All that was 212 years ago. The Garbanzos family and their Infonet Corporation still rule the megastructure today. No one knows what was found in the shadows centuries ago, or the true nature of the power that it gave. But the promised utopia was a lie. The Denzels aren't blissful, eternal vessels for devoted souls. They are the mechanized prisons of industrial slaves, bound forever to the will and whim of the noble corporation. Rebels fight against the tyranny, but their efforts are hopeless. Infonet's twisted armies are just too powerful. My name is Shinji Fallon. Once the engineer at Infonet, I was a part of their machine. And yes, I stood by as lives were destroyed, but no more. I will end this. My only hope is to know what they know. For that, I must follow in their footsteps and journey to the heart of the megastructure. I built my own Denzel, one beyond their control. I've manufactured Denzels before, but this one was different. This was creation, not construction. As the spark of her took hold, there was something something i didn't expect something i didn't even know that she, i was looking she does for. fuck her own robot yes she <clears throat> cherry gave life to me she is my happiness we shared a beautiful life together but we still planned to find the truth we just never got the chance because one night infinite Came for us. Yeah, body horror in this is pretty nasty, as you're about to see more of.
All right, lovely little opening scene there, setting the scene. We do play as Cherry in this, even though she's feeling a little worse for wear at the moment after having been shot in the head and pounded into basically paste. Um, but because she's an android, we'll manage, okay? Maybe not great. We don't look too hot right now. As you can see. This game is visceral, I think is the word I would use to describe this one. Wonderfully visceral. Let's see if we can catch up to Shinji before she is taken away from us. Here we are. Got voice Why acting. would I do that? Really, Shinji? Does this thing actually mean something to you? Just let her be, Salem. You got me. Please, give her back to me. I don't think so. Hey, the gates. Dispose of this abomination. The robot thing is, in called, is indeed called dickheads uh, because their heads are shaped like massive cocks. <laughs> and Chrism sneezed in the background there. It's quite adorable, though, so I'll let it slide. Wait! Uh, yeah, Cherry's not doing too well. Look at those lovely intestines everywhere. So yeah, Salem and the dickheads have captured Shinji, uh, and uh, we're going to need a bit of recovery time to go and save her. Uh, by the way, those little glitches, that they are part of the cutscenes, they're not, they're not my computer, they're, they're like, it's meant to be like cybernetic and stuff, so it has those weird little glitches. But yeah, uh, time to save uh, our creator and girlfriend at the same time as they are the same person, and uh, pull ourselves together, literally. After this loading screen, which is taking fucking ages for some reason. Da -da 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 -da. This is on PS5 and Series X as well. I'm playing this on PC, but... Um, I'm really into Metrovanias. I have another one I want to do a full playthrough of called The Last Faith that I started on stream too, but I'm probably not going to get around to for a while because I don't want to do two Metroidvanias back to back, but it's really good. Like, I would say amazing, actually. Like, I love it. I probably like it more than this one, but this one's really good too. So, uh, you know, uh, I do want to diversify genres here on the channel, like I've said, so, morning, you know. kiddo. Wasn't sure if you were going to get out of bed today. Oof, yeah, gotta say. I felt better. This is the new look cherry with her slightly different body. You look better too. <laughs> you have the nightmares again? Ugh, don't want to talk about it. I'm going to take that as a yes. Jog loose any new memories about your primary function, at least. Not even remotely. That's my life. I know it's confusing. Just give yourself some time. How about we talk about some good news instead? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Lay it on me. You should know already, Cherry. Can't you feel it? I surely can. So this is Regina, who is Cherry's vagina. Um, you can see her glowing between her legs on the skirt here. She talks to us at various times throughout the game and has a horrifically adorable face just below the labia. Stress testing is complete and I'm happy to report that your core structure is powered up and firing on all cylinders. Cookie Cutter is fully active. Whoa, whoa, whoa down there. Hold up. You're saying I'm good to go? You better believe it. All systems are in the clear, girly. It's finally time to bring Shinji back home. Hell yeah! Ugh, I've wasted enough time already. Let's freaking do this! Take care of yourself, Raz. I owe you one. And you're right, you're right. And you're right. <laughs> Listen, I know my timing ain't the best, but I'm gonna call in that favor now, if you don't mind. <laughs> you don't waste any time, do you? Okay, what you need? Ah, uh, you know, no big. Just a huge, ugly bug stole my backpack and fled underground. It's got all my tools in it, but those creepy suckers scared the shit out of me. No way I'm going down there. Can you maybe do me a solid and retrieve it? Fine, you big baby. I'll squash the scary bugs for you. <laughs> I'll be back before you get hungry. Oh, that's hurtful. I'm working on me every day. But I'm gonna need those tools if you want me to work on you. Thanks. Glad we resolved this. Off you go. See you on the flip. <laughs> 
girl. So Raz is in charge of upgrades for our body. Um, if you ever fall during battle, your body will be reconstructed at the last visited checkpoint. This will happen a lot. This is a very difficult game. Um, but anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know. The first quest is to get Raz's tools because Raz will be the person who like operates on us and runs our body and all that kind of stuff. Need a double jump to go this way, as you can see here, by the way. Um, double jump is the first skill we're going to focus on getting, but for now, let's do the basics. Very fast, fluid movement, as you see. Pretty standard stuff here. I sense danger ahead. Your quick attack to dispose of this enemy threat. Don't forget, you can do combos if you execute your quick attack in rapid succession. All right, let's do some combos. Combat in this is brutal, by the way. Don't deal a lot of damage, but they do recharge your void. Pay attention to the white bar in the upper left corner as you fight your next enemy. You can spend voids to use weapons and combat abilities you'll find on your journey. The combat in this is very like combo focused and heavy, from what I've seen. Avoid enemy attacks and even hazards simply by rolling out of harm's way. All right, first little combat tutorial done. It's a currency that can be exchanged all around the mega structure for goods. Don't be shy to defeat any potential threats. They can drop valuable materials that will likely be useful to you in the future. Isn't that wonderful, guys? All right, going down here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there's a secret here, clearly. Like any Metroidvania, there's a ton of secrets and bits we can't access on the map early on and we will gradually get them. This is a chest for an upgrade. We got the gauntlet. So this is like our strong attack, but it drains our mana. Sherry, be careful. The gauntlet deals great damage, but also consumes void. Keep an eye on your void meter as you fight these conveniently dropped goon robots. Not conveniently dropped goon robots. Whatever shall we do, chat? Oh, there wasn't trophies when I first played this, but there are now. Isn't that lovely, guys? We'll have lots of pleasant unlocking noises as we play. You can also finish enemies in glorious fashion when they're stunned. Once their HP is critical, just press the heavy attack button when near them for powerful finishes. Now we're talking. I get to brutalize them? I'm gonna make it rain blood. <laughs> Disturbing, but technically accurate. Brutalizing enemies will generate void spheres that will recover void in large amounts. Think of these as like the final attacks in the new new Doom games. They're brutal, as you can see. I just ripped that guy's eye out through his mouth. Which I didn't think was possible, but apparently it is. And then you get more void, which you can use to use your weapons again. Nice and simple gameplay loop. There you go, I did a combo it wanted me to do. That's how wonderful I am, guys. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Stun enemies by parrying their attacks with the parry button. This only works if you get the timing just right. Here's a hint. Parryable attacks flash blue before enemies land strikes. A successful parry will deplete enemies of their grit, which is represented by their yellow bars. As their grit reaches zero, they will be stunned and susceptible to all of your violence. Be careful, however, because not all attacks are parryable. Something I will say, guys, is, um... <laughs> Parrying, if you watch the streams, you know my thoughts on parrying in video games. It rarely ever works because the timing is always so RNG. Um, I'm doing my best. I'll do my best to parry this for a bit, but I'm not going to, like, fucking die here. Yeah, I, I already give up. Fuck that. I hate parrying in fucking combat games. It just barely ever works. It's so fiddly. I hate it. And uh, you could get through this game easily enough by rolling, it's not like a key thing. So we're just going to focus on rolling, because fuck parrying. Luckily, if you find yourself injured, you can always trigger your healing function and spend void to replenish your health bar. So you can always heal as long as you have void. And that pink thing on the left constantly recharges void, as you can see there. Nice and easy.
But yeah, parrying, oh God, I, I don't think it ever works. Like, I absolutely hate it in the, every game I've played. Got some lore here. Damn, this burger is TNT. Explosive as a nuke. Addictive like a loop. These are the all two mutant patties. Atomic sauce, radioactive pickles, creamy mosquito pus, and a synthetic fluffy bun. Come to K-Napalm, the king of nuclear taste. Are you brave enough? No, is the answer to that question. I am definitely not brave enough to eat mosquito pus. I think we'll just move on. Pretty standard roll under thing there you can do. This thing, we need a special ability that I have yet to unlock at all, where we pound the ground to get through there. But, you know, it's there. You can look at the map with this button. That's the wrong button. This one, perfect. I'll be pressing the wrong button all the time in this because it's the opposite to fucking switch controls, which is what I'm used to. There's the bug that stole the backpack. And here's the backpack. Excellent. You got Raz's backpack. It's heavy and rusty and contains some useful tools. Bodes well that I failed that basic jump right at the start there, doesn't it? Well, would you look at that? You found my backpack. I gotta be honest, I thought you were gonna die. I'm glad you didn't, though. Now, I've got a proper reward for you. So listen, the sector has two different exits. Take this here key to open the gates on either side, and you'll be able to explore the world beyond. One last thing. If you find any components along the way, bring them back to me, and maybe I can upgrade them for you. Thanks, man. Although I find your lack of faith disturbing. There was no way those silly bugs were going to stop me. Yeah, I know, I know. You just go out there and bring Shinji back. All right, we got the key. Basically, there's two areas we can go to early on. I, we have to go to one, back to the other, then back to the other, really, for maximum These are Shinji's work. logs. Unfortunately, they seem... Okay, so Shinji's logs are there, but later on we can perhaps encrypt them. You can rest on the central hub here. There are a bunch of characters we can bring back to this central area in order to, uh, like, man shops and things and give us different upgrades and stuff. And that is what we are going to be doing as we progress through the game. We're going to be populating the central hub to make it a wonderful, safe place. But for now, we're going to follow Regina's advice and go in here. I will say, it's probably, it's probably quite nice to have a talking mechanical vagina. You know, they, they seem to have good bants, these two, you know what I mean? I've been investigating this location on the net. It appears to be a Denzel factory abandoned by Infonet due to an unspecified incident. Maybe we can find something useful in here. So this area has tougher combat than the other side, but it does get us double jump, which makes the other side a lot easier, which is what we're going to focus on first, is getting double jump. Then we're going to go to the other side, get some stuff from there, and then come back and fight the boss over on this side. And get the main ability on this side. And then go back to the other side! Isn't that exciting, everyone? Lots of back and forth, which we will definitely be doing in this game. As for editing, I'll try and do it like I did this with Benedict Scott, um, which is a Metro I played earlier this year. You should probably check that out if you haven't. It's a good playthrough. Um, I will probably try and um, cut out backtracking and things like that, but show things that are new as we go through. That rhymed. It's not excellent. You can destroy everything in this for loot. So here we can't do the door through the door as you see because it's got a force field, so we need to go up and have a look around. There is lore you can find as well, knocking around all these sections, which is quite interesting, so probably worth a read to give a more background to this fairly interesting and insane world that we have found ourselves in here. Hang on, we can just try the cameras. The cameras don't do shit in this section. There might be camera sections later on that I don't know about, but at the moment, nice and easy. And we got our first upgrade, whatever this will be. Oh, it's not, it's just it's just stuff. I mean, I guess it is an upgrade, because it goes towards buying upgrades later on, but still. It's not what I wanted. 
game is going to be focused a lot on having unlocking shortcuts and things like that. Noble President, with deep regret I'm obliged to inform you of the desperate situation linked to the production of new Denzels. Production is expected to drop by 72% by the end of this week. The remaining void particles were used to power the development of the Nexus. Immediate action is needed to resolve the stolen resources. I remain faithful to you as always and in the certainty that all our enemies will be destroyed. Respectfully, Otto M. Stein, Robotic Engineer. So this place is not doing well, obviously. We'll figure out why it's abandoned. And now, let's unlock the door back to where we were, but we can go forward this way now. And yes, that is a panty shot every time she moves. Pretty much. She shows her underwear every time she slightly moves this main character. Which I strongly approve of, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, need double jump to get up here to get the item that's up there, but we'll be back for it in a bit. Just gonna check around here. I'm not sure what each is each way. You can push all the enemies in this game into the various horrific traps that lurk around the complexes, which is pretty fun. These guys here are absolute fucking assholes. They do crazy damage. The way you kill them is great though, you literally bend their spine until they snap in half. Alright. Sometimes you can break down walls, it will show you on the map. The map is very good at showing you like where everything is you need to do and backtrack to later on. It'll show you missed stuff, what's important, that kind of thing, you know. I guess the usual stuff for a Metroidvania, but I'm used to quite a lot of Metroidvanias having pretty unclear maps. Like, in The Last Faith, which is, I say is great, you do have to mark everything on the map yourself. Whereas in this, it pretty much does it for you, which is... I'm not gonna lie, a massive fucking relief to people like me who are completely incompetent at, you know, paying attention to things. I'm just going to backtrack a little bit because I feel I missed something quite important this way. But I can't remember or not if I did. The enemies do stay dead until you leave like the entire biome, which is pretty handy, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, this way. Lots of nasty electricity here, but there's also this, which is important. As you can tell by the gratuitousness of the panty shot that we got on your ability. You've always wanted to spit fire from your skull, but now you can! Press RB to shoot a void bullet, capable of hitting distant enemies. This will be very useful. It does drain void, also, obviously, but uh, we now have a ranged attack, which makes life significantly easier uh, when it comes to certain enemies and certain fights later on. Very easy to run out of void using it, though, from what I recall. Whatever way we go here... We're gonna miss stuff. Any secret here? Nope. I hate these guys. I hate them so much. At least he's dead. This over here, don't know what this is, but it's a new ability that I haven't unlocked yet at all at any point in the game, so we'll come back to that. It's like a bat, it looks like to me, but I don't think it is. I think it's something else. It looks like a robot bat, let's be honest, but I don't. I think it's probably... Oh, what if it could be a fast travel point, maybe? I don't know. It's the full lap now? I think we have... yeah. Just want to make sure we map everything out as we go, otherwise we could be in trouble later on. We'll be coming through here again though, uh, with the double jump to make sure we get everything. Nothing major though here. This is interesting. What goes this way? Uh, we need the double jump to get up here, I would assume. Definitely. Alright, so this is a double jump area we can't get to yet. 
What is it about Metroidvanias, by the way, in Double Jump? I feel it's like the, the most standard fucking move out of everything in terms of unlocking map. I guess it's like the easiest thing to do to unlock a new map, right, is a Double Jump. It's like, well, what can we do to make it harder for someone to progress through a map? Make it so you can't do the jump? All right, but then they need to do it eventually. Well, just add the Double Jump then. Herp -a -derp. Ooh, a little secret here. I'm not sure I found this before. Found more stuff, though. That stuff will let us buy upgrades later on, which is obviously very handy. Oh dear, we're trapped. Cherry, we should find a way out this room. I'm sensing immediate danger. Yeah? Well, I'm sensing it's time to have some fun. So these are wave fights. You kill everything in the room to get out. This is where the game gets pretty difficult. This first one's fine, but they're going to get pretty bullshit pretty quickly. But when you win, you do get a lovely present, which is adorable, and it's all like wrapped and cute and everything, it's lovely. One thing I do like, by the way, is this character doesn't like swearing. Everyone else in the game will just drop F-bombs and shit, but when she swears, she censors herself, but she's okay with like, dismembering people and shit like that. But swearing is a no-no. It's like the American media. Look at these scrubs dying. Nice and easy. Boom, boom, boom. So this thing lets you teleport to previous locations. So we can teleport back to the Hidden Diner any time from here, which we will be doing so shortly, but first we need to go around and get an ability that's under the floor in this section, unfortunately for us. It's down... Can I actually go down and get it? No, I see. That's where I will come out when we get our double jump. But for now, time to kill more fucking arseholes. We go very try-hardy when I do these bits, guys, because I have to focus up quite a lot. But hopefully there's enough visceral shit going on for you guys to be like, holy shit, this is crazy. Some of these fights are going to genuinely really test my limited gaming abilities as they are. And we got the present, there we go. Nice and nice and easy. Door's gonna open. Oh, we got a platform going up here. Let's go and have a little look-see, shall we? Oh, look, an item. Ooh, a real item. Let's see what we got here. Energy cell. Okay, so these are super important. Basically, if we find energy cells, guys, what we can do is use them to install plugins uh, back at the diner that make us more powerful, like more health, more damage, that kind of thing, right? However, you can only install up to your current battery power. So the more batteries you find, the more com extra bits you can install, essentially. So it's like a hard cap on how much you can install, and the more you find, the more powerful you get. Makes sense? No? Good. I'm actually going to go left here, because we're going to go back to this place later on. No, I'm not, apparently, because this is a closed door. So I guess this is the way. There's a way forward, and there's a way to, like, a super difficult area that I'd like to clear the other side out first before doing. 
because I spent ages on it when I was doing it on stream. I'm not kidding. Like, my playtime's two hours. I spent 35 minutes of that on one room. Uh, but I'm pretty confident if I go to the other side first, I'll be much better at it this time. Wow. To heal a bit here. First time I've had to heal in the whole game. It's not actually true. I healed a bit earlier, right? Double eyeball grab, the best kind. Need a double jump to get up there. This is a fight. Yeah, these guys here, this thing, this thing here, the worst enemy in the game. It's a fucking nightmare to deal with under every situation it comes up in. It's horrible. Great killing move there, though. You literally rip out its inner bits. Does a ton of damage and really fucks you up really easily. Not done yet. That's it. Nope, more squids. Two squids at once, I'm in trouble. Oh god, the damage is insane. Holy shit, I'm alive. I'm not quite sure how. Not much longer though, if I keep fucking that up. I got hit by two at once there, which was not good for my health. Alright, did it first time. Those things are spicy. This isn't the room that I really struggled with, though. The room I really struggled with is coming up. That was easy. GG easy. Let's tag that quickly. Don't really recognize where I am here. That ties back to where we were, so we unlocked a shortcut, you see? Isn't that numb? Oh my god. For now, let's keep rolling this way. They see me rolling. These hazards suck, by the way. They're gonna kill me a lot. get trophies for X number of fatalities. You probably do. Need a double jump for up there. Oh yeah, did you see that combo? Straight into the reactor, right into my fists. Excellent. Double eye grab. This fucking arsehole is going to hit me. But now he's dead. We're going the right way, by the way. This is where I need to be. Any shortcuts here? Doesn't look like it. Let's keep going. All the, like, the rare uh, the artifacts and stuff I'm finding, like the cracked mask and stuff, they're all used to build new skills. Um, like health upgrades and weapon upgrades and things like that, which is really important to smash it because you might find something that you need to finish off something. If that makes sense. I think it makes sense. Everything I say makes sense. What am I saying? I have never been known to talk shit at any point. Noble President, a threatening message reached us this morning. We now share with you the words of our enemies. There is no hatred in justice. There is no suffering in the blood of the purified enemy. A soul does not belong to anyone, not even to the body that contains it. We will come to take your head and finally you'll be free, the Drifters. 
The sender of the above message is now under interrogation. Very soon we will know from which sector these terrorists occupy. The enemy's forces are clearly inferior to us. All deleting attacks have been repelled with extreme ease. Your strength accompanies us all, noble president. Always faithful, Tiberius Nielsen, head of security. Well, they seem a lot more confident than that first email. I'm guessing this took place beforehand. The reason these guys suck is their roll attack, unless you roll through it, is always going to hit you and do crazy damage. And you are meant to roll through it or parry it, which you definitely can do. I'm just terrible at it, which is the problem. Like, it's definitely avoidable. I'm just really, really, really <laughs> shit at avoiding it. Oh god, I forgot about this bit. I'm not quite sure why these guys are here. They're not in this sector, apart from in this room. But there'll be a normal enemy on the other sector. Along with some very unpleasant shit. Heal up here a bit. I like the little heart that goes around her when she heals. It's very cute. Not done yet. Got a squid to deal with. Two squids, in fact. Isn't that great? Okay, we might be alright here. Double kill. We are not alright here yet. We almost died there, but we have not died yet. Just trying to kill the squid before anything else. Okay, good. Squid is dead. Focus up, come on. Heal. I actually don't need to heal. Now I do. I hate the fact you can't jump high enough at the moment to get them. I need the double jump. We're so need we're rooms away from it. Literally rooms away. We did it, guys. First time again. Not bad at all. See, I couldn't have done this without your moral support. This fucking arsehole. I hate him so much. Hey, at least everything's dying over here, I guess. Any secrets here? No. I swear there were secrets in this map. Oh my god, I'm gonna die to the fucking squid. Maybe not. Holy shit. I survived. Holy shit, that was clutch. Never trust the squids, guys. They're just a pain in the ass. I mean, I'm not advocating you trust them anyway, but you know. If you were thinking about trusting them, don't- Oh my god, that was really bad! Jump straight into the fucking thing. Secret door? Yeah! Hell yeah. Got some lore here? No, we just got some soft stems, whatever the fuck they are. I think I want- A lot of these things I'm a little reluctant to put inside me, but, you know. I just jumped straight into the electricity and killed myself. I'm on 2 health. Well, actually that's not true, I'm on 26 health. Because I healed myself, but still. This place is getting spicy. But we made it to double jump. Before this life, I worked down in the crystal pits, digging up electro-titanium. My hands were all bloodied and sore from all that labour. I couldn't afford a decent meal. Now I have a second chance at life, I refuse to be a slave. So, 
all these people have had, they've been told they're going to get eternal life and they've been put inside these robot units, right? They're human souls, but they've just been used as like extreme capitalism sort of like control mechanisms as it were, like slaves that will never die that can work infinitely and are stuck doing these things. So there's been a rebellion of these Denzels and these are some of the rebels here. Oh my dear sister, you finally made it home. Me? Home? Who the heck are you? Forgive me. My name is Althea. I'm an oracle for all Denzel. I can help you. Would you like to know who you were in your previous existence? Sure. Really? You can do that? Yeah, tell me. Cherry, be realistic. The approach used by this artificial intelligence has no basis in science. I don't think you should believe her. Logic is so limited in its use, my small friend. Sometimes observing is just not enough. We need to feel in order to know. This is not possible. What is impossible? What are you seeing? Please. I'm afraid I won't be able to provide the answers you seek. The life energy that lies within you is beyond my understanding. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Do you know who I am or not? I told you, Cherry, you're wasting our time here. I've never seen anything like it. This power of yours, it's dangerous. It can lead you to greatness, but also bring pain and sorrow to your life. You will need to use it wisely. So that's it? You can't tell me anything? Pfft. Forget I asked, lady. Well, only you have the freedom to decide who you truly are. This is what matters. But allow me to offer this. There is more to achieve in life than simply taking care of the ones we love. I guess. Oh, my dear sister, I can feel the oppressive weight you carry. It's clear to me your mission is very dangerous. Allow me to help you on that journey. I have a gift for you. It's on the other side of the door behind me. I very much hope it will lighten your load. It will do, because it's the most important ability in the fucking game. Double jump is mine. Mega panty shot. Unlocked. Press A in the air and Cherry will perform one more jump before landing. Hey, Cherry, right? Welcome to our community. When did you awaken? This can be very confusing, I know, but never believe you're less than anyone else. Thanks for that. I didn't. In my past life, my primary function was a delivery driver. I did that for 20 years. When the awakening happened, I realized I could choose a new path. Oh, these lovely nomkins. What? What am I doing in this mechanical body? I don't feel anything. What kind of existence is this? Well, he's not too happy about it. The others seem pretty chill, though. We need to stay in hiding. Awakened beings like us are always considered anomalies. If they find out, they'll tear us apart. Ah, so the awakened angels are people that come in, like, their souls awaken and they're able to remember their past rather than just being shells of robots with the souls shoved in them to animate them. Oswald Sandberg, Personal Journal, 2010, Week 11. My dear Orietta, today is my third day here at the Solarium. I finally found the courage to rationalize the incredible quirks I've seen. This process of relocating the souls of the dead into mechanical bodies is something so incredible and fascinating. I wish Adam could see where I'm working. I hope one day he'll be proud of me. What a strange thing is death. I don't think it was so easy to defeat. I don't think it's as easy as you think, bro. Alright. We've got a double jump. We're back up where we were. We're going to teleport over now to the other side. There is more to do here and another key item and ability to find. But for now, we're going to pass on it purely because uh, the next section is very difficult. And it will help to get some upgrades from the other side first. So that's what we're doing. Sonom. Wrong. I was like, why isn't this working? I need to teleport to... Why is teleport not working? Oh, it's very sensitive. That was weird. All right, anyway, let's go back to the hidden diner. I don't think Denzel's going to be able to do much for us here, but we'll have a quick chat with him. Buy and up... Oh my god, why is this so sensitive? It's not letting me select stuff. It's going like down twice when I press down. There we go. Um, so this uh, increases our health, which we're going to buy. And we don't have anything else enough for the other stuff. And then we can go to this booth here. Edit components. And we can install our first one, which is a health upgrade. So we now have more health than we had before. Isn't that excellent? Anyway, we're going to go this way. And uh, explore this area a bit. This area is going to be much shorter than the previous one, at least initially. Unless I die constantly, of course, which might happen. I am detecting an attempt at communication with the outside, coming from the top level. We should investigate. So this is the bloody den, this area here, the second area we can go to. Or the first, if you want here first. We're going to have an interesting time here. Oh, let's look at this. What's this? 
Let me see if I can read this properly. Ahem. Biohazard epidemic. Keep out. Quarantine area. Sounds completely fine and normal. So this way up here is a shortcut we're going to unlock in a bit, but we'll leave that for now. Oh, this guy looks like he's doing really well. Oh god, I forgot about how visceral this is. Ah, oh, help! Jesus, what the fuck happened to this guy? Scanning. There's an extreme rapid mutation cascading through his biological systems. Can you get a closer look? Uh, no way. I'm fine right where I'm at. Just look at him. His goddamn eyes look like they're gonna pop any second. Fine. I'm attempting to observe the phenomena from here in order to establish cause. You, listen to me. Blah. Don't eat the big thing. You're not looking so good, man. What the hell happened to you? Maybe you ate some expired food? I don't think that's the source of the problem, Cherry. It's it's the big space mammal! Blech. Oh, no good! Um, Regina, do you think he's hallucinating? I'm not really sure. Are you sick? Is it a virus? Excuse me, sir, we saw warnings outside. You may have been infected with a virus. Do you know anything about it? She's eating my brain! Oh god, Kajira! Oh god! Well, at least uh, we can tell he's not faking it. Is there something we can do to help? You're clearly in some distress. How can we help? Just kill me! Please! Oh god, kill me! Yeah, no, sorry, man. You're gonna have to ride this one out on your own. I'm not coming within ten feet of you. Bye! I don't know if this is what they turn in he turns into, but these look suspiciously tentacly, the enemies here. Yeah, the finishing move on these involves just stepping on them until they burst. Like that. Isn't that lovely? The high health here is going to be really handy, I will say. Oh, double combo there, though. Fuck me up. These things here are another ability that we're going to get a bit later on. I think they look like the like GLaDOS's face in Portal, those things. They're not, but that's what they look like. We cannot do anything with them for a while, though. And there'll be a lot in this place that we'll need to backtrack through and play with a bit later on. But that's okay. This place seems lovely. Hmm. What's in here? Oh, this is a way down. I don't want to go down just yet. I want to have a look around first. These tentaclekins. They're doing their best, you know. I do like the fact that when you do a fatality on one, if there's another one nearby, it does sort of splash damage. It makes it a lot more satisfying and easy to do. I think that's a great... Oh. But yeah, everything seems really clearly labelled in this. And it's really nice, because everything heals and flows really well. Everything feels numb. Don't just run away from me. I'm trying to kill you. I'm trying to clear this room out. We're gonna be here a little bit, so like, you know. And if I die, well, if I die, you'll respawn, but you know what I mean. Secret door? There's not- this isn't a secret door, there's a soda machine right there! That's like prime secret door material! It's like the most secret of secret doors. Like, if I was a door, I'd want to be there. Just because it's so secret, I'd be like, holy shit, this is really secret. No idea where I'm going right now, by the way. I'm just having a look through this room. Oh yeah, there's trampolines. We've already seen these, right? I think. Imagine coming here first and not having the double jump. Like, you, I'd be so upset. Yeah, uppercutting him under the buzz saw probably wasn't the best idea I've had. I've had some pretty amazing ideas in my time, but that was not one of them. I don't actually know where I'm going right now. Ooh. Ooh. This is spicy. Alright, this is definitely the way forward. Unfortunately for me, I went the wrong way. Very quick in the backtrack and check out the other path. It'll save me a bit of time later on. But anyway, I hope those of you who are watching this enjoy this. If you like to see different genres, well, I'm hoping, like I said, to do more Souls-likes, more Metroidvanias, more 
more lots of different things really um uh over the next uh, year of uh of cranks tv and obviously i'm hoping to do more stuff with quizm as well i know a lot of you were really happy to see her back in the christmas video oh my god she isn't dead and she's a nomkin it's amazing and i know you were really excited to see her guys it was the comments are so sweet I guess we can't get through this way yet. We need a key. What key do we need? This door apparently locked with some sort of security measure. Oh, we need Tishida's ID. <laughs> Tishida was the dead guy! Why don't we take- Oh, we can't go near him because he's infected with the with the pus or whatever the fuck it is. He probably ate one of those mosquito burgers. I think that's probably like the direct cause of him, you know, swelling up like that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Music in this is banging, by the way. I haven't talked about how great the music is, especially during the big fight sequences. It's just fucking amazing. Can't go up there yet. We'll be up there later on. What is over this way? Well, a checkpoint is over this way, so this is probably the way to go. So let's go the other way first. That thing there? Not none. As you can tell. I am so... My first death is coming! At the hands of the tentacle monster! No! Not the tentacle king! I thought we were friends, tentacle! What the fuck is this? We are the fuel starters. To all our brothers and sisters, we emerge now with the gods of the void. Fuel starters? Gods of the void? What's that supposed to mean? Humans are not like us. They do not know who created them. They also fear death more than any other living creature. So when death occurs, they need to find a way out. They invent reasons for their absence of knowledge. So humans make up their own maker? How silly. In creation, all creatures are creators. There's no end and no beginning, just an endless movement. And you are part of it, like everyone else. Whoa, that's deep. Not really, it's just basic math. Whoa, that's like so deep, man. Well, there's a secret up here, so that's worth coming up. Oh, sleep one, it's one of these. Hell yeah. A void enhancer, a burning flame spreads over your money at 25 void. I'm not going to be- I can't add that at the moment because I haven't got any more um, batteries, but we will find more batteries as we're going through these sections and replaying these bits now. Can't go through here, we need a certain attack, which we will get pretty soon to get through that barrier, but at the moment that is a no-go. I was going to say, I'm dead here, holy shit. He eviscerated me, holy shit, did you see that? First death, guys. Everything is respawned now, which is not good. No, it's not that big a deal. Every time you kill stuff, you get experience. Well, you get you get parts, sorry, and bits, so it's worth killing shit. Oh my god, hit him in the fucking face, Cherry. I will kill this, even if it takes me a few tries. I've got to practice killing them. There we go. Nearly there. Yeah! You you spin round him like a stripper pole, and then his neck gets tighter and tighter until his brain pops out the top of his head. It's so fucked, but so cool. Like, what the fuck is that as a finishing move? Oh god, this is a boss fight. This place feels unsafe, Cherry. Feels right to me. I think it's time to have some fun. So this is the tutorial if you went this way, and this is your first uh, trap chamber. But obviously we went the other way first, so we have a different trap chamber. Fortunately, it means relatively easy enemies, like comparatively speaking to the trap chambers we were facing on the other side. Oh shit, we're nearly dead. I say relatively easily as I get nearly killed for the second time. Get away and heal. I died! I died to bitch basic enemies because I was too cocky! Two deaths in a row, guys! What the fuck? I don't like the fact it repeats the cutscenes when you've seen them once. I think that's a bit silly. But other than that, not a big deal.
They do drop health, by the way, if you haven't noticed. You don't need to heal yourself necessarily if you're lucky on drops. But sometimes you get unlucky on drops and then you get fucked, so. So I'm healing now to try and stop these guys shooting the fuck out of me like last time. This music, holy shit! Chills! It's fucking great shit! There you go. Second time's the charm. We beat the present. Any secret? Nope. Don't think we can do anything up here at the moment. We need to. You, you, basically, these balls need to go in those holes. If you hadn't seen that before. All dead. No secret wall here again. Game, you're psyching me out a lot here. Holy shit. Alright, anyway, let's go. For those wondering, like, will this game have really precise platforming later on? Yes. Yes, it will. You're going to see it really soon. It has some crazy, crazy, like, one-hit kill platforming sections that are brutal. I thought that looked suspicious. I thought that looked sussy. As people my age definitely say. Got another battery. Excellent. That increases the amount of stuff we can equip. Need to find a lot more of those though. That's like the key thing for upgrading our character. I like the buzz saws. Who doesn't like a good buzz saw? Am I right? There you go. Face popping good. Oh, ho -ho -ho! I thought I was fucked then, but he killed himself. Holy shit, that was spicy. I don't know what's this way. I don't know which way I'm going at the moment. This looks like a shortcut. I'm pretty sure it is a shortcut, in fact. That's going to take me back down to the room below. Yeah. I don't know if these drones do anything, but I'm going to kill destroy it anyway in the air. All right. Shortcut unlocked so we can bypass a huge chunk of the factory if we want to, if we want to come back this way. All right. Woo! Woo! Considering how inappropriately dressed Cherry is, I'm surprised uh, some of these hazards look very, very painful. Like, I know she's an android, but when her uh, underwear grazes the sores, I do get worried. I'm sure Regina gets worried as well. Surely a secret. There's going to be a secret behind a vending machine at some point, guys, I promise, okay? I don't know when, I don't know how. Oh, I want to go up there, but we can't go up there yet. We need like a super duper whooper jump that I haven't unlocked yet. There's a man with a guitar, hello. Infinite, you fucking bums. Filthy bastards with big ass guns. You will see that we got guts to march right over and kick your butts. Okay, I admit it. Not my best work. I got wasted last night and lost my lyrics book. Somewhere in the east wing of this area. That's all I remember. All right, so we need to find this guy's lyrics book. No idea where it is. I haven't found it yet, but hopefully we will at some point. And he will probably join the base camp when he does. Why did I just jump straight into a fucking chainsaw? Don't answer that question. The answer is, I'm an idiot. I don't think I can jump up there. I think the fly went through the floor there. That was a bit close. That was nearly a buzz cut. Oh, 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 that was so fucking cool! It's like the coolest fucking shit! Woo! I want to see if there's anything over here. Doesn't look like it, but no. Okay, I thought it might be like a secret platform or something. I am so lucky to be alive right now. I've missed that chainsaw by inches every time. Alright, got a locker room. Anything in here? There's something in this random locker. It's not our locker, but maybe it's something we could use. Take it. Find his keepers, baby! I've got a blue tentacle. I always find blue tentacles in my lockers. Alright, we uh, unlocked a new, uh, a new teleport point for later on. Very handy. Can't go very far this way. We need a special ability to get through that hole, but that's okay. We'll worry about that later. 
Oh, you get blue tentacles from those dudes anyway. I thought that was like a special item, but it's not. It's just like a fucking random thing that everyone gets. We can't jump high enough to get that. We need like a triple jump. So, uh, we're going to leave that crate there for now. We'll be back. They all come back. God, I love that. I love the fly fatality the most, I think, so far. Secret, secret? No, not secret. Come here. I don't know how many people I'm triggering by not parrying a single attack over the course of this, but uh, I apologize. I'm not that sorry, but at the same time, I know some of you will be in the comments like, Why doesn't she parry? Why isn't she good at parrying? Why isn't she parried everything? Oh god, I'm on low health for this. Yeah, I'm in trouble here, surely. We're we'll doing this again. Some health. One of you give me some health. I mean, I got some health there. Well, oh, that's him dealt with. Bit clutch, but I did deal with it. Oh god, there's another one of these? There's no way I'm surviving this. God damn it, I knew I was fucked. I knew I was fucked as soon as he spawned in. I was like, oh, I used all my health to kill the last fucking guy, and then it's not the last guy. God damn it. Third death. Three deaths, guys, in an hour... Pretty much an hour. Not too bad. I was on like 50 deaths at this point the first time I played, so you know, I'm doing better. There's no penalty for dying, by the way. You don't lose anything. You just have to replay from the last checkpoint. Which isn't that big a deal. Unless you're incompetent like me. Okay, we're in a much better position than we were last time. Let's see if we can keep, keep that going. Alright, it's fine. Okay, I haven't taken any damage yet, which is a good start. Yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about. That was good. Try not to waste any void here, because I'm going to need it. Much better position than last time. Like, holy shit. Any more? Oh no, that's it! Holy shit! That was actually surprisingly easy. I thought it'd be like at least another two of the fucking big guys, but no, they're dead. This, however, was me doing badly. What the fuck? Alright, die, die. You die, come on. Cooperate and die, all of you, thank you. Alright, anyway, we're gone. Can't get up here, need a double jump. Need a triple jump, even. We have a double jump. Double jump is not cutting it in this area. We need, like, maybe a quadruple jump? I wouldn't be surprised if there's a triple jump. I doubt there's a quadruple jump. Triple jump is fairly normal in Metroidvanias. Like, not always. Like, not every game has it. But I played quite a few this year that have. No idea where I'm going, by the way. We're going to go up here and see. Oh, okay, so this goes to a different area of the game, I believe. Oh, no, it doesn't. This is something completely different. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we can't go this way yet, but there is a shortcut here to go down and get to this area at least early, which is nice. No fucking vending machine secret again! What's going on? I'm being cheated out of my vendings. Where's this guy? 
Oh, okay. This is where we'll do the tutorial for this ability, but not for a little while still, unfortunately for us. Alright, I think we're through. Yeah, we are, we made it. Holy god, who's sneaking up on me at this hour? Wait a minute, are you the courier? Yo, are you blind? Wrong direction, dude, I'm over here. A newsflash? There's no food on your table? Please forgive her, sir. I assure you, me mean you are no harm. What? There's two of you? Of course I'm blind. Can't you can't see a thing without my LED visor? Last one got crushed. You here with my replacement? You're a confused old man. I'm not the delivery guy. So where are you then? What do you want? We're just passing through. Name's Cherry. And I'm Regina, sir. Pleasure. I've got a kidney stone the size of a walnut that's just passing through too. <laughs> okay, first. TMI. Second. Gross. I think your brains are scrambled, old man. We're out of here. Hey, wait a second. Before you scram, let me give you a little gift. Take this elevator key card. There's an elevator at the other side of that door. Give it a shot. You'll be able to come visit me that way, way more often. As short as this conversation was, feels good to chat. Don't forget my LED visor next time, though. All right. So we need to go and find the LED, which is on the other side of the map, where we were before, but in new areas that are only accessible by double jump. From down here, between your legs, I can see that there is something at the bottom of the toilet bowl. Okay, who, why, put, why not put my hand in there? Oh, it's so slimy and gross. We got some slimy skin and got a trophy for fishing it out of Colin's shit. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful. We'll be back here to do some extra stuff in a bit, obviously, but now we're gonna go and get the LED visor for the lovely, adorable Colin. This area here goes up to a new hub, um, but we actually can't progress any further into it at the moment anyway, so it's kind of pointless. It goes to like a new area of the map. Very Metroid, where you get to see a new area for like half a second, and then there's a barrier that you can't pass. The door's been unlocked, Cherry. Let's go. Alright. We are going back. I don't think we can do anything at the diner particularly at the moment, because um, we don't have enough energy cells, but we're going to replay through the original area now and grab any extra stuff that we missed the first time round. Now we have double jump. Hi, how's it going? You good? Uh, buy upgrade gears. So we can buy the Void Enhancer level 2. I'll buy it, but at the moment it's kind of like useless. Anyway, there was a double jump route down here that we did not take before, so let's do that. I've never been this way before, I don't think, actually. Oh yeah, I definitely haven't been here before. This is brand new to me. I guess we're going somewhere new first. Watch this be like a super hard, high-end area that surpasses everything that I've seen before in the game and I just get destroyed. This looks interesting. Infinite dogs, this message is for you. You are not welcome here. This is a self-sufficient area. May the golden city burn. Well, that's a lovely welcome message, huh? It seems this sect is being run by the infinite haters. You think? Gotta admit, I'm liking it more and more. We should find a way in. Well, we can't get in here yet, I can tell you that, because there's a big... It's one of those bat things there, look. I think it's probably like a grappling hook, is what I'm going to guess it is. But, again, that's a pretty standard Metroidvania upgrade, so... I guess we'll uh, have to wait and see. Amazing platforming by me there. Top of the line, brilliant, and by that I mean utterly shit. Let's check out this way to the left quickly and see what else we can find. What is this? This looks interesting. Any idea what this could be? I'm not certain. It does appear to be some sort of special container. However, it's still locked. Perhaps we shall move on for now. Okay, so we need a special key or some shit to get in there. All right. That is a giant fucking brain, by the way, above it. Like an actual, like, giant human brain. Lovely. Well, an interesting thing to find just under our main base. That's for sure. Can't do anything else down here right now, so we're going to go back up and go to the left. Woo! I love the little logo. She's so grumpy. I mean, I'd be grumpy too if, like, my girlfriend had been, like, you know, brutally murdered in front of me and then, uh... I had all my skin removed. Consider that a bit of a bugger, actually, I'm going to be honest with you. All right, I'm going to be consulting the map a bit here. It's just as we've played through this section. I'm not going to show you guys all the replays of sections, because I feel it's going to be a bit tedious otherwise. But 
Uh, this gives those of you who are not familiar with like Metroidvanias a little bit of an idea of what this sort of thing, how the way this works basically. Because obviously now we have this ability, we can get to places that we couldn't go before and see things we couldn't see before. I don't think there's anything up here, but I'm just going to double check. Yeah, like to jump over this, we're going to need like whatever the triple jump is, because there's another door up there. So we need like a three-way jump to get up there. And this whole area has been cleared out, as you can see. Lovely. But now we can get up to places like this, which we couldn't before. And then maybe die. Isn't that lovely? Like that, you see? Headbutt the electricity and instantly get 30 health taken away from you because you're an idiot. By the way, sorry I'm breaking everything. I just feel it's important if I'm going to have a chance at, like, you know, survival. This door, this wall's fake. I knew this wall's fake. I, I fucking walked into it. I could see it coming a mile away. We've already been up here and cleared all this out, I think. Yeah, we have. All right. Do you see those uh, doors on the map, like the grey doors? Those are entrances to different areas of the game, like different hubs and whatnot. So uh, we'll go through some of them soon, but they're not important at the moment. I'm not going to kill everything here. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, I guess it, maybe it is because we do get experience for killing them that we can use to buy the upgrades. I don't know. It don't take long to die, I guess. I actually do think the secret walls have a look to them that I never really noticed before. I'm not surprised I didn't notice it, considering how blind I am to these things, but you know what I mean. Listen, dickhead. Right. This is an area we couldn't get shut from before, so let's go and grab this now. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do we can go even higher here. Interesting. But yeah, I think there's a certain look to the walls that are breakable. Where does this go? I actually don't know where this goes. Oh, this goes to a new area. There wasn't any need for me to do this. We have to sit through loading screens now, oh my god. The worst thing that has ever existed in video games. I will say, the loading screens in this are fucking long. Like, I have a lot of RAM. They shouldn't take very long at all. I realise they're loading in the whole, like, maps at once, but... They do take a long time. Yeah, so we can't actually progress in this area. It's a dead end. But, uh... A creepy area nonetheless than Numa Chambers. They have, like, um... It's like, you know, test tubes and creatures growing in vats and that kind of shit. I will say, I've done what I did in two hours last time in pretty much an hour and fifteen this time, so... A way more enjoyable watching experience and less editing for me. Oh my god. So numb. I just play through all my games once first. Alright, where am I going? Down here and up. I'm probably still going to miss some things. Like, this isn't like... I'm, I will say, I'm not going to try and 100% this game. Like, there's a chance I might look around for a few things off camera and stuff like that. Like, when it comes to, like, a few secrets. I think I can make this jump, but it's really, like, specific how you do it. First of all, you fuck off while I'm doing this, alright? I'm really busy at trying to do this jump. There we go, I knew I could do it. I'm a genius. Healthy looking area here, as you can see, guys. Thought I could make it up in time, I was totally incorrect about that. You know I said crazy platforming? We got some Ori in the Blind Forest type stuff here. By the way, I love Metroidvanias, I hate Ori. If anyone's going to be like in the comments like, You should play Ori, Minx. Ori is my, one of my least favourite games of all time. Did I make it? I made it with one health. Holy shit. Worth it. We get an upgrade. What do we get? Got another energy cell. Excellent. Which is actually genuinely great. Alright, I am going to die here, but... It doesn't matter, because once you picked up something, it stays picked up. So, even if you die after you picked up an item, you don't have to pick it up again. Why don't I save my game? Why don't, no, not that. Why don't I fucking heal? I keep forgetting I can fucking heal. 
I could just heal my fucking health up. I keep forgetting I've got that magic power. It gives me the suck, but at the same time, it's worth it. All right, so that's all cleared out. Excellent. As you can see, there's places along this top route here that we have yet to go to. All right. So we're going to go and get the main story item first. And that's this way. Oswald Sandberg, Diary, page two. My dear Orietta, today is my 10th day here at the Solarium. I hope Adam is growing strong and healthy. I would love to hug him. I know that we only ever believed in the rationality of science and good faith and noble president, but I'm starting to feel there's something more behind the origin of life. What is happening here is puzzling. The only reason to work in the middle of this purgatory is to assure us the right to live in the Golden City. I will ask my superiors to give me a different role in this factory. I need to get out of this department. I didn't think it was breakable, but I just want to check every single wall in this game, it feels like, to make sure it's not breakable. So, um, this way here is going to lead us to a very difficult fight that took me, I think, about 20 tries when I played it on stream. Um, hopefully it goes a lot better this time around, so, but I can't guarantee it, so... Uh, if there's a sudden cut in the middle of that fight, you know why. Uh, we need a triple jump or a wall jump or something or an elevator to get up there that we haven't unlocked yet, which is fine. Whew, that was spicy. I don't like how pussy the fish are. Like, fish shouldn't be pushy, pussy. They should be... Okay, slimy, sure. I know a lot of people don't like the texture of fish, but I feel like this, like, plays on the horror texture of fish a lot. It's, like, really gooey. And I'm gonna be honest with you, gooey and fish together, not a nice combination. I just jumped straight into that, didn't I? Like a complete moron. Woo! need the butt slam or whatever to get through here. I haven't found that ability at all yet, so no idea when we get it. But we will get it doubtlessly at some point. Having fun there? He's having fun. He's a good, he's a good one. You know I mentioned crazy platforming. I think there's something really horrible coming up in this next section that I'm going to get PTSD over. There you go, fishy. Get fucked. Everything looks fine. I don't think I missed anything this way. Oh! I thought I got greedy, but I hadn't. I was amazingly, amazingly lucky there. Holy shit. That was bad. That was really bad. Considering how badly that could have gone, I thought that went alright actually in the end. Oh look, boobs. That is uh, a Super Metroid reference for those of you who don't know. This is a Kodo statue. You get them in Super Metroid, they give you the items in, it, in their hands. And it goes do 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 Like that. Secret? Oh hell yeah, that's a secret. And an upgrade. God, I'm so good at spotting this shit. Oh, it's not an upgrade. Fuck, I thought it was. Just health and shit. I mean, I would say no. But still. Alright, this is the checkpoint for the hard fight. I know, because I was here fucking ages doing this. Oh, a double tap. It increases the attack range of Denzel. Don't know how useful that is. I haven't used it. Uh, I haven't had the points to equip it before, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Hang on, there is a way out of here, right? I can just come here for no reason. I actually don't know. Oh, okay, that opened up. I thought so. I was going to say, there is more to this from what I remember. Alright. Some bullshit here. Oh, 
That was close. That was very close to me dying. Those shooty guys were the bane of my existence, I swear. But we got the item. And we didn't die. Yet. I think three deaths so far. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. When every enemy is these fish, that's when I'll struggle, guys. The fish are the problem, the key issue with every single fight, I'm going to be honest with you. What is this guy? Hmm. Let's go left. Oh. Ooh. I mean, I'll take that. Oswald Sandberg, Personal Diary, page 3. My dear Orietta, today I've completed my first month here at the Solarium. While I was polishing some silos, my attention was captured by a shrill sound. It was the voice of a captive soul begging me to free her. That desperate cry for help, hearing it, I understood her fear of being condemned to eternal slavery. If this is what awaits me after I die, maybe I should try and fight. Or maybe I should try and sabotage the factory. No way. I've got no chance to do this alone. Ah, he's having second thoughts. Anyway, let's heal up to full. And then just tag that again to get full, uh, void. There you go, nice and easy. Oh, they're limited. Interesting. Well, it's not a big deal, but still. Watch that be a key thing I needed for a boss fight later on. I'm just fucked. Fuck off, fish. I hate them so much. I hate them. I hate them so much. With their little fishy faces and little fishy tails. That's a shortcut unlock, by the way. Which we're probably going to need. I hate their fishy faces, their fishy tails, their fishy bums. All of them. I hate them all. Here it is. This is the room where I died. I would say 30, maybe 20, 20 times. No, let's say 20. Try not to exaggerate. As I never exaggerate, obviously, chat. You'll see why I died in here a lot soon, by the way. And it's nothing to do with all these fucking robots being here. Already got hit by the fucking fish there. As it spawned in doing its fucking animation on me. Okay, heal up here a bit. Let's get full health if I can. Alright. It's going much better than last time. Problem is, I've got no fucking thing now. And these two are just gonna fucking fuck me. Die, please. Let me get a finishing move on one of these fucks. Yes! Hell yeah. Get fucked. First time! This took me 20 tries before! I fucking wrecked them! Yes! Don't get too excited though, guys. we got a boss fight coming up. Our first boss of the game, in fact. Alright, we need like triple jump or something to get up there, so that's not happening. That was done by me. I feel like I have a lot of anger when I take out that out on the fish. God damn it. Sometimes 
I will say, one thing I don't like is sometimes you'll be standing there to do the fatality and it just doesn't work. Boss fight. It is called a murder bot, yes. Yeah, first time boss got wrecked. I fucking kicked the shit out of him. Holy shit, that was badass. All right, first the uh, main boss down. And our reward is the LED visor for our friend on the other side. I'm so fucking proud of that. That was fucking badass, guys. I just wrecked him. Absolutely destroyed him. I don't think I got hit. I just like dodged everything. Oswald's Journal, Chapter 5. My dear Orietta, I hope some miracle will allow you to read these words. My time in this factory is becoming more and more unbearable. Infinite's madness is piercing my brain. I'm afraid I won't be able to save myself. My superiors observe my behavior. Surely they understand my hostility and see me as a subversive individual. I know they're planning my suppression. I need to make sure that when I'm gone, you and our beloved Adam can save yourselves from this. You must escape the Golden City as soon as possible. Find a way to reach the underground sectors and take shelter with the rebel communities that live there, so your soul will not be condemned to slavery. Please do not worry about me, for it is certain that even after my death and during perpetual bondage, my soul will be sustained by the thought of your love. I promise you that I will do everything I can to see you again, whether in this or the next lifetime. Any secret? Nope. Well, could have been worse. I did land on the platform. Oh, look where we are. Back here now. So as you can see, guys, we just cleared out all of that. Um, there is a route there to get a blue box, but we... Oh, I missed the red box. Oh, that sucks. That's an upgrade. Fuck. That's, like, really important. I should probably go back for it. God damn it. Oh, unless it was, like, a triple jump. It's in a terrible place. I have no idea where that is. Well, anyway, I'll leave it for now. We can always come back to it off camera. I need to check my map more than I have been. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is run through this section here and grab any items and stuff that are left behind. I'm going to stop recording while I do this because it's just going to be me clearing out this section. And then uh, we'll be back when we go and give the visor on the other side. All right, everyone. We are heading over now to hand in the visor. For full transparency, I completely cleared out everything we could do on the other side of the map. So I went back and got that chest I missed. I did all the double jumping in that section. And I also bought a damage upgrade for uh, the cherry uh, from the diner. But now we can continue and give the visor in via the shortcut here. Much easier now we have the shortcut. And we will get yet another new ability that will prove to be pretty non, if you ask me. All right. Hey, Cherry, is that you? Yeah, old man, it's me. I'm here as well, sir. Regina, so glad you both came back to visit. Well, I'm pretty sure we had that thing you were looking for, the uh, LED visor. Holy gods, I can see again. It's a miracle. And thank you for giving me back my sight. Holy shit! What? Just, uh, going by your voice, I thought you were, uh, you know, a petite little lady. And what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I mean, no offense, but you kind of look like a truck driver. Watch it, bub, or I'll give him my big ring and run you down. Cherry, be nice. You do have a rather unique look. Yeah, don't be so sensitive. I think you look fine, but... By the way, where's that friend of yours? Down here, sir. Holy gods, now that isn't something you Denzels never cease to surprise me. My eyes are up here, old man. The name's Popper, by the way. Before you scram, let me at least return the favor. Go down into my personal storage. You might find something that'll be super helpful. Oh, why do you have that I can use? Down there, you'll find a special machine. Connect it, and it'll give you a much-needed upgrade. That's a little vague and scary, but hey, why not? Thanks, old man. Don't worry about it, Cherry. I think it's time for me to leave this place anyway. Either you know any safer havens for old guys like me? 
I think we can accommodate you, Mr. Popper. Showing coordinates to the hidden diner, data delivered successfully to LED visor. Oh wow, I can reach that place alive. It looks like a fine place to set up shop. It's gonna be difficult with the mega structure service going haywire, but I pray you'll see each other again. I'm also a mechanic, so look me up if you did anything upgraded. Uh, one more thing, uh, you're looking for InfoNet, right? Seems it's currently connected to the ET Foundry systems. That might be what's making the servers go crazy. That's helpful. Could be what we're looking for. Isn't that lovely? Well, here's our upgrade that wasn't here before. There's a Void Hand. By pressing B and L, Cherry's able to release her Void Powers and push enemies in the air. You can hold B to enter aiming mode and do the same with the spears. So as an example... Like that. Sometimes you need to do, like, do doubles, which actually gets pretty challenging, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like it very much. As you can see, this is gonna be difficult. There you go. You don't have to be super precise at least, so that's something. But anyway, we have a bunch of new places we can go and see and do and explore now. Now we have this ability. Um, so I guess it's time that we went and did that. Do -do. Do -do. I love the music, it's fucking great. Over here we have another ball to put in a hole. Wow, I am really bad at this, holy shit. So interestingly... Sorry, I had to burst that man's brain quickly. It's very tedious when you suddenly have to burst someone's brain. I don't think we could get this way before. No, we couldn't. This is new. Excellent. And a break of a wall. Oh, and Pretzel wants to play. Hi. You little nomkin. Today, the gods of the cosmos have heard our prayers. The period of hunger and isolation is finally over. A great being has fallen from space and sacrificed himself to save us. His flesh is thick and nourishing. I'm sure it will allow us to survive longer. We'll no longer need the crystal pits. We'll no longer depend on poor wages. Now we belong to the whale. We belong to the cosmos. So, we heard about that. There was the guy earlier with that horrific infection and his eyes bursting. I'm guessing eating the whale, like he said, is probably a net loss. Oh, pretzel nomkin. Sorry everyone, but my daughter's being incredibly cute right now and getting cuddles. I think you understand. I hope you understand because she's so numb, right? Right, Prism? They're so cute. Chat. I know I probably said this before, but I love my family. They're so numb. I love them both so much. And Chrisum's gonna be back doing videos and stuff soon. Oh my god. Not every video, but she's gonna come back. You gotta pace yourself up. And... Oh my god. Oh, Preds, oh, I love you so- I love you both so much. We got an upgrade here, guys. We have another energy cell, excellent. And everything seems fine until we get over that way. That way is the way forward, so I'm going to do a loop round quickly, I think, and grab everything. And uh, see what we can find that may have been concealed in various other parts of this facility. Hmm. Uh, is it worth it? I don't know, guys. I think I'll press on for a bit, actually, first. <laughs> ow, ow, ow! God. The squid people are bumpkins, Chrism. I just took her out to pee, by the way. So I don't think it's that. I think she just wants love. You don't have to whisper, baby. They know you're a numpkin and you're pee. What do you say? You're not ruining it. They're like, oh my god, they're gonna be like, quiz them! In the comments, that'll be the comment section. Oh, 
Oh, this room looks really welcoming. Ow. Oh god, that was close. God, I'm so amazed on Bedia platforming. Do you know that? Holy shit, guys. Again, no secret behind the vending machine. The ultimate in disappointment. Alright, let's see if we can progress now. This is... Oh, this lets us get the thing in the top part of this room. Why do I do that? Why do they do such a stupid fucking stupid jump? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that that thing there can be accessed with the new ability. Come on. Don't fuck this up. There we go. That's what I wanted to get. There we go. Not too bad. Let's keep going. Definitely the way the game... Oh, God. I didn't realize this was a challenge room. Shit. Oh wow, I've got full fucking health and mana at the moment. Void, sorry, not mana. Gotta call it the right term, guys. First time, nice and easy, GG. Like, I'm genuinely surprised how well that went, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I'm getting the hang of the combat a bit more than I did, especially the first time I played, but it definitely requires like a certain... Like, you have to be always earning combos, otherwise you're going to run out of mana and die. Because the mana lets you do everything. Like that. So the combat's very relentless by design. Which is cool, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. That's the way forward. No vending machine secret. Again! Oh, it's down here. Another vending machine. Secret, surely. Nope. Just lies. Just lies! That's all that's behind these vending machines. Secrets and lies. This way, by the way, from here on out, I don't really know where I'm going. I'm going to be honest with you. So this is going to be uh, a bit uh, more RNG than... Oh my god, what the fuck? I am dead. Holy shit, that was close. Hang on, where the fuck did the second one come from? I can heal in here at least. Oh yeah, I've never been in this room. Holy shit. We definitely need a special ability to jump through there. It looks like we have to jump between balls at some point. <laughs> but that that isn't now. That that point. Sure this is a boss fight, yeah. Gotta challenge him. Focus up. Lost quite a lot of health there, which I didn't want to lose, but it's not the end of the world yet. Now it could be. Alright, we're doing alright, we're doing alright. There's gonna be another wave after this though, surely. Need to get mana back on this guy. Currently wasting it. Nah, I got some back. Excellent. What's next? Oh, of course it's you. Hell yeah! Not done yet, though. Oh no, we are! Shit! Fuck yeah! 
Another challenge for incomplete first time. Holy shit. Did not expect that to pay off as well as it did. Ah, this goes somewhere completely different. There's something in that room as well that I missed. Very easy to miss that door there, I feel. But at least I saw it beforehand instead of having to replay that whole section. Whew! Getting spicy! Getting spicy, these fights! Lots of very suspicious body bags lying around here as well. Don't like this area. It's probably nothing. Oh, it's an item as well. We got loot going this way. What do we get? We got a healing upgrade. Obviously, we need batteries to equip it, but still, that's pretty cool. I'm not actually too scared of these things anymore. Like, I was really scared of them for a while. Do you think that thing there is a bat thing? You see, there's like a bat thing there. I think I missed that, but that's okay. Boom. God, I love popping their heads. It's so fucked, but it's so fucking funny. Like, it's the best animation in the game so far. I hope we get a bigger variety of enemies, though. Just so we can do more crazy shit like that. Look, there's two different- there's loads of different objectives we have now. Find a way to get into the ET Foundry. We have a bunch of different routes we can take. And different ways we can go about this. Oh my god, I just realised. That path there takes you to the upgrade. Oh, it's gonna be a big risk, but I could go back and get it. It's not very far. Oh yeah, it's really close. Let's do it. Let's risk it. Let's risk this room that he killed us like 10 fucking times again. That was much- Oh, we can't get it! That was a reason- I knew there was a reason we couldn't get it. It's because we need a new ability to get it. And get out of there, because you need the ground pound to leave that fucking area. Which is a shame. Alright, we're gonna go... Let's go down to that one down there, because that one appears to be in this zone. So let's go that way first. I will say, the volume, the volume balancing on this game is terrible. Like, it's almost as bad as one of my own videos. Um, like, it's really bad. Like, every, the sound effects are so deafeningly loud. I know I can tweak it, and I should do. But the sound effects are so loud compared to everything else. Like, it's insane. And the normal themes are quite quiet. But then when you get into a fight, it's like... Bwah, blah, 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 blah. Very metal. Okay. Oh god, why did I do that? Why did I jump into the saws like a complete moron, dickhead? Okay, okay, jump. Crouch. That was a little spicy. Could have been a lot worse. Right, it worked out a lot worse for him, though. Alright, everything's fine. Not too bad. We got this. And we unlocked a shortcut past that bit. Oh, I should have jumped across though. Fuck, I didn't realise. Am I going to have to go back and round to get that? I thought that was a secret. God damn it. I am. Um, it's going to make me do the whole thing again. God damn it. I mean, there's no enemies in the way this time. Goddamn gamers and their goddamn secrets in secret places being secretive. I'll show them. I'll show them all. At least I know what I'm doing this time. Boom, boom, boom. And we're done again. Easy. Easy. GG, easy. Alright, what's up here? This better be worth it. It is worth it. It's a new ability. Or a power cell. A oh, lyrics book! Oh, that's what the guy needed! I bet that lets us recruit him for the town. I'm not gonna go to him now. I'm gonna wait till we find another teleport, like, you know, mage shortcut. Because there's no point in doing it at the second. 
May as well just continue with the main route towards the objective. Woo! I was trying to be badass there, I ended up looking like a twat. Which is quite often the issue, I feel. Surprised I won that encounter, considering how low on health I was going in, but I did. Another brain popped. They look a bit like Karang from Turtles. Like, like baby versions of Karang. I mean, I guess Karang was actually pretty small. He was just wearing the massive suit of armor. I guess they're smaller than they look as well, now I think about it. Oh, we're really close to the objective, actually. One day. One day, burning machine. You and me. Okay, one on one. There better be a vending machine boss, actually. I can actually see that. Oh, hang on. What did I just kick through the wall? Is that a secret? I will check it in a second once these fuckers are dead. Nah, it was just like a fucking vent or something that I kicked that caused damage to it. Oh well. Oh shit, what the fuck am I going now? Can't go up. Well, I'm not going down either. Along is the only way. Holy shit, guys, I made it. I fucking made it. What the fuck is this? is to get loot. This is just to get a treasure chest, I'm sure of it. I'm in like a sea of fucking buzzsaws. Holy shit, this is intense. Alright, we got this, we got this. What's in here? Oh, I can't do that yet. Need another ability. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> ah! Is it, this is a teleport spot. So where could I go back to, theoretically? Let's go to the locker room, because this is where this is near where the guy is, and we can give him his lyrics book quickly. Right? Is this where the guy is? Oh, he's just below me. Okay, so yeah, we can go and give him his book. Is it actually a good location for a teleporter? I say as I get immediately wrecked after I say that. How come I didn't fuck this up the first time, but then I immediately fuck it up the second time when, it, when I'm more powerful? I'm getting cocky. Hi, I've got your lyrics book. Infinite, you fucking but oh, if it's the same song. Go suck my rebel penis, I'm farting on your tomb. Great lyrics. God damn it, that sucks. I'm sure I had way better lyrics written down. And there it is, my lyrics book. You found it. Now we're ready to rock. Glad to help. Your songs weren't that bad. You're too kind, lady. Here, take my straddle blaster. Shred it with it by holding RT and select it with your weapon wheel. Practice up and maybe we can jam together someday. I really don't think he has the skill sets to carry a proper tune, sir. Quiet, I carry around you I carry you around plenty. The nice man gave us something new to play with. Thanks. I never got your name. The name's Jacko. I come from a village called Bastardville, born and raised there. I'm what you call a rebel. Nice to meet you, lady. Cherry. I'm Cherry. She's Regina. We're rebels too. Thanks for this absolute beauty, Jacko. I'm gonna use it to make the next smash hit. Literally. <sighs> Puns are clearly not in your skill sets either, Cherry. I don't get it, but you're very welcome. Make sure you practice every day. An odd electric guitar used in an uh, unusual way. Holy shit! Does that use mana? It does use mana. Oh, it's replaced my punch. It's an upgrade to the punch. And we need a triple jump to get that, so yeah, that's still kind of useless anyway. Alright. Oh my god, stop jumping into chainsaws. I'm not that incompetent, I promise. That's like the f I just dropped the three in a fucking row like a complete dickhead. Okay, I thought I had iframes during fatalities. Apparently that is not the case, as that chainsaw proved otherwise. Alright, teleport and let's go back over to the bloody den. Let's continue our adventure this way. We got a lot more places to go. And people to see. Potentially, anyway. There's like a... Did I... Apparently I came this way? 
So what's to the right? Hang on, before I go that way, what's this way? A vending machine! Secret, surely! No. Denied again. Denied my precious vending machine. I know this is the wrong way, everyone, but... I don't know. This... Oh, this just ties it up. This is just a... a shortcut. I mean, that's nice. Okay, we found a shortcut. Excellent. In that case, we'll keep going this way. Eh, wasn't as stylish as I wanted it to be, but... How the fuck are you fucking me up, Fly? I hate you. Alright, dodge the chainsaws. Focus on dodging the chainsaws. Then dodge the men afterwards. Men do 20 damage, chainsaws do like 100. Oh, I might die here, shit. A lot of guys. Wow, I really fucked that up. I survived, but I fucked it up. Doing alright though. See, I wanted to do a fatality there and instead it's like, actually I'm just gonna do a melee attack. Oh, this is a shortcut. Oh, this just shortcuts around. Look, you can even see. We could have entered from here and done this whole thing this way around. Holy shit, look at that. That's actually kind of cool. Well, we'll come back to that place and clear all that out in a bit anyway. It's not like that big a deal. That's something I will probably do off-camera, because I think it's going to be relatively uninteresting. If I find interesting shit when I'm doing the off-camera stuff, I will start recording, guys. That's what I did with Benedict Fox. Ow! Oh my god, run, run. Oh, oh chainsaw! Almost a chainsaw to the Regina. <laughs> yeah, I can't get in this area, doesn't it? Oh wait, no, maybe I can. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Now I need, like, a wall jump. Yeah, I don't have that yet. Okay, cool. Well, it's not cool, I don't have something yet, but it's part and parcel of how this game works, so. Oh. That was the most dumb thing I've done in this entire run. What the fuck was that? That was so bad. I was like, mm, do I jump straight into the blade? Yes. Oh, I'm, I actually am going to die here, like, properly. Oh. I say that. I had 14 health left, and I managed to get a kill. I haven't equipped the faster heal, by the way, yet, because uh, I haven't had the—I don't have the battery life to do it. It's why exploring and going back to get all the extra batteries is going to be worth it, because it's going to make me super powerful in the end. Um, but I'm not going to bother showing all that. Listen, Squid Boy. I will say I like fighting the squids and the tentacle monsters way more than I do the uh, the fish in the other area. The fish, like, fucking suck. Like, there is absolutely no redeeming feature to fighting them at all. We need to get a ball in that door. Oh, there's chainsaws! Oh god! They're in the worst! Oh, I'm dead, dead. Jesus Christ. I got absolutely reamed there. Fortunately, the checkpoint was only a few steps away. I think the guitar is definitely better than the uh, fist. It's faster. And it makes a cool electronic guitar noise when you hit them with it. Always a plus. See, again though, trying to do those finishing moves, it just sometimes doesn't do it, which is really annoying. Another time it's really fluid. Alright. How the- what the fuck is this for a start? The wall is pure electro-titanium. It's far too thick. You'll not be able to break it down with basic attacks. Yeah, okay, we need something really special for that, like a super attack. Alright. Now I need to get a ball past all the chainsaws without dying. Excellent. Oh, that's actually surprisingly good. Oh my god. This is surprisingly, like, functional. What? I was expecting this to be actual hell, but so far, not bad. It's because it ba it doesn't bounce, it just does the- Oh god, why did I do that? 
Oh my god, we got it to the final platform. Yeah, well, yeah, we did it. Holy shit. What's down here, though? <laughs> Certain death is what it- Ah! No, don't die! Why am I such an idiot? I just jumped into, like, three blades in a row. Like, they were clearly there. And I'm like, hey, I'll just do a little stir. It'll be fine. I'll move. Probably. All right, anyway, let's move. Oh, a new ability. This is what the objective marker was. Oh shit, so this is like a triple jump. Let me just test this out. Oh, I see it, and it gives you immunity to damage, so you can jump through the la- Oh my god, that's cool. Alright, well that's going to make uh, some interesting moves later on. I don't know if it's going to allow us to do the weird shit over there, but I kind of want to go and have a little try and see if it lets me do the weird shit over there. It's worth a try of the weird shit. I do like me some weird shit. And worst case, we just die. It's definitely going to make dodging stuff way easier, being able to do that. Look, look, that's so much fucking nicer. Can you jump on the platform instead of jumping on the fucking chainsaw, please? It was right there. Oh my god, he punched me. He hit me in the fucking air. What a dickhead. Ah! I'm fine. Everything's fine. Alright. The only way of testing it is going to be this way. So let's test it. I'm on one health. This isn't going to go well. You know what I said it wasn't going to go well? I was completely correct about it not going well. We'll try one more time. But then we're just going to give up on this for now. This might be... Very difficult. It hasn't given me a tutorial on it, I'm just wondering, you know. Will you stop going on that fucking platform? This is the worst place to land on in the fucking area. Oh my god. I need to get out the chainsaws now. Okay. Alright, this time I have a bit more health to attempt this. So the idea is... Nah, there's no way. You need something else. Okay, at least we know now. Your guts just go everywhere when you die. It's so horrible. All right, okay, so we knew we got that. We know we can't do anything else with that at the moment. So, um... Okay, I was going to say, the, the, the fucking things where you got the story items stay there. I was like, did I miss something? You didn't, no. All right, so I need to get back to the, um... Uh, teleporter here. Uh, I'm going to stop recording for a minute, guys, and go and clear out some of the earlier sections here before we move on with a new area. Alright, guys. Um, I cleared out as much stuff I could in this area. There's nothing new back in the other area that I could go and get, so we're just going to continue. I forgot how to control the game. I will say, I went back to town, uh, and the old man is set up there now, and he um, will upgrade our weapons, but we need various components that I did not have. Oh, it's a boss fight, shit. Did not expect this. To say I'm dead here. Nearly got him first time. Nearly got him. If I hadn't fucking died like an idiot here. Why do I always think it's the other button? Alright. Boss fight again. We got this. Wow, his range from behind is unreasonable. Holy shit, can I beat this guy? This is crazy! Oh my god. Alright, gotta focus. Oh my god, stop hitting me! Double hit from behind! It's nuts! This could be a while I take to beat this. Three hits and I'm dead. Holy shit. I don't think I can get past this guy yet, guys. Maybe I need to go and grind. I don't fucking know. Holy shit. Oh, my God. 
can't get away. The the roll does nothing against this fucker. Like he just attacks through it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, run into a brick wall here already. You get hit, you fucks. You cannot get hit. Holy shit, this is a difficulty increase. I'm trying to focus, guys. Got him! Didn't do a finishing move, but I got him. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was intense. Second boss down, though. Hell yeah. Right, that goes to the objective. As usual, nothing behind the vending machine. But this probably takes us somewhere interesting. This is cool. Like, ah, oh, that was intense, but only took me, what, three tries? Actually wasn't anywhere near as bad as I thought it would be. Trash. So much trash. I will cleanse the world of all trash. What in the absolute fuck was that horrible sound? Scanning. I'm currently attempting to locate the source of that message. So much trash. Order cure is killing trash. Scanning complete. Signal located. I'm updating the map. I was going to say it's going to be fucking miles away, right? Yeah, of course it is. New area. Ooh, we can destroy those. Interesting. I don't know about you guys, but the laser on the roof there worries me a little. I've been trained that lasers on roofs probably aren't good. Electro thund Electro Titanium Factory rules. Rule number one, make sure your uniform is worn properly. The uniform of a fuel starter is his armor. It will protect you from sh electric shocks and high temperatures caused by the melting process of raw electro titanium. This sounds like a welcoming place, you know. Oh, we've got men made of goo. Excellent. Oh, we're definitely going to need the upgrades. May need to go and get the components, because I think they only drop in the first area. The components I need. Oh, oh, shit, that finishing move. A new one involving a screwdriver. Isn't that lovely? One day. One day. Oh, these have two health bars, unlike the, the crap ones from the previous area. Oh, they dodge too. Nasty. They take a bit more of a boot, it seems, than the previous ones. Oh, we might get the same shit here. I think we need stuff from the Mosquito. I don't know exactly know what, but we definitely need some stuff from the Mosquito. What the fuck is that down there? Oh, that's like... Hang on. I'm gonna go and check. This, it's like... I think it's like the uh, gemstone that we need to break through. God damn it, I didn't mean to bounce back up again. But let me just check. It's whatever this is and the gemstone stuff that I can't break through at the moment. I don't know what that means. It's like a, a little robot maybe of some description? It's weird having to, like, trying to guess, like, things in Metroidvanias, right? Like, what do you do? What does this mean? Die here. This fucking arsehole. Holy shit, he kicked my ass. Music's badass here. You hit me here? I am fucked.
Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm fucked. There's no fucking way I'm surviving that shit. Wow, the checkpoint is garbage. Holy shit, what a terrible fucking checkpoint. Like, literally miles from where you fucking start. Holy shit. Difficulty definitely jumping up here. More deaths, a lot more. The thing is, to even begin upgrading our stuff, by the way, we need uh, 2,000 uh, fucking currency. So we are a way away from that happening. Oh god, I'm, is not being able to parry going to be a problem as we get deeper into the game here? I don't know. I'm going to go left here first. Oh my god, you little shit, fuck off! You're not even a fucking powerful enemy! You're like the basic bitch one! Fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna die here. Yeah, no fucking way. Wow, this combat has got brutal. Like, so much more harder than it was a minute ago. Maybe I need to go and try and figure out a way of upgrading my character and shit. Because holy shit, I am not making it through this. It's my own. That was dumb. That was just me being dumb. That wasn't difficulty, that was me being a fucking idiot. Thank you. Okay. That's an item. I'll take it. That was really lucky. Come on. Come on, pop out. That's worth a ton of fucking things if you can hit it, if you can get it in on them. I really wanted to do a finishing move there, but it was like, nah, no finishing moves allowed. There we go. Okay, that was better. Got some toxic waste too, it's always nice to hang. Knew that was coming. Saw that fall. I was like, well. Oh, is this a way? Nah. Alright, we're gonna go up this way. We've committed to this route now, it can always go back for the other stuff, so. Well, we're not getting past. Oh, we are getting past it. I just realized there's like a worm inside those guys, and you hit them in the fucking face. And you pull the worm out with the screwdriver that's like controlling them. See? There's a little pink worm that just bursts out of them, little fucks. I'm regretting this. Oh, I really want bits from the mosquitoes still, they're quite useful. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Let's risk it for a biscuit. Let's nom it for a bum it. Worth. Fucking worth. Oh, red tentacles. I don't know what those are from. I don't know what those are for yet, but hopefully useful. Okay, not too bad. Fucking mosquitoes. Doing that bullshit range attack at close range. Fucks you so bad. Okay, we're alright. We're alright. We made it. Got a bit of health back too. Alright. I don't know which way I should go. Well, this is a reconstruction chamber. 
Let's go the other way first. That boss, by the way, still reeling. Like, it wasn't actually super hard compared to some Metroidvanias. Like, four tries is nothing. Like, I fought bosses before that took me, like, 20 tries. You know, easily, maybe even more than that in the Metroidvania. So it's not, like, okay. Right, you know, it's not like, the hardest thing ever. Oh, we've got a ball we need to get over here. I wonder how far away the ball is. Oh, it's a one hit. I did not expect it to be a one hit kill. I don't know why I didn't expect it to be a one hit kill, because it makes perfect sense that it's a one hit kill. I'm gonna try that again. I feel like I can do it. Bullshit. Do you see that recovery time? It recovered and shot me out the air. Little fuck. Okay, I think the items I need are actually all gonna drop here still anyway, so that's good. What's this way? Oh no, yeah, there we need to get the thing. Okay. Focusing, sorry guys. Gotta really get fucking try hard focus to get past some of this shit. Alright, here's the ball that we now need to get all the way back. What's in here? More fucking rooms. More fucking rooms. Holy shit, this place is huge. It's okay. Are you fucking kidding me? That is the last thing I wanted to happen. God damn you, you fucking... These balls, my least favourite part of the game. They just feel shit to, like, fucking move. I think we did it though. Just need to get it in the hole. And my dreams come true. We did it! Oh my god, we did it and we get an item for it too. Excellent. That was fucking badass. Alright, what do we get here? A vampirizer. Increase the amount of hit points fears drop from brutalized enemies. Probably worthwhile. Uh, Titanium Factory Rules. Rule number three. Monitor the movements of your DWK100 carefully. In the event of anomalies, malfunctions, or any mutiny, the architecture system must be promptly updated in order to dismantle and replace the resource. Lovely. Well, that was just to get the upgrade, but definitely worth it. Alright. Well, let's try and go this way for now. I'm committed to this walk, so I may as well just keep going this way. That was fucking challenging. But we made it. God, f doing the finishing moves just don't work half the fucking time. Alright, that's a shortcut for later on. There we go. When I find shortcuts like that, I wonder if I meant to have, been, have come to this from the other side first. This goes through a new area. So this is definitely not the right way in terms of progression. This is like a this is a brand new area. Where the fuck am I? Oh, 
Oh shit, I'm in the I'm in the bloody den. Look, I'm back at the start. Holy shit. That's actually kind of useful. All right, so we found a shortcut back to the bloody den and that all connected up. I'm going to just go back to town quickly and uh, upgrade. I might as well show you what upgrades are there and and see what we can do. And actually, just realized I don't have enough fucking souls to upgrade. I need 2000 for every fucking thing now. So, that's not happening. <laughs> Um, but we can go and use the teleporter in town to uh, get back to that area much faster, so let's go and do that. <laughs> the guy, by the way, the guy with the eye bursting is still there, so I'm wondering if we can eventually find a cure for him to try and make him uh, not dead and then get his key card, which will unlock the door that I still haven't opened in one of the areas. I guess we'll see. Like, everything is like kind of you know, up in the air at the moment. Uh, edit components. What can I equip right now? Um, what do I want to equip? Adds 50 void to cherry. Level 2 on the attack I'm going to equip. I think that's just way more useful. And I'll equip uh, Suck Me Dry. Parry removes double the... I don't want, I'm never going to parry, so there's no point in having it on. So we might as well just leave that. But I have upgraded our attack, which is good. Uh, the Bloody Den Central... Oh, we, did, we never found a teleport back? Are you fucking kidding me? I've got to go all the way through the level. Oh well, I guess that's what we're going to be doing. I'll be back once we are in a new position. Oh my god. Alright, we're back up here. We're going to go start exploring this direction now. New areas, new dreams, new memes. More red tentacle fuckers that are beating the- Oh my god, that damage. I was gonna say, he turned with my fucking attack there and just fisted me in seconds. Holy shit. Yeah, we need, before we can upgrade, we need a lot of loot. I can see myself grinding in this game, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm actually wondering something. This goes down to a shortcut, I think. Yeah, it does, see? That's the shortcut to the other area we were in. Electro Titanium, rule number four, don't keep your performance below 12 hours daily. It is not possible to meet this requirement. The Ocha systems must be updated promptly. If the fuel starter fails more than three times in a year, it will be defaulted and these tools will be taken back. Good news is, um, I know I missed rule number two, but it's just good. there's loads of routes I didn't take in the facility, so, you know. Easy. GG. Easy. Oh, fuck, I didn't even see that fucking laser. It was right there. But you know how observant I am. This seems like a terrible idea on my part. Probably missed some stuff under me there, but I'm willing to, uh... Holy shit, this is working. Oh my god! That combo! That was amazing. That was the best thing I've done in this game. Very enjoyable. Holy shit. When the combat works, it feels so fucking good. It really does. Alright, what's down here? Secret. I don't know what that is, but I'm worried. Oh, we gotta turn it on. One of... F zero out of four. Okay. Alright. Okay, why did that fucking hit me? I was nowhere fucking near it. Alright, so four things I have to turn on to get in there. Could be one of them here, I guess. Hmm. 
Hmm. I guess not. This is like a place to drop down from later on. Nearly didn't get that in. Woo! Alright. I'm scared. I'm scared of the lasers. I'm scared of everything here. Alright, this seems to be going... But, oh, there's, there's stuff over there. I want stuff. I like stuff. Woo! That was close. Yeah, I have no idea what to do to get past whatever the barrier is in that room. Um, but still, pretty cool so far. It looks like you come in from another area, actually. I was gonna say, fuck off. Alright, we're going this way. This is probably the right way. Probably, maybe, possibly. No idea how to turn on the four things for that tentacle thing, but... Oh shit. Yeah, not surviving this, I don't think. Especially when shit like that happens. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna survive this. Okay, I was directly behind that enemy when it punched me. And I still died, which is kind of annoying. Knock him off the platform, come on you fuck. Wow, knocking these guys off is so difficult. Just don't want to do it. I mean, I understand why they don't want to do it. Like, if I was a squid thing on a platform, this is not the end. Another wave, at least. Focus. Okay, got it. Bursting with excitement. Uh, another one on the other side? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hopping. Oh, we did it! Not too bad. First try? Second try, second try. Not bad. Not bad at all. Could have been a lot worse. Those rooms scare me, so I'm pretty happy when that goes well. Yeah, no idea what those are, but we're going to need them later on, whatever the fuck they are. For now, we are going down. We can finally get some upgrade as well, I think, soon, which will be good. Okay, yeah, yeah. Definitely can't progress in that top room for now. Ooh, 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 ooh. This, though, we can do.
Oh, seeing that close up, that was fucking badass. Hey, I got a collar, Jesus. Okay, my mind went to the wrong kind of collar immediately, and the fact that it did bothers me quite a bit, actually. Alright. God damn it, fuck. Looks like we need the bat thing to get through that door. I say a bat thing, you see what I mean? It's, I know it's a bulb, but it looks a bit like a bat, okay? <laughs> I wonder if there's a trophy for destroying, like, a thousand of those fucking things. I hope there is, because I've been focusing way too much effort on doing so, compared to how I probably should have been. Hmm. Hi. Whoa, this guy's lost his noggin. Something must have blew his mind. Zzz, zzz. I'll admit, it's unusual to see an active Denzel without a head. Hey man, speak up! Oh, I'm getting a buzzes over here, we're not gonna hurt you. Buzz, buzz. I didn't think his auditory system would have been installed in the back of his head, and it's currently missing. Well, maybe we can do something to help him. Really, Cherry? You're showing compassion? That's surprising. I just know what it feels like to be damaged. Believe me, the pain can be absolutely unbearable. Let's find you guys a new Denzel head. At the very least, I want to know who did this to him. We won't be able to find a Denzel head just laying around, but maybe we could find a shop and buy one? We should keep moving for now. Okay, we found an actual checkpoint here, at least now, that isn't the intro area. Although I'm going to have a long run back to the intro area, by the way, to get shit. Like a crazy long run back. Hmm. We're getting close to the objective, whatever it may be. Oh shit. I think this goes to another area, surely. This is going way too high for... Oh, maybe not. This could go to whatever it is. Well, we're committed now. We're going this way. I'm guessing a boss fight that's probably out my league. Trash killer! Trash killer! I'm Autochur and you are dead! Is that voice again? It's getting louder. We must be getting close. What the fuck is a trash killer, anyway? Sort of sound is unknown. Stay alert, Cherry. Something really big and bad, I'm gonna guess. That's okay. Yeah, see, like, the fact that there's one up here makes me, like, okay. They've got to mean something. Destroy 7,000 robots. Foreign debris identified. Primary directive activated. Removal trash. Cleanse the world! It seems we found the source of that mysterious signal, Cherry. No shit. Also seems this floating garbage disposal has a nasty filth fetish. Containment forbidden. Trash removal and sterilization activated. Invaders must die. Hey, Washbot, turn it down a notch, will ya? This is gonna be tough. I've got a feeling this will be the hardest fight in the game we've played so far. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, he was on fire there, literally. Oh, shit. Wow, that was bad by me. Yeah, we're not beating him this time, but... doesn't seem insurmountable. Like, I'm gonna go back and uh, level up and stuff. Um, but that's our main objective now, is to beat him. I feel with a few upgrades, probably not actually that big a deal uh, in the grand scheme of things. I like the fact we can fall all the way down there, by the way. That's pretty badass. We haven't been this way. We should probably go this way in case there's something we can do here. Uh, this is just a shortcut, right? Oh no, this guy- yeah, this is a shortcut back to the very beginning, probably. Which is actually handy, because I think we need that to explore. Alright, let's go, uh, we're gonna teleport back to the- the- there for a second. Okay. Why did I teleport to here? That's not where I chose. I chose the diner. I did, clearly didn't choose the diner, otherwise I would have teleported to the diner, but in my head I chose the diner, and therefore I automatically assume that's going to be completely correct. Alright. Hi. Buy upgrades. I hasn't got anything for us, but the shop will now. For those of you who don't know, I haven't signed the shop on camera yet. Uh, what you do is go here. There's going to be other people we can say clearly, but this guy has got something for us here. 
All right, we're gonna upgrade the guitar. You can't, it looks like the glove can just be changed, but I think the guitar's better, so we're gonna upgrade the guitar, okay? We do have enough, uh, except bits now, to upgrade that when we get a chance to, which is handy. But now we've upgraded our base weapon so we can do more damage to the boss as well, which, you know, that's pretty handy. So nothing crazy. I think what I'm gonna do though is, uh, I haven't found any more batteries, so, you know. What I'm gonna do is go explore to the right in here first, I think, before I go and take on the boss again, because we can very easily get back to him whenever we get near a teleport point, so, you know. Uh, I think this is probably worth uh, exploring. I still don't know about those, um, the fucking, like, uh, four things that guy wants turned on to activate it. I wonder if it's like defeat the four main bosses or some shit. I mean, I don't even know if those other bosses counted as main bosses. Oh god. Very surprised I survived that. When these start having traps in them that kill you, it's going to be an issue. When you attack there, by the way, the slam. It's kind of badass. More to come, obviously. Bullshit. Getting them off the platforms in this is such bullshit. These fucking arsehole. Dickhead fucking slime cunts. I hate them. I hate them so much. Give me help. Yes. Good. Alright, what's next? Oh, that was it? Oh. Bit anticlimactic. I expected at least some brains to show up at some point, but no. And we got a lot of shit for that as well. Nearly 600 back up again. Really happy with that. Hell yeah. And fuck you. Hell yeah, and fuck you. Sums up this game nicely, actually. Oh, there's a chest here that I didn't notice. A little secret. Sneaky deaky. Well, didn't want to go down here, but I guess that's where I'm going. I am so fucking dead. How many enemies? The answer is 7,000 at this point in time. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no fucking way in a million years I'm surviving that shit. Oh, the checkpoint is shite. Better job on the checkpoints, in my opinion. I feel like they're pretty bad. Like, I would give them, like... They're not the worst. I'd give them, like, a... I don't know. I'd probably say, like, a... A 4 out of 10 checkpoints. I feel there needs to be more teleport points, too. Like, the teleporting in this is really bad. So, like... Fast travel in Metroidvania is usually isn't something you unlock till later on, which is fair enough. And I don't, but I don't know if this even has it. But I feel like there's very limited travel points at the moment, to the extent where it renders them almost completely fucking useless. See, I couldn't do either of those, and that's so annoying. Fucking fly, fuck me up. Holy shit. I'm not out of the woods yet, there's gonna be more slime guys. There isn't gonna be more slime guys. But I did miss everything up there. Oh my god, that's so obnoxious.
had to come back for that, unfortunately, which sucks. Uh, Factory Rule 5. The hierarchy must be strictly respected, although the fuel starters are a community of brothers, deserving equal measures of respect. Seniority is a sacred thing that cannot be bypassed by skills. Hmm, interesting. And by interesting, I mean I don't care. I feel like this is going to wrap round this way. I'm fucking dead. There's no fucking way. Yeah, I was going to say, no fucking way. Hey, I got another chance of doing the fucking jump again, though. Ho hooray? Haru? I definitely feel like that's a haru, I'm going to be honest with you. Can I get up there, actually? How did I get here? Oh my god. Did I go up here? Oh my god! Completely missed this! Give me something good. Yes! That's what I fucking need. More fucking power cells. This fucking good shit. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. Alright. One more try at this ridiculous fucking jumping section. That I'm sure has something good on the other side. Otherwise it wouldn't fucking be there. I'm gonna leave these. Fuck it. This is the platforming here. That is fucking me. The fucking fly fucked me again! Fuck it! It's so fucking obnoxious. Holy shit. What am I supposed to do about that? I don't know. God, this whole area is terrible, actually. It's so fucking dangerous. I feel like I'm making zero progress here. Fuck you. Alright, let's keep going this way for now. I feel like I'm missing a lot, but it's okay. Alright, we need a butt stomp to get through here. The mosquitoes have such low health, but they're so fucking dangerous, it's unbelievable. Oh my god, the game is trolling the fuck out of me right now. I'm not gonna follow you. No, fuck off. I'm gonna die again. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, this is brutal! Guys, I am just stuck in the loop of dying here. I will be back when I make some valid progress and interesting things happen. I don't want to fucking have you see me do this fucking platforming section for the billionth fucking time, because I am done with it, as it is. Okay, so, uh, yeah, give me a minute, guys, alright? Alright, guys. Made a bit more progress. Still haven't got the jumping bit done, but I didn't try it again yet. Um, I ended up, like, going round down this way. Can't get that box over there because it's another one of those like tubes that it says the one of four in next to it. Um, so I'm not fully sure where I'm going yet still. We're just still exploring this uh, optional area, I guess, at the moment. But it's not gone too badly. You've seen this area before, but uh, now I'm in a much better position. I say that as a fucking mosquito absolutely fucks me again. Heal up. Definitely could do with another health upgrade. I feel my health is very fragile at the moment, like more so than it has been throughout the game. But, you know, it's not like crazy bad. I'm not gonna chase him, I'm gonna go up and get the vending machine and stuff first. Lots of different shortcuts and stuff here as well, by the way. Like. This level is a real maze compared to some of the other places we've done so far. Like, there's a lot of optional stuff. If I can bait the fucking bugs down here, I fucking will. You know what I really could do with? An ability that lets me suck items up. That would be fucking great. That would, like, be a lifesaver. Yeah, fuck you. Like, an ability that lets me suck up bugs. Like, like the shit on the floor, because I miss so much of it. 
And a lot of the time I've moved on to the next platform, so I'm not gonna go around and do the jump again, you know what I mean? So like... I've got a feeling this area is gonna be nothing for me, but we'll see. We will fucking see. Uh. I wanted to try something. Do you think maybe just falling onto that from a great height will do it? Nah. I thought maybe it would, but I guess it's like a special... A special butt pound that I need. See, like, those blue things. I'm already fucking moving away, but I'm like, I really could do with those. That would be so fucking useful. Hmm, is that jump doable? Oh, it is if I do a dive. Yeah, it is. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. Definitely worth it. We've almost got enough of the other upgrade now, by the way. Because I died so much. The one advantage to dying and killing everything again is you get- you can grind, right? You know what I mean? Like, it's not like... Almost threw myself down. Oh, this is the other door! There's nothing else here. That was fucking clutch. There's nothing else here. This was all- Are you fucking kidding me? This is all loops round for nothing! For nothing! I mean, there's a door back down this way I haven't been through yet, but... At the moment, I definitely need new skills to clear out this area. Holy shit! It wasn't a waste of time, but fuck. Alright, this is new. We've not been here yet. Nearly there. Don't die now. Yes! Fuck. Fuck. Yes! God, when I actually do good, it feels so fucking good. Problem is, I'm not doing good most of the time still at the moment, but still. I'm trying, okay? I'm trying my hardest. I'm a nomkin. Uh... Oh, we got... Uh, rule number two. Make sure the melted electro titanium is properly stored in the containers designated for the refrigeration process. An overload could cause considerable danger for the ET foundry and all fellow fuel starters. Hey, we found the second one. I guess this means... I, was say, I guess this means this connects up, but it definitely doesn't. Oh, I guess it could connect up to the other direction, actually. I really should heal. I can heal and then just fucking grab the ball. Do you love grabbing me some balls? I don't really, actually, that much. Alright, go. Didn't see the two. Didn't see the two. Alright, I'll take it. Wasn't too bad. Could have been a lot worse. Thank you. Apparently I haven't been this way. I hear a big boy. That guitar slam, by the way, I unlocked is fucking badass. Couldn't even tell what enemies I was fighting there, I'm gonna be honest with you, it was just a clusterfuck of everything. This looks like it's probably nothing, because there's a fucking ground pound thing up here. Oh my god, I went through the fucking- did you guys fucking see that? That was dog shit. This could be more dog shit though. Jesus Christ. Wow. I got fisted there. Holy shit. You see what's down that pit, by the way? Really good shit. But going down there, I feel, is a bad idea at this point in time. I feel like... There's something this way. I don't know if I can get anything with it, though. Nah, I gotta press it from the other side. Oh, uh, and that's where that comes out. I see. I see, I see, I see, I see. Definitely lots of stuff that I'm gonna have to do here off camera. Like, fucking around with shit. But it's not that big a deal. That connects back up to the start. Where haven't I been? Oh, uh, up there I haven't been, apparently. And where else? 
Huh. I guess I feel like I've been most of the places here at the moment. Uh, I'm going to drop down that hole. Feels like it's probably worth it. One thing I'm a bit sad about is I have to... Get the health, get the... Whatever this is, get it. I am so fucking lucky to be alive, holy shit. Well, we can actually get back out of here. I didn't expect that. We're getting good shit. We're getting good shit. We can nearly upgrade the arm. Don't know if it's worth it or not at this point in time, I will say, but... Because I'm, I'm not using it, you know. Hey, and we got locked a shortcut all the way to the back. I never tagged this machine, by the way. This did It didn't count that machine. Isn't that fucking lame? Like, that didn't count as a teleport point. I'm serious. That didn't count as a teleport point. Which is... Unbelievable. Oh my god. Something else the game should have as well, just to stop stupid shit. Is, uh, they should have a... The checkpoint should heal you. Because there's no real need for them not to, like it doesn't make any difference. Because if you're going to die, you're going to respawn it anyway. So it means in some instances you're just going to kill yourself instead of doing the fight. If that makes sense. So like, it just kind of removes... Uh, it just it just kind of adds in an extra thing that you don't really need to worry You shouldn't have to worry about, essentially. Another one of these up here, like... What are they for? And where the fuck am I? Okay, this all connects around. Alright, so we've cleared out nearly all of this. We haven't been up there. We haven't been over there. I'm not going to run through this again just now because there's you know, plenty of stuff to fucking explore anyway. So what we're going to do is teleport out of here for a start. I'm really glad we figured out what was inside that jump, otherwise I was going to lose my fucking mind. I'm going to be honest with you. Alright. We're going to go back to the hidden diner quickly. I say quickly. Nothing really happens quickly in this game except the combat. <laughs> Everything else loads it. Actually, that was pretty far. Okay, I'll let it slide. That was decent. All right. Oh, God, it's so easy to choose the wrong option for some reason. It's weird. All right, so I can't upgrade any of these at the moment. We have nothing, really, that fits the bill here. So... Do I buy the fist? I haven't got enough money to buy the fist. I don't even why I just came back here. There was no need. That was a waste of time. Absolute fucking waste of time. I just realized. Like, it's not gonna make any difference. None at all. I have two things left. I could equip. I can equip this, but it's just fucking useless. Because parry just doesn't work for me. So I think I'll just save it for now. Alright, well, we're gonna. We haven't really gained anything for the fight, except we did upgrade the um, guitar. I guess it's just going to be a question of get good and hope for the best here against the uh, trash compactor thing. Because at the moment, everything else is kind of like uh, Donzo. I admire my commitment to saying don't wrong, I'm going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> like, it's become... Are you... What the... F what just happened? That was really fucking weird. I don't have too long left on. Oh, I just realized. I thought that was part of the elevator, but it's just the side bits. That's my bad. I'm just blind. Alright. But, decent progress overall, I feel, for this session. I'm gonna have to wrap up soon. I'm gonna have a few more cracks at this guy. It's gonna take me a while to learn, to be honest with you, this, I feel like. I think we're talking, like, ten tries. That laser is brutal. I got him to 195. That's not bad, actually. Not bad at all. And you can just retry this fight infinite amount of times.
Get out the fucking laser. I can't get away from the fucking lasers, it's driving me nuts. Oh, I was so close! 97 health! If the fucking- if I hadn't got fucking stun locked on the fucking lasers, that would have been it. God, get away from the fucking laser, you stupid bitch! She's so fucking useless at avoiding it, like, the jump just does nothing near it. Stop falling in it! I'm on the platform! What the fuck? God, that's so annoying. Wasted my special, but that's okay. That I can't avoid. I was so close, the best I've done! He just spams the fucking bollocks missiles though, I hate it! The missiles fuck you. WHY DID YOU DO THAT?! I don't understand why she jumps into a fucking thing sometimes, she just jumps in! That was a good position to be in by the way. Can't avoid it. Knew I was fucked. Nowhere to jump. And again, she just plummets into the fucking shit. And I've no idea what to do about it. Missiles, the best I've done again, but the missiles are so unbelievably lame. What the fuck? I was very lucky I landed on the right fucking thing there. Not very lucky he did that immediately afterwards though, the fucking shit attacks. Come on. I fucked myself so hard. I'm getting angry, so I'm failing. I think I said 10 tries, right? I don't think it's been 10 yet, but it will be soon. Stop doing the ground pound into the fucking floor, you stupid bitch! I don't know why she's doing it. I don't think I'm pressing it. No way am I surviving this, because if he does the missiles like this, I'm fucked. Yeah. One hit kill, like, it's just a waste of fucking time if he does that attack. Uh, I'm so close, but I don't want to give up. But I'm running out of time, I've got... 10 minutes of my of real lifetime left today. Missile's just lame. That was lame too, because I couldn't fucking move. Because my character was pounding the ground again! Got him! Fucking got him! Yes! And I got the finishing move. I didn't really see much there except a massive panty shot, but I did kill the boss, and I've won this section.
Hell yeah. Hello, my dear friend. You really know how to surprise an old friend, don't you? And you are... Uh, my underlings told me there was a little brat out there causing a bit of trouble. I had to see for myself. They sometimes like to mess with me, you see. You're the guy that kidnapped Shinji! Allow me to introduce myself properly. Salem Garbanzos. First son of the noble president, the chief of the robotic police, and soon owner of that pretty little head of yours. You know, you were an absolute wreck when I left you to die. I wonder how exactly you scraped yourself off the pavement and cobbled your life back. No, your business, bub. Where's Shinji, you bald-headed clown? <laughs> it's obvious you haven't learned a thing. Such disrespect. I believe you must be punished severely for your impudence. And those that are helping you, they'll all be swept away by the black hand. I'm coming for you, Cherry. This I can guarantee. What an absolute nut. Regina, we need to hurry. Shinji shouldn't have time to spend one more minute with this asshole. Cherry, you... End of discussion, Jaina. His goddamn army is going down. I should say, is it Jaina or Gina? G Jaina makes sense from like a fucking uh, thingy perspective. New skill? Ground pound. Yeah. Quite a new combat ability. Yo, Cherry, Raz here. I was listening in a chat with the bass, and I managed to trace the call. The signal was coming from the top of the Numa chambers. Probably should head up there and check it out. On my way, Raz, just found a new toy that'll probably help me reach that place. It will. Alright. How do I do that? It says, it said jump and RB, right? It's just doing the shoot. What the fuck? Do I have to equip it? By press, I need to equip it. Have I not equipped it? By pressing RB in the air, I'm pressing RB in the air. And it's just shooting. I don't understand. Why is that not working? shooting I don't I don't understand what the fuck this is ridiculous so I have to select it as an ability in the menu and I feel like the game did a terrible job of explaining that like absolutely dog shit Jesus Christ I'm annoyed that took like 20 fucking minutes to me to figure out <laughs> look closely Jerry there's an inscription on one of those huge teeth Starvation was our companion. Cowards in the grave have abandoned us. Mighty gods of endless space, we lay down in your titanic grace. From the blood and the meat, we are now what we eat. It's the whale. God damn it, you've seen something so huge? This is not just something, Cherry. This is a Kujira, a space mammal that floats outside of our atmosphere. It's fascinating. These particular creatures thrive in the vacuum by absorbing a combination of molecular... All right, all right, we don't have time for a science lesson. It's a fucking gigantic space whale, got it? How'd it get here? When a Kajira dies, it orbits until it drifts into our atmosphere. Gravity takes over and the carcass eventually falls to the ground. It really is fascinating. I remember not to eat it under any circumstances. Hey, Raz, you there? Come in, Raz. Hey, Kudo, can you hear me? Yeah, man, loud and clear. Just a quickie for now. I've unlocked one of Shinji's logs. Swing by the hidden diner when you got a sec. You got it, man. Thanks for the update. Catch you on the flip side, girly. I really wanted to teleport out of here. I was hoping for a teleportation out of here. Because I'm running out of time. A fuel starter message. Since the Crystal Pits accident, the Electro Titanium Foundry has been completely offline. Without our wages, we will no longer be able to import any kind of food from the other sectors. We may be forced to leave Sector 299 to try our luck elsewhere, even though I'm not sure that the Infinite Militia will allow it. May the gods help us. Is that the guy again? I feel like that's the guy again. Alright, I did not mean for that to fall all the way through, but apparently that's what we're doing. And it's what it wants us to do anyway, because we're going to go all the way down through this whole fucking level, look. Holy shit. They all lined up. That's actually kind of cool. What do we get here for that? Soul ID label. Hmm. An object vibrates with nostalgic energy. Could it be a link to the past? 
I have no idea what that is or what it's for as it stands. And now we unlock that. Excellent. Bye guys, I'm not hanging around in here for now. Got quite a few things I could potentially smash up. But not in here, actually. The very la very big lack of them in here on this side. Okay, guys. Okay. Fuck you all. Grab these while I can. I'm so close to dying. Go, 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 go. Run. 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 Checkpoint. 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 Leave me alone. Teleport. Diner. Boom. Hell fucking yeah. We made it out, guys. We made it out. We beat, beat a tough boss. And we have made some substantial progress. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Alright guys, jumping ahead a little bit from yesterday, we are now in the Numa Chambers. All I did was take an elevator up from Denzel Factory that was behind a butt slam. I did find something interesting in the Denzel Factory though. Um, the tubes with teeth, the way you actually get past them is uppercutting enemies into the mouth of the tube, which causes the machine to break. And you can die and come back and respawn the enemies multiple times so you can knock four into the mouth. And that's how you achieve it. It's not... It's pretty annoying, but I did do the one in that area, and I'll demonstrate one to you and we can teleport out of here and get to a new area as well, alright? Uh, another thing, we went into this area here, and I had a tutorial. This enemy is too strong to be hit by normal attacks, which I think I mean means we need to butt slam it. Like that. I say like that, but I completely miss multiple times. Hmm. I actually can't hit it with the butt slam either. Oh, wow. Let's leave it alone for now. We're in the Numa Numa tubes. Tee hee 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 hee. That's a reference. We've got Zek Blunt, male, 82 years old, a retired bounty hunter. Last words, it's just business, nothing personnel. Oh, we have humanoid enemies here. A new finishing move, what is it? Oh, right in the eye. I'm not quite sure what these guys are meant to be. I guess they're like just more of the fucking Denzels in the area. Looks like we have updated versions of these models here as well to make them more dangerous. Yeah, just the eye kill though, still on those. Just the eye kill, as opposed to the butt kill. These seem to die really easy compared to the stuff in the slum area we were just in. I mean, I'm pretty happy about that, but still. I haven't upgraded anything else or anything like that, by the way. Like, everything's the same as it was before, except I just did a little bit of exploration. I, I might have found an energy battery, I can't remember. But nothing crazy. But yeah, a whole new area to explore here, so let's get going. Oh shit. Okay, so that's a shortcut back from the top. Got it. Very high up shortcut. Oh my god, did you see the size of that platforming? That's like so small. It's like smaller than my boobs. What the fuck? Alright, here we go. I can do this. <clears throat> Just gotta do a perfect flawless jump with no mistakes. And then if I fail, a massive penalty every time. Yay! Second time's the charm. Did it. I think I've done pretty good at Metroidvania so far with this game, guys. I'm really looking forward to playing the last phase with you guys, too. It's so fucking good. Like, I think I like it more than this, and I really like this as well, so... I want to see if I can get a finishing move on this guy, because I didn't before. Oh my god! You just... That was all his, all of his insides. Wow. This game is really, really violent. Like, some of the most violent shit I think I've ever seen. And we got a GLaDOS head up there that we need. I was going to say, that's probably a trap. 
Probably should have uh, not jumped directly into it, but I was very lucky and avoided it. Mm, if that guy's going to kill himself, I'm totally alright with that. As you can see, I've got quite a lot of uh, uh, money at the moment to spend, but uh, I want to explore some more. And all the upgrades require things from this area, I believe. Oh god, the fish are back! Why are there fish in the fucking factory? The worst enemy in the game. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see more Metro Trevenius, because there's definitely a few others I'd love to play, like older ones. Oh, they summon these! Oh, bless you, Chris. Chrism's Chris chilling out in here and she sneezled. Coughs and sneezles spread diseases. But also, they're very cute, so it's okay. Yeah, I don't know how to beat these. So I'm going to leave them alone for now. They, well, like I say, the tutorial was like, they're too strong to be hit by normal attacks. Chris is still sneezling, oh my god. It's okay, he's still very cute. The robot doesn't really seem to do anything. I just destroyed everything around it except the robot there. And it was like, oh yeah, whatever. Whatevs, I'm just a robot. Yeah, I don't see a way of damaging it at the moment. That doesn't even seem to do anything either. Hmm. Oh, maybe this? Nah, I don't think so. I actually know where I'm taking this ball, by the way. I'll leave it there for now while I explore, because I don't want to put like kick it over here and realize the exit's like underneath me or some shit. I think I'm really getting the hang of the combat now. I'll say that and then just die later on. Okay, down here is where I need to put it. Okay, this should be relatively easy. I say as I immediately fuck that up. Now, why am I not getting a fist, uh, an aiming thing? This is weird. Don't fall, don't you dare fall down that pit. If you fall down that pit, I'm fucked. Almost there. Yeah, my aiming thing's gone, that's really fucking weird. Oh well, whatever. We still did it. I don't need my fucking aiming. Aiming? In a oh god! Oh, I thought that was a tra I thought that was like a gun turret. It shat myself. All right, I might as well map this out so I don't have to map it out again. And take 30 damage for doing it. Lovely. Anything I've missed here? Mm, couldn't go up there. I did miss something down in that room there, but that's easy enough to go and get again. Oh, first challenge room of the area. If every one of these enemies can spawn more enemies, that could be a recipe for absolute fucking disaster in these challenge rooms. That guy up there is a big problem. The range attacks are just brutal. Hang on, are they spawning new furry guys? I think they are. Okay, so I've got to kill a big robot here, and I don't know how to do it. So that's a, that's a great position to be in. Yeah, I'm dead. Fuck, I don't know how to kill the big robots. Holy shit. What do you think I have to fucking do? I genuinely, I just have no idea. I'm gonna probably have to go and research it because I I just don't understand what I'm meant to be doing. The, it was just like maybe you could use a big attack. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Um. Hmm. 
Hmm. Everyone else seems to have figured this out except me, because there's no fucking threads about it on the forum or anything. Why am I an idiot, guys? I'll be right back. So, I haven't found any information on what to do with this, guys, but I'm going to try using my gauntlet instead of the guitar and see if that makes a difference. I might need to upgrade the gauntlet, which I can go and do now. It's not a big deal. If I, if I had to, I could just leave and do that. But we'll find out in a minute how bad this is. But this room could be, like, a really tough room. Just the homing attacks, they just brutal. They just fuck you up so bad. I have no idea what's happening. The fact the game maintains a really good frame rate with all this shit going on, though, is pretty impressive. Needless to say, this game is not on Switch, by the way. Right, let's try this. Nope, that's not enough. Ah, uh, it's the fucking... It's the thing you used to do, move the GLaDOS balls. Okay, know what to do now. Nice and easy. I'll go back to the guitar in a minute, because the guitar's upgraded and the uh, gauntlet isn't. Even you, you somehow even kill the Roombas in a horrifically violent, gory way in this game. I might be in trouble here. These guys really suck, because they, the, they, the, they, they do the aerial attack, but they do it twice. See? Like, getting, actually getting the kill on them is really hard, because they just... I don't think I can do this! Holy shit! Get the, get the... No! You fucking idiot! Get the health, get the health, get the health. Yeah! Ten health isn't a lot, but it's better than nothing. We did it! Second try, not too bad, and we now had to beat the giant rumbers now. Excellent. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how they made killing giant Rumbas gory, but they did. That was brutal. Alright, moving on. I really hope we find a- oh. I was about to say, we really hope we find a teleport point soon. Yes, I just did. Excellent. Okay. Two things. I'm gonna go back here. To the hidden diner. Very quickly, first of all. Because I have a surplus of money at the moment, so I might as well get the next upgrades. And I will show you how to do the tube rooms as well. I mean, I know a lot of you will be like, I, I knew that already because I'm not a complete idiot like you, Minx, who spent ages staring at the drawing of people being uppercutted into cubes and wonder what the fuck was going on with it. But there's also a few other things I want to do here. Um, buy upgrade gear. I'm not going to upgrade the Void Enhancer yet because I'm not even using the fucking thing at the moment. Shinji's logs. I want, oh my god, the fucking controls on this are garbage. About Shinji's logs. Hey man, decrypt any of Shinji's logs. One so far, what I uncovered is wild. Shinji's real brave. No clue I work with such a badass. What'd you find out? Check it out for yourself. It's on the terminal over there. Alright, let's go and read the terminal. Shinji's log one. My name is Shinji Fallon. I'm the chief engineer of the Infinet Corporation. Today I decided to start transcribing all my thoughts related to my ethical and professional choices in this log. I'm at a crossroads of two terrible scenarios. The first is to follow the orders of the noble president and build an army of Denzels, thus coordinating the extermination of populations that inhabit the external sectors. The second scenario instead would lead me to certain death, disobey Infinet trying to sabotage it from the inside. I don't want to be a hero, but I'd rather die fighting against tyranny than live choosing to be a mass killer, bitch. My time at Infinite is all over. I will fight on the right side. Alright, that's her first log. We, nothing we didn't know there already, but still. Oh my god, I need to do that. Okay, anyway, up here, go to the shop for the old man. It looks like the musician guy didn't move here, by the way. Um, but we're gonna upgrade the fist. Because we may as well. And now we're going to go down here, because there was a brown pound down here that we didn't do. It's probably quicker on the other way, but fuck it. We'll just rerun the tutorial area really fast. It'll only take a second. Watch me die in the tutorial area. Watch there be a super boss in the tutorial area now, just to fuck with you. 
You can move the camera down, by the way, to look ahead of yourself. I have not done it once in this entire playthrough. Even when the tutorial told me to do it, I didn't do it. But, you definitely can. I bullied the robots, I'm sorry. I'm not even going to kill those ones, it's not worth it. Alright, so up here... Should be the butt slam. Coming up. Through here? Yeah, here. We've got an upgrade of some description, what the fuck is this? A rusty wrench. Hmm, oh, so it can... Is it a weapon? The door's locked tight here. Okay. Is it a weapon? I say as I immediately press the wrong button. It is not. It's just like an item to trade with somebody, it looks like. Hmm, oh, I wonder who wants it. I'll talk to What's-His-Face, see if he wants it quickly. But yeah, that's for something that I don't really know. I guess you could grind for some of the basic ingredients just down there if you wanted to. Because those insect legs are used for some item creation around here. Hey kiddo, what's up? Buy up Greg Okay, no. Alright, that's fine. I just wanted to check. One more thing I do want to check. I picked up that weird data disc and it's a key item. And I'm wondering if it unlocks the big door down here. It probably doesn't, but I want to have a quick look. Because you never know. And it only takes a second to check. Nah, we need, like, the bat attack, whatever the fuck that is still that we haven't got yet. I keep calling it the bat. It's probably nothing to do with the bat, but I'm gonna just keep assuming it's to do with the bat. Because that's just how I roll. Anyway, let's go and do uh, a tube uh, and show you guys what to do with that quickly as well. I'm not gonna do all the tubes on camera. There's no need to. Depends how easy they are to get to now as well. But I should go and do them anyway, because they're going to give me upgrades. Teleport. Um, there's one up this way. I think there's one in every sector, to be honest with you. But um, we'll go to this one first. Ooh, the little grumpy face. Alright. Um, okay, it's to the left here. I'm tell you what, actually, guys, this is going to take way too much time with me faffing around. There's two here. There's two tubes. One there and one there. I'm going to go and do these, because all it is is me punching enemies into a hole to get an item. And then I will be back, and we'll continue with the Numa tube area, okay? I think otherwise it's just going to take way too fucking long. So, uh, yeah. I'll be back shortly, guys. Oh my god. Alright, guys, we are back. I went and cleared out all those tubes. Got an energy cell and a healing shield. I equipped the um, void boost now, because I can, I had enough points to do it, which is very nice. And we're gonna keep exploring these wonderful- oh god! Well, I can do anything with that. I'm guessing we can spawn a baby robot or something to mine those doors open, the ones that have mining things on them. Like that, that thing there looks to me like a mining, like a robot spawner or something. Or maybe like a bike we can smash it open with. Kinda cool. Where am I actually going here? Top left. We got a lot of exploration, a lot more things to see in this area before we're done here. I don't know how long it will take us to get to like the next boss, but I am a little concerned about the bosses because the last boss, while it wasn't like crazy, it was tough, and we still have a bunch more to go. So uh, you know, and I am useless. Very quickly, I'm going to pop back here and grab those things here, because I feel like if I don't, I'm going to regret it. Kick, kick, kick. Nom, nom, nom. Oh my god. Oh my god. The game needs to be much more, like, needs to have lots of puppies. Not, not puppies getting hurt, but puppies going, oh my god, they're so annoying by that. That's the sound effect that they should have all the time, the puppies. I'm just going to grab this, and I'm going to leave. It was right here as well, like, I looked at this chest. 
and was like, oh yeah, I'll just leave that behind. Jesus Christ, it's a clusterfuck when those guys shoot at you. Oh my god! That was undead here. That was bullshit. Actually, it makes more sense to just die and respawn, so I don't have to go through that fucking room again. There you go, boom. Easy. Alright, and I'm already back up here, and I got the chest that I was missing. Excellent. I can't get up to that blue one yet, so let's just press on. I'm gonna go back up the tube here for a little bit. Actually, why did I do that? That clearly isn't the way- f that clearly is the way forward. Okay, that's it. Stop it. Stop it. Die. I think I like the chainsaw kill the most at the moment. It's very fun. Let's go this way. Let's see where this takes us. I'm gonna guess this is gonna tie up to the other area of the Numa Tubes, the one we could access before, but we just chose not to. Yeah, it does. It just literally just goes back to that other elevator that connects to the other thing. Anything over this side? Oh, there's a chest. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, so that's just the, like... When you were if you if you found the other entrance earlier on, which we did but didn't use, you just come through here and it'd be a dead end because you can't get past that thing. Mm, let's go. I can't tell if I should go up or left. It's hard to it's hard to gauge. Just go left for now. Probably should have gone up. Ow, those I hate those new wet those these guys. These suck. These suck. So much. Fuck you. These ones aren't too bad. They summon stuff, but like, it's not a big a deal, right? They're just like, oh well, you know, you summon some stuff. Big fucking deal. They summon like the bitch basic mob. So it's no big deal. I say as I get hit by the bitch basic mob. But, the gun guys, holy shit, they suck. So I'm going my void again. I need some uh, special components that I don't think I'm going to be able to get in this area, unfortunately. So I might have to go back and look for those. But we'll worry about that in a bit. Don't die. That instead. There should be like children cheering when you do that. It'd be really cute. <laughs> It'd be like, yeah, you chainsawed him. Ah! It was fit the game was like aesthetic. Oh wow, this area looks shit. I will say the knockback on the fist is really fucking useful. Maybe it's better than the guitar, I don't know. Woo! Woo -hoo! Hell yeah. Oh, I can't go this way because you can't do a jump and then slide at the same time. No, we need to get... A oh, I see what we need to do. We need to get a ball into the tube here to launch it above that to open that door. We'll go this way first. There is a fish. I am consumed by rage at the sight of the fish. I don't actually know. I think I might like these hate these new gun guys more than the fucking fish, to be honest with you. Their insides are very pink. Did I just... I just went back on myself. I thought I was like, I feel like I've been here already. I jumped down a tree but I didn't need... God damn it. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I was like, hang on. I think I recognize this particular fish. And I was correct. I had to go through that fucking room again with all the fucking enemy... With all the fucking uh, traps. God damn it. 
Hey, at least I noticed early on and wasn't like, well, this is a brand new area where nothing can go wrong. Uh, we're going to go up here instead, actually, this time, because... Uh... Oh, maybe not, though. Maybe this is the way forward. Because, look, that looks like a dead end over there going down, right? Yeah, fuck it. Let's go and do that first. God damn it. I'm second-guessing myself, guys. The game's psyching me out. At least there's no enemies. I do like that until you die, everything at least stays dead. It makes retraversing areas where you haven't fucked up far less stressful than it could be. Can I do this as well as I did last time? Because I didn't get hit last time. <laughs> You'll be tempted fate there, but I did do it. Oh my god, I did it again! Oh no, I fucked it! I also can't remember how to do a dive, as I'm fucked. How do I dive? There you go, that one. Alright. Oh, I unlocked a shortcut, I think, here. Oh my god, this is the way forward. I could have gone the other- Fuck! Fuck! Fucking fuck! Everything's fucked. Where am I now? Oh, okay, so I've unlocked a shortcut all the way down again. That is handy, I've unlocked a shortcut to the beginning. And I can get the ball here. Where do I want this ball to go? Oh, I really do need to put it on the elevator, huh? This is such a long elevator shot! I've got to wait like 10 minutes for the fucking thing to come back. Oh wow, this is going to really suck. Okay, at least we got it on first time. I know there's a room there, by the way. I haven't missed it, guys. But I'm trying to get it to the new Numa tube over here first for anything else. I love the fact that the sl I've I managed to get up an elevator, but the slight incline ruins my entire plan. We did it. Holy shit. And that gives us access to something cool, hopefully. Not that cool, but, you know, at least it's something. There's not even lore in here? What the fuck? This room was a waste of time! Alright, let's go and see what's in the pink room. It's another chest. I mean, it's better than nothing. I don't know if these are meant to be, like, their living quarters and stuff. There's always these weird little side rooms full of posters and shit. I guess this is where, like, the robots live? And they just like interesting aesthetics. Alright, anything else I missed here? I don't think so. I'm gonna go left now. I know I missed an entire route over that way, but that's easy enough to get to by uh, like uh, teleporting, so it's not a big deal. Are you fucking kidding me? Hang on. What? No, whoa, 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 whoa. That's bullshit. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm dead here. God, where the fuck is this? Okay, it's not too far away. I missed a fucking thing there too? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot! I should not be allowed near items in video games, because apparently I just can't keep track of them, period. By the way, of course it was a fucking fish that killed me. Fuck you. I was using the wrong attack there for a bit, if you didn't notice. I was hitting it with the attack that doesn't do any damage, which was brilliant. Brilliant by me. What does this do? This is a timed lever that does something, I have no idea what. Also, I don't like the fact we've introduced timed puzzles to this already. Alright. 
killing everyone in here and getting everything in this room, so this feels like it's gonna be a massive sh Oh my god, you fucking asshole. He didn't die. I don't think he died. I don't think the dickhead- Oh my- I need to get rid of this fucking gauntlet! I'm just punching enemies off cliffs instead of actually killing them! Alright. Yeah, probably should change the gauntlet back to the guitar in a minute. Hey, at least we're getting rid of everything. And of course, the guy with the fucking gun still fucks me up. There you go. Right, everyone's dead. I think. What does this do? Oh, I see. I think I think this is what it does. No, it does. I thought it opened that up, but I guess not. Hmm. That's really interesting. I've no idea what that does. I hate the fact you can't hit it once the wire attack comes up sometimes. It's like, actually, no. Something will pop up. Alright. Alright, an easy hole to get the ball into. That is not the hole. It's not an easy hole, is it? It's going to be past all this acid instead. I was like, oh, that looks easy. I was going to say, put that homing fucking thing down, dickhead. Alright. Where do I need to get this ball? Oh my god, this is going to be a nightmare. I say that. I've yet to fail any of these rooms. It just takes a bit of time sometimes. Of course there's someone shooting me from the floor. Ah, oh, I've really fucked it there. I've got to do it all over again. Unfortunately, the fucking gun guys are so dangerous that if they start shooting at you, you just have to go and deal with them. You can't do anything else. In the if there's a gun guy in a room, you can't do anything else until he's dead. Because he'll just shoot you through the fucking floor for like 20 minutes. Getting health back as best I can here without dying. Man. At least this room is so dangerous that if any of them fall into it, they're fucked. Bouncing off the rim is really annoying. Can I actually fall off the platform like this? It must be able to. There we go. I don't even know if this is the right way. This is where I'm kicking this ball up this entire fucking maze of platforms and it's like, actually, you need to go down. I'm going to assume it needs to go onto the moving platform, but first, there's a man with a gun again. Yeah, here it goes. Alright, that's not too far now. We can do this. I believe. Fuck you, game. That was dead on. I say dead on. It wasn't really dead on. It was, like, approximately somewhere in the rough location of it. Alright, nearly there. In the hole. Yeah! Oh, just for some money. I mean, to be fair, money's useful. Don't get me wrong. But I wish it was a new skill or something. No idea where I'm going right now, I'm just going up here. I feel like I'm heading towards the boss this way. And that's fine, we can always just backtrack to the other areas. Well, this area looks horrific. There's a lot of cool things up there that I want. It's really satisfying when you pull off like the combos and punch them into the roof and shit. And they, you know, you do mad damage to them. Okay, we need the bat to get through here. I'm convinced the bat is a grappling hook at this point, because we're going to stand on this platform, use it, and get pulled through that gap. Like, there's no fucking way the bat is not a grappling hook at this point. Hope we can't. Ho I mean, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess now. All major skills will probably come from bosses. We need, like, a triple jump to get up here as well. 
Oh, uh, maybe not. No, that's where I came in, right? Is it where I came in? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so we need like a triple jump to get that one. Like this entire room is pretty much off limits at the moment. Alright. But anyway, grappling hook. We're going to get some kind of aerial traversal thing that lets you jump from void to void. Like those pools of void. Um, other than that, I can't think of any other abilities we need now. Like that covers the the other two things that I've found in the game. This is definitely not the right way, by the way, but... Gun guy and a fish at the same time. Oh, panic! Fish! Fish! Alright, this guy's... We got it now. This is on the control. This needs a triple jump too. This whole area is like, no, you're not allowed to progress this way. Why did you come this way, you silly bumpkin? And I'm like, it's just, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, wow. You need to do like a triple dodge across that pit if you're going to do this. Because if you touch the skateboard, you're dead. If you do a double jump, you're fucked as well. Oh my god, that's difficult. Let's see if I can do it. I wonder if this is doable this early on. I pressed the wrong button again, because it's the wrong fucking... What button is it? Oh my god, it's something stupid. It's like the opposite again to what I would expect it to be. Alright. You can do it. I mean, it wasn't worth it, but you can do it. Alright. So that's one treasure we can get, at least, in this room. That's... What's this one? Oh, maybe we can get this one. Oh, we can! the use of a sneaky shortcut. Very nice. Oh, that is a secret. Oh! And that's how you get this- I'm dead. Oh my god, you fucking asshole! I hate them so much. Oh my god, that checkpoint was so far back too. Holy shit, they need- The checkpoints in this are garbo, okay? Like, Occasion as long as like occasionally they'll be fine, but 90% of the time if you die anywhere except the room after the checkpoint You're gonna be replaying like fucking 10 minutes of shit because they're just terrible. They're just utterly fucking terrible And I know it's meant to be tough, but like it's just obnoxious Jesus Christ And then every enemy respawns as well when you die which sucks Although, that said, if that wasn't the case, you couldn't grind, so I guess that's the point. A fair point, you need the enemies to respawn to get stronger, so you, if you get stuck, you can grind and make yourself more powerful in the first place, so I guess that isn't... That isn't ridiculous! Alright. Anyway. That was a secret. I can't believe that was a secret. There you go, that's revenge, guys. That's fucking revenge on that dickhead. So nearly all these things here that seemed like they were unable to be got were actually gettable. It was just very sneaky secrets. I don't like the fact that- okay, so before this, every single wall that was breakable looked breakable, but that wall did not look breakable. That was just a random fucking wall. I'm gonna have to start punching every single fucking wall that we see in the game, guys, on the off chance that it breaks, instead of just being like, well, it's fine. Oh, we got another tube here. Label 4. We've, we missed so many of these. It's a male, 56-year-old, a hacker. Last words, I bet it's his birthday. Isn't that a lovely? I hope my last words are better than that. I hope they're like, oh my god, Christmas son. Oh I'm better here. When I'm left just to wreck, I do pretty well against the enemies. It's when they sneak it's when they sneak up on me. It's like when I break through a wall that I didn't think was there and get immediately killed by a man with a large gun. But I'm in trouble. Oh, we are we are definitely heading towards the boss this way. I'm 
nice close up there. Lovely. But yeah, the wall rule has been ruled not the right rule anymore, which is very worrying. This has just been a big loop, hasn't it? All of this was optional! I mean, it's not a big deal. We found some shit. But that was entirely... The whole area was optional. God, I'm so useless at navigating. I was like, we're heading towards the boss for sure. No, we're not. We're nowhere near the fucking boss. Oh, that's a shortcut all the way back though, which is good. Alright. While we're here, we may as well see what else we can find in this room. Because I feel like we missed a lot in here. I don't know if we missed a lot. I was too busy panicking about the 7,000 men with guns in this room, but still. That's only a rough estimate, by the way. I'm not very good at doing numbers, but I would say there's at least 7 million people in this room. Dead. Yeah. The problem with this room is like, there is too many enemies. Okay. Now, if I drop down this hole, will I fuck myself? It definitely looks like the answer is yes, so let's not do that. But I still want to know what this does. It makes it sound like something opens up over here, but it's only for a few seconds. I have- Ow. I have absolutely no idea what this, what this is. Is there a secret in the wall, though? Oh, for a minute I was excited. Oh, I wonder, does it turn off that? Or does it make that easier? Well, either way, we haven't been this way yet, so let's can go. Oh, it's another one of these. Alright, so this is bullshit, because there's only two guys here. So you need to get them to spawn more. And another problem is I'm going to die because... Yeah, this is a bullshit one. Did I get any in? I got one in. So these are the tubes, guys. I said this before. What we need to do is punch them into this tube here and I completely didn't notice that tube. But basically, the whole point of this is to um, uppercut them into those tubes and then get the item. It would be a really good thing to do here at the moment, but I don't really see myself being able to do it as it currently stands. Unless I can find a place to save and then kill myself and then just go back down there a few times, which I don't know if I can or not at the moment. I don't want to risk dying if the last save was like 20 minutes ago. So. Might still do that anyway, seeing as I ran into this man. Oh, no, he's dead. Okay. What is this? Definitely some major backtracking I'm going to need to do for this sector. How am I alive? How? How, how did I just do that? I mean, I'm really happy I did. God, I'm really struggling to get the finisher moves in at the moment to keep killing everything really easily. We need to do the finisher moves for the extra share. So you can weaponize that ability, by the way. The um the one that knocks over the big robots, you can use it on anyone without any cost of mana, just to interrupt their attacks. That's actually really useful to know. Because even if you're out of mana, it means you can knock people down without any worry. Which is actually really fucking useful. Because it just, it doesn't damage them, but it just knocks them on their ass. So if they're doing like a fucking wind up to kill you or some shit, like they're absolutely fucked. Very useful actually. I'll bear that in mind. But when I invariably get my ass kicked at some point later on, I might need it.
Well, I mean, I understand what I have to do here, at least. But it looks like I might have to go back. Oh my god, I fucking hate this. Oh! Oh, that's new! So we have pressure switches now. It's got a checkpoint. Um, Alright, there's a secret there. Some good shit, it looks like. Don't ask me why I immediately just jumped onto fucking nothing there, because that was a terrible fucking idea. So I'm dead here. Woo! Full health. Full health. <laughs> okay, I just went down a tube and hit the ceiling on the tube below when I went through the floor, which is bullshit. The floor, there was a floor between me and the electricity. It was like, nah, the electricity's there. It's just on the floor below you, so we'll count it as hitting you. Bullshit. Fortunately, the checkpoint's right here, so I'm not that upset, but still. If I died from that and I was like in the like ten rooms away, I'd be really, I'd be really pissed. Can you fucking die, fish boy? The fish are so annoying. Even after all this time, even after leveling up so many times, the fish still kick my fucking ass every time I fucking deal with them. All right. Why did I do that? Oh, 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 I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! Oh. Fuck you! Okay, the clipping electricity through the ceiling shit is actually really, really broken. Because I was, again, past that electricity, but it was like, actually, the electricity was kind of near you, like a floor away. That was me just jumping into it like a dickhead. Alright. It wants me to, I, I'm going to die doing this, but fuck it, let's try. This could be a point where I have to uh, reload. Yeah, definitely is because I just killed myself. Just executed myself, not just killed myself. That was the dumbest shit I've done since jumping into the gas seconds after that. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. The problem is, right, I, I, when, with these sections, if I keep dying, I try and rush so you guys can actually like see something new. But then the game wants you to be like tippy tippy slow, dangerously slow. That prick up there is going to start shooting at me in a minute. Good news is I've got so much money at the moment that I can afford every single upgrade once I get back to camp. Bad news is, will I ever get back to camp alive? It did it again! It got me through the fucking roof again! I've got no health again because the fucking electricity hit me through the fucking roof! Jesus Christ, that's annoying. The hitbox on it is massive. I'm going to die again because fuck. Actually, I'm going to go up here and see if there's a fucking checkpoint. There is. Okay, thank fuck for that. That makes life a lot easier. I should have just checked that before. Alright. Don't have to do that room again. Thank fuck for that. Something new. Okay. Well, I thought this was for this, but I'm not sure it is. There's definitely an extra hidden area up here, but I can't get up there. So what is this for? Just a completely different place. Shit. Yeah, this is brand new. These enemies are just- these- these, like, rumbers. Once you know you can just blow them over by looking at them, like, they're kind of fucking useless, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, they don't really do anything. They don't even damage you. Ever. But of course, I'm gonna die because there's some prick up here with a fucking gun. Actually, no, what the fuck? No, there is! He shot me from three rooms away! What an asshole! Well, I'm back here, might as well try and do this bit now. That was going really well until I fell into the electricity and uh, nearly fucked myself completely. Oh my god, I did it. That was actually pretty cool. I did it with that minimal... with minimal death as well. More stuff for upgrades, which is good. I wonder how you get that, though. 
Oh, I can, I, t I can see how you, I just said I knew how to get that, because there's like a fucking hole in the wall that you need to jump up through, but the problem is, the fucking uh, hole is in like the worst fucking place and you need like a triple jump to do it. I was going to say, there's no way they're surviving that. Oh my god, it's here! I found it! Oh, so sneaky, the sneaky fox! What do I get? Ah, uh, yeah, more power! Hell yeah. I'm really proud of myself. That was like a super secret. Oh, that's why I couldn't get through. I didn't realize it was like that small, the hole. Put that gun down, sir. Didn't expect that to kill them quite so easily there, but I'll take it. The traps are what's fucking me here. Like, they're brutal. Get some health back at least. Not a lot, but some. I've got to kill the gun guy. Where the fuck is he? Where'd he go? There he is, there he is, there he is. Die. If I kill him, then the room's going to be safer. Especially if I get health out like that. Excellent. Wow, he dropped loads of health. Holy shit. Like, that's the most thing I've seen an enemy drop health. I mean, that's great. I do have an ability that allows the enemies to drop more health, but I haven't had the battery power to equip it. Another one of these fuckers here. I need these guys to summon their buddies if I'm going to have a chance at this. Probably still going to die here just because of the sheer volume of enemies. One went in. health back. I can't actually move right now. These are really hard to do as you can see, like you have to punch them into the thing and it's just, it just doesn't work at least 90% of the time. I'll come back to this one again, because you have to get all the enemies spawning. I got one in, it will save my progress at least on the pipe. So eventually I can come back and do it. But I'm going to have to replay like 25 minute bits of this level, which sucks. This has definitely been the level with the most like crazy backtracking required if you make a mistake. But nothing too bad. I think I can do it. Oh my god. That was bad. Fuck off. Come here. No! Put the gun down, you fucking arsehole! Give me the fucking health back, thank you. That was just me being incompetent. I'm sorry, everyone. I knew I was dead. I knew I was dead. The checkpoint?! This is like 20 minutes ago! What the fuck?! Why is it so shit?! Holy sh- Fucking hell! They expect so much of you! Oh my god! Some of the worst checkpoints I've seen in games for so long! Holy shit! Like, I played a lot of Metroidvanias this year. This is the one that has the worst checkpoint system out of everything I've played. Oh my god. I mean, it gives you a chance to grind, sure, but, like, I don't need to at the moment. I've got money coming out my ass. At least it gives me a chance to do the, um... I'm not gonna kill everything. I'm just gonna run. Um, at least it gives me the chance to, uh, do the, um... Uh, this bit down here again. Oh, that's in the- oh my god, that's in the previous room, I didn't even realise. So I have to kill her anyway. fuck it. THREE SHOTS?! Fuck you. Eat chainsaw, bitch. Fuck you. Right, I'll have one more go at that room down there, well, as I'm here. But if I die here again, guys, I'm gonna do a cut, because this is the- Can you summon your friends, please? I'm having no luck with the fucking uppercuts here. Oh, I got another one in. Did I do it? I did it! Yes! Worth! Don't know what those are, but I got them anyway. Hey, we did that one. We're gonna have to do it again. Hooray! So that's how that works. I finally got to show you on camera what happens if you successfully punch enough enemies into one of the death tubes. Right, this is where we died before. Let's not die here again, please. 
That's right, cook the fish on the microwave. Perfect. Let's see what's down here. Oh, I'm so glad that wasn't instant death. Because <laughs> I didn't look. I was like, yeah, just fall down this massive hole. I'll be fine. Oh. This is a shortcut, but I don't know how much of a shortcut. Like, I'm scared to go down. If I go down there, that's an amazing shortcut with some really, really good things that I could do. But I can't tell if I go down there, will I be able to come back up? And I'm not going to risk it. Especially when I'm this close to the boss and finishing the chapter. Right, you're dead. This time, I'm, I'm victorious. Fish, get the electricity. Oh my god, I pushed him over the electricity like a complete dickhead. Oh, we are so close to the end of this area. I know I said that like 50 times, but like this time actually, you know, this time I'm not delusional, I promise. Play! Alright, what do we have in here? This is a checkpoint. Is this the boss? Hmm. This room looks sus as fuck, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, this room looks like... Super endgame secret room type thing, but it wasn't really secret uh, Maybe not Having these oh my god, this is a bullshit trap. I knew it looks sus. I knew it looks sus run just run They're gonna keep shooting forever. And I'll never get out of this room alive Why are you falling you fucking idiot? Okay, I'm alive. I'm alive still. 37 health though. And of course there's fish. Get him the poison. Get the health, get the health, get the health, get the health, get the health. He hit me off the fucking health. Died. Okay, we're right, we're right, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive. Give me health. Give me health. Give me health, Rumba. The sacred Rumba gave me 10 health. All praises be to this. I'm not surviving this. Especially if they went in different directions. Give me help! <laughs> the iframe saved my ass there on that finishing move. More help, yes! Alright, this is gonna let me into that area. I know there's a secret up there that I didn't get, but this is more important. What the fuck is this? Is it timed? I don't think it is. But the door's still locked. Oh, there's a door down here. Wow, this is a, like a super secret area. Let's go back up here now the enemies are dead and uh, grab a few things. I say now they're dead as I immediately run into an enemy that is definitely not dead. Oh, fuck. I am getting good supplies and stuff here as well. Um. Definitely want this as an actual item chest. Hopefully it's a battery. If it's a battery, it'll be really useful. I wonder what it is. Oh, it's just fucking loot. I mean, I guess that could be useful. I mean, it, it will be useful because it means I can build a new component of some description. Is this a secret up here? Nah. Just thought it looked a bit. That wall alone by itself looked a bit sussy, was you know? Okay, I think we've done this top bit. Now time to do the bottom bit. Oh, we might need the bat, though. Okay, that was what you call bullshit. I have no idea how I'm alive right now, but I'm not going to question it and just keep punching the big guys. the wrong button, I fucked myself. Yeah, I, I was never surviving that. As soon as the fish started rolling, I was like, I'm fucked. Fortunately, the checkpoint for this area is really lenient. The extra void has been very useful. Why is that guy dead permanently this time? I mean, I'm not going to argue about it. I'm happy with him being dead permanently. Oh, did he just spawn up here instead? No, no, this guy was here too. 
It definitely sounds like a bunch of kids cheering, right? I'm not delusional. I am delusional, but it's beside the point. I'm correct about that situation. Oh wow, another item. Fishy, go pop. All right, what's this? Power cell, power cell, power cell, power cell, power cell, power cell. Crack mask again. Yeah, whatever this is, we've unlocked it. This doesn't seem to go towards the boss, but maybe it does? Oh, well, it's a trap room anyway. Only the second trap room of this whole area. Come on, die, die, die. Beating the shit out of you guys. Holy shit. I'm guessing some really bad shit's gonna spawn in this room, judging by what's going on. What the fuck are you? You're new. And you have a massive hitbox. Holy shit! Oh my god, the f I can't get iframes on him. Yeah, I'm dead. One hit from death. I did it! Oh my god, I did it with one health! Holy shit! I didn't get a finishing move on him, but holy shit, that was badass. Alright, what the fuck is this? What the fuck am I? Oh no. This looks like the worst thing that has ever existed in a video game, ever. How am I gonna do this? I see. I don't see. <laughs> oh, hang on. No, but I need to get the ball through there. Oh, God, this is... Oh, my God, you piece of shit garbage fucking control thing. What the fuck? Get this way. I hate it when this happens. Like, holy shit, that was just like, actually, I don't think I'm gonna do anything. Please. Oh. For a minute, I thought I had that. When it doesn't do the right angle... Oh my god, it did the right angle, and I was not in the right place. Oh my god, when you knock it too far to the side, it's the most obnoxious shit. Because you can be, like, nowhere fucking near it, and it'll do it. There we go did it. What is this? New ability. Like an actual new ability. Void wave. You can now show your enemies who's in charge. Do you won't get cocky anymore. By pressing RB1 on the ground, Cheryl will unleash two powerful energy spheres of void, doing a lot of damage to a wide area around her. Okay. I need to equip that if I'm going to use it, but I'm on one health at the moment, so I'm not going to bother. But it could be useful for the boss. I don't know. This is what I mean, by the way, when I say the health station should restore health. Because I'm just going to kill myself with the first enemy I got, considering there's a health station right there, so there's literally no point. There we go. One of those which are not even, now I know it's a trap room, and I'm going to go in there with full health and mana just from outside. Here we go. What the fuck just happened? Where did the roof go? Focus. Taking quite a lot of damage, but it's not impossible to deal with. Now, that down. Health, please, please. Please help, Rumba. Rumba health. That's what I want. I will say the. Uh, the trampolines in this room make this an interesting fight, like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is happening? All I see is just enemies flying everywhere, doing nothing except getting bounced. Which is very entertaining. Help, please? Wah. Wah. Hey, we did it. I guess these crap ones don't count. That was pretty easy. That was the easiest trap room in this section. 
Oh yeah, we're really close to the boss. All right, label five, Victor Malik. Last words is, I am an orange. Well, that's unfortunate. You gotta have better life ambitions than being orange, chat. Yeah, this is gonna be a horrific boss fight any second now. I'm scared about going in here, cause... Oh, this looks bad. Hey there, pretty mama. Side up here and let me have a look at you. Where in the mega structure did a fine girl like you come from? Fuck off, creep. I'm not your pretty mama. Well, sorry there, missy. It's been a while since I've chatted with a lady. And you're quite a lady, ain't ya? Is this a zombie? Terry, I'm not sure I don't have to tell you. This individual should not be trusted. Just another booty chaser, I guess. No thanks. Hey, Bones. What are you? Drug dealer? Oh, I deal with whatever you want, pretty mama. Drugs, materials. And if it's love you want, I got a lot of that to give. How about a little gift to get this relationship started? C grief relationship? You couldn't handle me, skeleton. You'd snap in two. Cherry, you've had your fun. We really should get going. Wait, hold on. We got off on the wrong foot here, ladies. Give me a chance, will ya? I really do have what you need. Not a euphemism, honestly. We'll keep our relationship cordial, pretty mama, but I guarantee that once you see what I've got to offer, you'll be screaming my name to uh, get more product. <laughs> Can you stop being so damn icky? What's your name, Bones? I'm Rob. King of the black market. Allow me to just give you a sample. How about a little head to show you the quality of my services? Go on. If this head fulfills your needs, come back and maybe I'll show you other things I can do for you. I'll need bits, of course. I love my work, but I'm no charity case. Be discreet, though. Once Infinite hooked up this place, it's gotten very noisy and incredibly dangerous. But that makes it even more exciting to have customers visit and check out my, uh, inventory. That Denzel head that Rob gave us contains location coordinates. I've marked them on the map. Isn't it for the Denzel? We found a headless Denzel already in the other area. Right? Yeah, in the ET foundry. We'll go back there in a bit. I'm gonna explore more in here first. So that was actually the main story. So the boss... Is there a, does not even be a boss here? This is like, completely optional if it is. Could even be a new area, right? This is weird. Label 6, Sam Booty, last words, groove your bones, child. It's, uh, again, a bit weird, to be honest with you. These are some crap last words that these people had, I will say. Alright, we need the mining robot to get through there. I'm saying it's a mining robot. I don't know. I'm just going to assume it is. And we got... To, oh, this is useful. I'm really... Oh, that's, that's fucking great. Okay. So this is just a teleport out of here, but it lets me get back to uh, the robot guy really easily. Should really tag teleport actually for anything else. Uh, let's teleport back to the diner quickly. Bef then I'll come back here and clear some things out still, I think. But let's see if I can upgrade. Because I've got I found a bunch of shit. Whew, so no boss here? A bit weird. But I'm okay with that. Uh, let's upgrade gear. Oh yeah, we can upgrade the Void Enhancer. Hell yeah. I've still got four grand as well after upgrading the Void Enhancer. Very, oh god, very cool. I don't know if I can upgrade any items still, but you know, let's go and have a look. Uh, oh, we can upgrade both. Um, upgrade the Gauntlet. Nearly got enough to upgrade the guitar as well. I've been using the Gauntlet this whole level though, so I'll stick with the Gauntlet again for now. Variety is the spice of life, guys. You know what, I'll go and, put, I'll go and give the head to the robot quickly. Because a lot of the exploration of that area, I feel, could probably be done um, without you guys. Look what I found! Hey, a head for the robot! Hello, I am DWK100. My primary function is to mine and store electro-titanium. Alright, I'll admit it. He's adorable. I am so very grateful. Thank you. You saved my life. I have been searching for a replacement head for an eternity. If you are my new owner, please set my primary function and I will be at your service. I'm not your owner. If anything, I'm just a friend. My name's Cherry, and this is Regina. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Cherry, what is word friend? Oh boy, how can I explain this one? A friend's just someone who takes care of you, I guess. Sir, what happened to your original head? How did you lose it? We were attacked. A massive creature ate most of the fuel starters working in the crystal pits. That's when I lost my head. I was not strong enough to protect my owner. The monster struck me hard enough to detach my head from my body. Oh dear, it sounds like we have a new problem to deal with. So scary. Not to worry, big guy. We'll protect you. Thank you, friend. I would like to give you something. That's what friend does, right? That's a fucking chainsaw. 
Well, yeah, I guess they do. This is tool I use to pierce the electro titanium walls. You can switch to it with your weapon wheel by holding down right trigger. Please enjoy. So nice of you. I think it'll come in handy, especially if that monster of yours shows up again. Cherry, please watch where you point that thing. Hey, the educator. A powerful chainsaw used in the crystal pits for extraction of electro titanium. You can now break through the electro titanium walls. Well, we know where they are. And we have a new buddy. There is one electro titanium wall here, which we could go and test it out on. Find a way to get to the crystal pits. Well, I mean, the main story clearly goes that way as well. All right, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go backtrack and clear out things like I've been doing. I don't want to show it all. You get the gist of what's going on here. And um, I'm going to see what I can find in the various areas, unlock stuff, and then we will be back. But I'm suspecting this is going to be like about 30 minutes of me backtracking and doing stuff now. Uh, when we are breaking down that wall to move forward with the story, I will cut back. See you then. So I was doing some exploring in the Numa tubes, and this just happened. Good evening. What a wonderful treat seeing you again. I'm terrible with names, especially with people as inconsequential and as insignificant as you. You think I give a shit about having your respect? Just tell me where you are so I can end you. Little girl, there's no place you can go where I'm not there. I know everything you're up to. Watching you spend all your time hunting me down when I already know where you are. So when you already know I'm coming to kick your clown painted ass. Adorable. You've got no clue who you're dealing with. I can take you down without lifting a single finger. So be thankful, I need you alive. Shinji, if you're there, tell me where you are. Shh, quiet. She doesn't need to be disturbed. Shinji's in good hands, I assure you. I may have been a little too rough on her, so she needs her rest. She's a tough one. I respect that. I'm just disappointed she made me mark her as a traitor. You piece of shit. Tell me what you want with us. Oh, it's quite simple. What I want for you is to give me the red seed. This bitch whore stole the Red Seed from me and now I want it back. Red Seed? You absolute weirdo. The hell are you talking about? Maybe you have it on you. Maybe you're hiding it from me. Either way, I want my Red Seed back. Tell you what. Return my Red Seed and I'll kill you with very little suffering. Scout's honor. No take backs. Cherry, don't listen to this maniac. Just do what you were meant to do. Silence, bitch! Now, as I was saying, I know exactly where you are and it's time to bring you here. Oh shit, it's the dickheads! Oh my god, it's a double fight against the dickheads! I don't think I'm surviving this, guys. This is gonna take a lot of practice and a lot of telling what's got. Okay. So, the dickheads are here, and that is an optional fight right now. Probably not optional overall, but it's an optional fight right now. Holy shit, that was brutal. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm going to go back to exploring the Numa pits because I definitely want more health upgrades and horrible things like that before I take on the dickheads again. Uh, and it's not even the main story route. There's other ways we can go. I don't think the game has multiple endings and I'm worried if I don't kill the dickheads early on, that could be a problem. But hopefully the game will warn me when we're heading towards other endings. So anyway, going to go back to exploring and stuff. Uh, but we did find the dickhead fight. Isn't that lovely? All right, guys. We have gone and cleared out most of the new tubes, everything I can do there, it seems, and everything I can do in every other area so far. Didn't get much in the way of upgrades. Got a few new battery cells, but I haven't got anything worth equipping at the moment that I feel is going to be worth it. So we are going to head this way, it seems. First, we may need to... I'm not so sure. Does it just work, this... Uh... Hang on, is there a secret here? No. Oh well. Okay, we're going to a new area. Uh, I haven't tried to fight the dickheads again yet. I feel like I need to have a bit more health if I'm going to fight them. Um, so I'm going to save up for the health upgrade and try and make that fight easier. Seems completely optional, which is a shame because I'd like it like if that was like a big showdown. Because they are like the secondary antagonists, you know what I mean? And they are essentially giant penises. Um, but hopefully we'll go back to them in a little bit once I find a few more upgrade spots. We have the crystal mines here, though, a brand new area for us. Crystal pits, sorry. Cherry, I'm detecting an enormous quantity of void energy coming from the lower section of this area. It's different from anything I've detected so far. It could be something worth investigating. That's our objective. Oh, and we've instantly found a teleport point, which is really weird. That's the first time we've actually found a teleport point, like, in the level straight away, and not, like, 25 minutes into a level. But well, that's good. It means we can uh, hopefully find some. We need to go all the way down if we're going to find the objective here. But we got a big new environment to explore, presumably with new enemies. Oh wow, this looks shit. 
this is a fly nest. Where they come from. Love this. Different animation on these, do you think? Probably not, right? I think they're the same flies. What do we have here? A field started journal line. In the last two weeks there have been sudden cave-ins inside the crystal pits. The cause is believed to be a small sudden earthquake. These tremors from underground are not normal at all. I've worked in sector 299 for over 15 years and since I started piercing electro, electro titanium, earthquakes have never been so recurring. Hmm. I'm guessing that's what the big source they found. I'm guessing they found something forbidden. This is going to take me out of here, but it might take me to a new area in the area above that's worth grabbing some items in, so just give me a second to have a look and see. Otherwise it could just be a complete waste of fucking time coming this way, but you know. We've got a teleport point now, so it doesn't really matter too much. You know what this game could really do with, if to be real, is teleport points... Uh, oh, in the bloody den. Interesting. Um, is teleport points that let you... You can just choose to teleport to a teleport point whenever you want, instead of having to backtrack through the level for fucking ages. Like, I, you can easily waste ten minutes backtracking in this, and it's kind of annoying. Oh, A new teleport point here! I mean, that's kind of cool. Oh, I guess I missed the thing in there, look. I didn't realise this, look, it's blocked off. I didn't even realise that I'd not been here. Oh wow, shit. So there's a whole area of the bloody den we haven't done here. That is, again, probably completely optional. Yeah, it's just the basic enemies. Like, they have no... I guess... I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. This is really the easiest enemies in the fucking game here. I mean, it's giving me experience and stuff, so that's fine, but like... Weird, right? Maybe I could get here earlier and I just missed it? I, I don't know, this just seems really under under level. Like, even him, he's not difficult at this point. I say as I get... I'm gonna get killed by him, aren't I? After I said that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. That was weird. That's just so weird. It's so weird to be here again. What the fuck? Oh my god, fuck off. That was bullshit. John Doe, Chronicle of an Ambitious Man. I'm John Doe and this is my diary. Don't you dare read a word. Yesterday I arrived in this filthy ghetto populated by human waste like myself and I already feel at home. It would seem that tomorrow I'll receive a uniform and officially become one of them, a fuel starter. I can't be happier than this, my life has finally finally makes some fucking sense. I won't have to write my father's debts anymore, and maybe in ten years I won't collect enough bits to pay for my citizenship card and live a privileged life on the surface. I have to do this, I have to get to the Golden City. I'm gonna guess that he does not make it. Yeah, where the fuck am I going here? Like, this goes to another sector, this is huge! This is just, this map is just never-endingly massive! <laughs> Jesus, like so much stuff to see and do. Well, I'm dead. As is he, but still. I don't even know if I should be doing this at the moment. This seems like really risky. We're probably gonna run into another optional boss fight, like a super tough one or some shit. Where the fuck am I now? I'm looking at a bar? This goes to another new area. What the fuck is happening? We've been to like... I'm so... I'm so confused. I am so lost. I can't even go back, I don't think. I think I'm just stuck here. Bastardville. Well, I'm not going to go this way for now. This is clearly not where I'm meant to be at the moment. We'll focus on the main objectives. Jesus Christ, this map is huge. Although, what if there's a teleporter just inside Bastardville and I can back bypass that entire area now? I don't know if I should look, because then I'll get tempted. I'll get tempted to stay in Bastardville longer than I should be. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I don't think I can get in. Oh, maybe I can. Oh my god, there's a secret. Yes. Guys, I've got a problem. I can't stop exploring. What's this? Oh, a collar again. Great. Just what I didn't need. Yeah, we can't. Okay, this is a dead end. This is the. This is like. The Metroid peek into Bastardville, but you're not enough of a bastard to progress in Bastardville, Bastardville. I do like saying Bastardville. That's where that guy mentioned he's from, like the, the rocker guy, I guess, like, it's like a, where no goods live. 
But to be fair, in this world, is anyone a good? I guess Cherry's actually quite nice. Like, she does try and help people. Unless they're, like, bursting on the floor. And then she's like, oh well, you know, deal with it. Suck it up. I wonder if we can actually ever save the uh, the guy that got poisoned by the space whale. Because he there is a key, key door with his name on it. I guess we'll keep going this way. In the hopes. Yeah, the chainsaw kind of sucks, by the way. Like, I don't know why I'm, I'm using it, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm using it because it's a chainsaw, but... The other weapons are better. And that's not just because of lack of upgrades, it's just like, you can't use it in the air, and... Oh. Alright, where are we going with this ball? This all loops around, it looks like, actually. I did not know I could do that, but that's cool. Woo! Oh my god, how am I doing this? How am I alive? How have I made it through this? Yeah, I've got to get on the platform, but let's worry about that in a minute. Once these guys are dead. The ball puzzles, while they can be really annoying, have actually are actually surprisingly well done. Okay. Oh my god, more amazing loot, including an acid sack. And that ties us back here. Look, see, isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? That was just a completely optional little jaunt through the bloody den there. But I can't believe I missed this. I didn't I didn't I didn't even realize that was there. But there's see the problem with this is right, the nearest teleport point is pretty fucking far away from there. I mean, I'm going to have to go and do it, because it clearly ties up to this, but fuck. I just wish it wasn't miles every fucking time you do it. Like, it feels like unnecessarily long distances. Anyway, back in a second. Once I, uh, wrapped up here, I will go and get back into the mines. Okay, guys, back in the pit, the crystal pits here, and we're going to keep looking around. I went and destroyed that wall and loot around. There wasn't much, just a challenge room and a few items. Definitely, the flies... I thought they were not the easiest enemy early on, but... Oh wow, that is a giant fly swatter. And by giant fly swatter, I mean a fist. Very fun animations. Like, they're the best thing about the game in the animations. Come here. Come here, you fuck. Hell yeah. That is badass. Alright. Okay, so what's up this way? A door we can't get through. Excellent. Let's just continue down there. I really should change my weapon. I'll do that as soon as these two are dead. If they die, unless they kill me. In which case, you know. I've got a slimy bite, isn't that lovely? Um, how do I change weapon again? It's something stupid. There we go. I know the controls on this. I think I actually don't know if the controls on this are reminded of, because I haven't got any options menu. But I will tell you, they're like the opposite of what I would expect the controls to be in a lot of instances. Oh, that is a new finishing move. A giant fist. All right, we're gonna use the gauntlet still here because it's upgraded higher than anything else. I could go and upgrade the chainsaw and the uh, guitar at the moment, but I think I'd rather save my money for like, uh, what the fuck? What the fuck just happened? They just killed me in a single hit. That's just a normal enemy. Well, I really need to figure out how to upgrade my health, but I haven't found the components to do it yet. I will say, so, the, the dodgy guy, like the, the the marijuana zombie, let's call him, um, he uh, sells um, parts for components, but it obviously costs money to do. Uh, I did buy some keys from him for doors that I have yet to come across, because I thought they'd be handy like for exploration, you know what I mean? But I don't know... Um, I don't know... Uh, 
like, if I should buy him. There's also an option to trust him, which I'm scared to do in case he, like, kills someone. But at the same time, I kind of feel like I should trust him. Because he has helped us, and he might give us some, like, cool shit later on. And if that's going to get me a bad ending, it's not the end of the world, you know what I mean? I'm doing my best, guys. Oh, wow, this guy... Oh, my God, this guy's got shield. So I have to use the super hits on him. How am I alive right now? Don't ask it, just punch. Just fist. No questions, just fist. As you can see, I'm kicking every wall at the moment because I'm shit fucking scared that I'm missing loads of stuff. These guys do crazy damage, but they're not very strong. And they keep dropping the slimy bones, which I think I need for upgrade, so that's good. Alright, we can't get through at the moment. Those are just doors you have to push from the other way. They're not actually, like, super secret or anything. Alright, so... Don't touch that shit. Seems to be the... Those are tentacles coming out that shit, actually. So, another reason not to touch it, I guess. Or maybe it's a reason to touch it. I don't know. Come on, die, die, die. Die, die, die. Perfect. What is in here? No idea if there's the right way to be going. Oh, it's a boss fight. Well, I'm not a boss fight. A mini boss fight. Oh, what the fuck are you? You're new. You're new, and you just took off all my health in a single hit. Oh, I can just stand here, and you won't be hit. You can't. You're too fat to climb up the hill, so I can steal myself. That's very handy. Ah, that's nice. Ah, oh, how therapeutic. Okay, I'm cheesing this guy right now, but he does a he does a crazy amount of damage, so. Back. Oh my god, don't die, don't die, please don't die. Oh my god, that was so close. I really want to get the fatality on him, but got him. No, oh my god, it didn't do it. It was like, oh, I'm gonna just do the stupid attack. Anyway, we won, so I guess, you know, I can't complain too much. We won, got a bunch more money, which we definitely need, so that's good. Oh, 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 I didn't realize what was happening here. Oh. What do you what what's the reckoning guys do you think that there's like an item all the way round the other way? You know what I mean, round this way. Actually I'm not sure there is. Void receptors. The energy of the void fills the empty space. These receptors are able to capture energy. Cherry regenerates void. Oh, that's useful. Could be a major upgrade that if I can plug it in. I feel like this is, uh... How did I do that? How am I alive? How am I alive? Don't question it, I'm alive. I'm alive, I did it! I did it and I got to a checkpoint. There's definitely a secret down that other way, but we'll come back for that. You can get to it fairly easy, I think. Boss fight? Yep. I keep saying boss fight. They're not bosses, they're just challenges. Alright, so that's probably the way forward. What's up here? Dead end. Nothing else. But yeah, we can definitely go and try and do that. If you do the dives backwards, I think you're pretty... You're pretty, pretty okay. Fucking damage that flies do is nuts. There we go. Oh shit, that was brutal. 
That's how I died so quickly before, by the way. Because they hit me with like three of those at once. Health. Three health. Yeah! Alright, as long as you keep them separate, they're not too dangerous. Watch me die in one hit to this guy or some shit after I said that. Present? Nope, more fight! Yeah, these are the same ones from the previous area. This is a big fight, this room. Holy shit. <laughs> What the fuck is that?! I am dead. I am. Actually, maybe not. I can heal. Um, this is doing the thing with the electric, like the electricity attack. Oh my god. So you're nowhere fucking near it, and the hitbox is the size of the fucking moon. I beat him. And we did it. First time, even with a new enemy, those mining robots, which I think is what they're meant to be, are going to be brutal to do. Oh, God! Secret, 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 secret. How is that not a secret? It's like the number one thing that should be a secret. It's more secretive than being in a fridge. Behind... Oh, no. We have to get a ball all the way around here to get that treasure. I'm going to die here anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no fucking way I can heal off these guys in time. Where the fuck is the save point? Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. I shouldn't complain. It's like walking through one room. Double kill there. Most important thing here is going to be finding the fucking ball to bring it all the way back up to the top to actually fucking get that item. Oh, I love. Oh, that's so fucking badass. There's the ball. Alright, we got the ball. Now we need to just get the ball all the way around without dying. Which is far easier said than done by the looks of how difficult this looks, but we'll see. Even the fucking first fucking bit of this is bollocks. There we go. Oh my god, I got it on the- what the fuck? How did I do that? That was just chance! I mean, that's amazing. That's actually gonna make my life way easier. There is a secret door over there as well. Oh my god, we did it first try without any problems. What's in here? Ah, hell yeah! Another upgrade, excellent. That was definitely worth doing. What's over this side though? Locked door, we can't get. Probably a shortcut. I'll leave them down there for a minute. Bunch of shortcut doors that we can't open yet by the looks of things. And a jump I can make. Holy shit. What the fuck am I? Oh, this is going to go around to that other door from the other side. There are one hit kill? And the checkpoint's 20 fucking billion years away? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, I had no idea they were a one-hit kill for a start. Uh, I, I just assumed it would, like, like every other obstacle in the game would just do, like, 10 damage to me and be like, okay, that hurts a bit. But they're a one-hit kill. Brilliant. 
I'm gonna try again in case I miss something because I forgot how to do the dive again, which I constantly forget how to do because we never use it normally. And it's like, again, like I said, it's the opposite button to the one you'd expect it to be. And I don't think you can rebind the controls, so. Like, I would expect mid-air dash to be right trigger, but it's left trigger. Which I find very disconcerting, I'm gonna be honest with you. Nah, there's no way you can do that jump. Okay. So that jump's probably out of our league at the moment, I wanna say. At least it's easy to get back to. Let's just leave it for now and continue. I'm not gonna die another 20 fucking times trying to jump over that spike pit. Especially if I can get if I get a double edge jump later on or something like that, that's gonna make life a lot easier, so. Uh, who the fuck are you? You were a very large man, and the fucking flies from the previous area followed me through the fucking wall! Oh my god! Holy shit, that was so fucked! Best finishing move so far? Possibly. I did just manage to do that first time, guys. I'm very proud of myself. I'm gonna be honest with you, I never thought that would happen. Another energy cell, hell fucking yeah. Some very bullshit platforming in this section, I will say though. Like, if this is all one hit kills, imagine how frequently we're gonna be dying when it gets even harder than this. This is what I mean about the checkpoints, by the way. Like, having one checkpoint to service, like, 25 minutes of content, it's not okay. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty garbage, actually. You got, in 2023, you gotta do better. I'm nearly dead already. So the chances of me getting to the next bit of content alive is just zero, pretty much. Especially when that guy hits me through the fucking wall. Ah, oh, checkpoint. Fuck you. Okay, we made it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die here. In fact, let's just kill me. Just kill me, because there's no point. I might as well just come back with full health and mana. There we go. And now we can just go and do this room again much easier than ever before. One of those fuck, like big bucks right here, though. We haven't only come across once before. I just realized I'm, I used my fucking chainsaw again. Why? When, I didn't change it. I've been using the fist. And I can't remember how to change it on the fly. Because again, it's like a button that you would never use. He just uppercutted me into the roof. And instantly killed me. Because the roof has the spikes. Yeah, it's left trigger, again, is the use is the change weapon button. Again. Right trigger, sorry. The opposite of what it should be. Just want to point out. I want to get the fatality on this guy, but I don't want to die doing it. Got it. Eh, not as good as the gigantic shoe. Gigantic shoe is a masterpiece. You sneaky fucker robot. This is good. I like cutting them in half of the shield. I think that's pretty badass. Oh, okay. So he was guarding that. Getting some decent loot. Alright, which way are we going? Oh, we're nearly at the objective. This is short area if this is the case. Like, this looks like we're nearly there. Watch there be like another 20 hours to get to the objective. <laughs> I'm still thinking about the dickhead fight and when I should try and do it again. Like, I, I, it's really easy. Like, there's a save point just outside it, so you can just do it again and again and again and again, and again without really any consequences. So, there is plenty of opportunity. Oh, what the fuck is this shit? This is the this is the story. What the fuck is this? Well, I guess we're gonna knock into this hole and find out. Cherry, a portion of the tunnel ahead has been lit. I believe in order to continue, we'll have to find the switches that will turn the sections of the tunnel back on. This is a map of the entire game. This is terrifying. There's so much to go. 
Although I wonder how much of it is optional. There's so often quite a lot of optional areas in uh, Metroid venues. Anyway, we got to the story point. I hate the fact when they die outside the wall and you can't hit them. Not die, get stunned outside the wall. So going into darkness will kill us, so we've got to find the switches to turn the lights on. Got it. This seems massively unsafe. I have to change to the chainsaw again, goddammit. Definitely need to upgrade the chainsaw so it's not completely fucking useless. Um, there. What's in here? Better be something good. Like some lights. Okay, it is really easy to change them on the fly, and I need to get better at doing that. I think it'll make a big difference to my like combat style. That 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 is the best attack in the entire game. See what I mean by the enemy going being outside the area there though? Like I couldn't get the fucking play because he was like, yeah, I'm actually gonna just die off screen. How do we get up here though? Can we get up here? I'm not sure we can, you know. Wow, there's a lot of secrets around here though, a lot of things to see. Alright, so. We can go up here. Just don't touch the roof and we'll be fine. Well, he just nearly killed me in, from full health to nothing in a single fucking punch. Excellent. Where the fuck am I? Oh, this is a fight. <laughs> Excuse me, game? Yeah, I'm dead. No fucking way am I surviving that. And the checkpoint is fucking miles away yet again. Let's go this way instead. Oh, well actually it was worth going this way because we found an actual proper checkpoint. Alright, where does this take us? Let's ride it up. Probably to get some more items. I mean, we need as many items as possible. I should look at my components to install this one. Oh, 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 secret, 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 secret. A fucking locked door! Fuck you, game. No amount of endless panty shots are going to save you from that, from that insult. The trick luring me in. This obviously takes me back to somewhere on the top floor with some items or some shit. Fucking work. There are playthroughs of this on YouTube that are like four hours long. This is going to take me like 20 hours. <laughs> Maybe not 20. Oh, this just literally just got- that was a waste of fucking time! Alright, well, at least we found a shortcut back up, I guess. I guess they had to give you something. Alright, nothing there anyway. I seem to be having even more trouble with the Y attacks not working at the moment, which is really annoying. I feel like going this way... Yeah, you can't see the platforms. That said, are we ever going to see them? <laughs> that was the worst idea I might have ever had in a video game ever! Let's try it again. I have one more try at that. Why not? Well, I'd say that. But I say why not. The, the why not is because there's endlessly spawning flies chasing me through the walls of the area that I'm in. It's never good. Did 
Please get out of the wall. Alright, one more try. This is... <laughs> I can't get hit once! This is bullshit! Alright, fuck that. Let's leave that for now. That seems... I mean, there's a teleport point here. We can come back later on. Hopefully the power gets restored and that's doable. Otherwise, we're in serious shit. A fuel started, Journal 2. Three days ago, young lead and spin into thin air. My colleagues think he couldn't handle the stress of the constant cavens that are slowing us down. The forced daily overtime to ensure the production of electro-titanium is really too much, but this still doesn't make any sense to me. Young Lennon has always been a tireless worker and an excellent teammate. Also, despite his disappearance, all his belongings are still inside his cabin. It may be fatigue talking, but I apparently think there's something odd happening here. No. Something odd? In these mines where an unusual void signature has appeared at the bottom of the mine shafts? No. Don't talk crazy. But the flies are such a problem. <laughs> Fuck off! All of you! Oh my god, these enemies are so annoying! They're more annoying than the gun guys, and I thought that there that, that, that would never be anything more annoying than the gun guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Did he just. He just hit me through the fucking wall. I'm gonna die. I can't get past these enemies. They're just too difficult. I need more health, but I just can't get the upgrade. And I'm gonna die again to this fucker, because he's gonna just fucking kick my ass. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Why am I going this way? This is a dead end. Dead. Oh my god. And the save point is just so far away. It's bullshit. Alright, guys. I'm gonna stop here for a bit while I try and figure out how to get through this section without dying a billion fucking times. Because my health just feels like way too fragile to be here, but there's nowhere else to go at the moment. Except fight the dickheads, which I think is probably too difficult to. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have a look around, see what I can figure out, and uh, hopefully be back soon once we get to past the section we're in a bit. Because this section sucks dick. Alright, guys. I've been doing a bunch of stuff off camera here because there's just been rooms and rooms of spike traps and me constantly dying. However, I've now made it past most of these obstacles. I say as I immediately get pummeled by a fucking robot. And hopefully we're going to be able to turn the lights on here for the rest of the base in a second without dying. Have increased my health pool a bit. Not a lot. Uh, and I did move the zombie guy into our base because I decided to trust him and he's opened up shop there instead now, which seems to be a good idea. Way more convenient than going all the way across the map to get him on the other side of the map, so he's now at the headquarters. Question here is, this is going towards another objective, right? Not another objective, another... Uh... Hmm. Definitely gonna, you definitely have to change your abilities on the fly a lot more now. Say as I fuck that up completely. Come on. Not bad. Hell yeah, I fucking did it. I've also increased the amount of health I get from fights. As you can see, I got nearly a full health bar from killing the big guy there. Which uh, is going to make my life a lot easier when it comes to progression. I don't think the lights are going to be this way, but we'll go this way for now anyway. Maybe they will be. Like I say, the biggest problem here has just been... The spikes. It's just so easy to get instantly killed with... Ah, oh, we found the lights! Okay, where are they going? Okay, so this is what we do need to progress. Actual progression! Not just me getting lost for 20 minutes. Oh my god. Die. My concern is I'm pushing this the wrong way, obviously, but I don't think so. I think it's probably up here. These platforms seem very conveniently placed for getting a ball up a cliff. 
Uh, a lot of the enemies here have like an uppercut move, by the way, to uppercut you into the spikes. So if there are spikes nearby, you are not safe. You might be like, well, I don't want to, I'm not going to jump, so I'm safe. It's bullshit. Like, they will uppercut you into the spikes whenever they fucking can and instantly kill you. This whole area is just a death trap. I do like the fact I can kill enemies with the ball, though. Oh my god, I think we did it. I think we powered the lights. You can see how massive this fucking area is, by the way. Like, it's crazy. But, I have found a bunch of cool shit. Oh, that was so close to me spiking myself! Oh my god, it grazed, it grazed Regina. Is she okay? Alright, and we're back up here now. You see, we, we made some progress, finally. That was a lot of me getting very grumpy and lost. Oh, oh holy shit. So we have another put light section here that we could potentially solve. And these haven't got spikes. Even better, they've just got the tentacles, which don't actually kill you in one hit, they just do a little bit of damage. In fact, they do way less damage than any other hazard, the tentacles. I'm not quite sure that says about me. I think that was meant to be hard, but it ended up not being that difficult. This, however, could be. You see, it only does like five ticks of damage, it like, that doesn't really do anything. Very, oh no! No, I fell like a complete moron, dickhead idiot! Can I actually get out of here? I might be in trouble. Oh shit, I don't think I can get out. I think I'm trapped. Do I have to reload? Like, this is actually un like, like completely stuck in the game stuck. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe I can slide under this. I can. Oh, I have to go all the way around again. No, fuck you, game. Uh, it's not too bad. At least there's not any fucking enemies here. But I have to do it without the light, which makes it a lot harder. Like I say, at least it isn't. Get down the fucking hole. Oh my god. The reason I'm stuck here is this ball won't go down a tiny fucking hole. I actually don't know what to do here. Whatever I do, it just bounces. There we go. Like, fuck for that. That was terrible. Okay, so I need to... Oh my god, this... I was like, this section's easy. This section sucks. Like, every part of this fucking mine, it sucks. I don't want you to do this! I, w I need to stand on the fucking switch and then do it! Oh my god! Get in the fucking hole! Jesus Christ, this is ridiculous! Oh my god, this is just- this- this item! Excuse me. Better be worth it. Because this ball is just not obeying the laws of physics now, it's just doing whatever the fuck it wants and just annoying the fuck out of me. Jesus Christ. Maybe this will work. It worked. Fucking cheesed it. But it worked. Get in the hole. There's only one there's only one hole left, please. Please! Yes! The hole is mine! The lights are on! And I get the item. What the fuck is it? Please be good. It's a fucking energy cell, which actually is good, but I was expecting more after risking my life for that section. Holy shit. Okay, what's down here? This looks like... Oh, this is a shortcut back up. Definitely missed some stuff, by the way, down there, but... I'm gonna be honest with you, considering how brutally difficult that whole section was, I'm not sure I'm, I'm ready to go back down and investigate anyway. I can tell where this is gonna come out, at least. These guys. There was a room with, like, I'm not kidding. I would say 50 of these guys in it. Like, uh, one of the trap rooms. It was brutal, because they just kept punching you, and you couldn't do anything about it, and it was so many enemies on screen, I couldn't tell where I was. So you just died constantly, it was really bad. Definitely the hardest trap room in the game so far. Sorry I didn't show it to you, but it was just me yelling at the screen for like fucking 25 minutes as I was trying to do it. Die, 
die, die. Die. Excellent. Hell yeah. Whew. Alright. Hey, and we're back up to the entrance. And we're back up to where the lights should hopefully be on now. I miss so much down here though, look at this. I've got to go back all the way through that shite. <laughs> There's no fucking way. I'm gonna lose my mind doing that. I'm gonna do that off camera obviously, but I feel like I'm, this is just the worst possible fucking shit. All right, so it looks like the lights are on in this section now. The enemies are still obnoxious as fuck, obviously. Hey, at least these ones aren't getting stuck in the wall. The the health increase from brutal te brutal kills is very useful. So we can actually see this bit now that we tried to do without the lights earlier and progress towards the objective. So that's what I'm going to do. Fuck exploring at the moment. We're just going to focus on hopefully not dying. I say that. These guys are going to uppercut me off the ledge as soon as I'm here. See? Oh, I beat them. Got them pinned down. Yeah, get fucked. Okay, that went much better. With, with, with the ability to actually see, shockingly, things are a bit easier than they were last time. Please die. Thank you. Alright. And you. Come on. You're just a numpkin, I know, but you're going to have to die. It's probably nothing. Huh. Oh, it's an item up here, I think. Oh, it's a checkpoint, actually. What the fuck is this? Oh, well, it's a boss fight, but other than that. I hate these being in the trap rooms. Because it just be Oh my god, the damage that guy does, he's such a prick! Alright, that's dead. Health back. Oh wow, that was the, one of the easiest... After the last one, what is with the difficulty curve here? The one I did uh, before this one was so difficult, I did that one first time without any fucking problems! I don't even know where I'm going right now, but hopefully it's somewhere cool. I do want to see what the finishing move is on those guys, but I haven't had a chance to do it yet. I mean, this looks like the way forward, so we'll take it. The other way looks like it goes to a bat, which I can't do anything with at the moment because I don't have the bat ability still, so... Oh my god, the fucking flies. They're fucking with me. They're fucking with me. Every enemy in this game is fucking with me. Did I mention how much I love the tentacles over the spikes? Tentacles are friendly. Tentacles are our friends, okay? Spikes, not so much. All the tentacles do is, like, gently nibble you, you know what I mean? Like, in a friendly way. But the spikes, they're just like, actually, fuck you. Oh, I really want to get a finishing move on that guy. Alright, that's just a shortcut unlocked. Oh, that's actually a pretty good shortcut. Hang on, is this a shortcut? That's where I came from. Oh, that is a secret of some description, but I have no idea how to get through there at the moment. I'm not gonna lie guys, the thought of coming back here to clear this place out is like nightmare fuel. Because of how difficult it's been. Like right now, there's gonna be an enemy gonna cut me in the roof any minute now, I'm pulling it. How am I not dead? I mean I'm gonna be dead any second, I'm on 9 health, but still. Oh no, I got 89 health back from that guy, that's the special power I got. Yes! Oh, I still haven't seen the fatality on that guy either. Oh, yes. Yeah, just some components. That said, the components are used to increase your health and damage, which is I really need to do more of the thing. I think one of the reasons I've been struggling is my health and damage have only been upgraded once, or well, twice now for health. And I just think you need to put a lot more time and effort into that. Like perhaps even over the weapon upgrades, because the weapons, the upgrades, they're kind of incremental, like in terms of like what they can do compared to the health and damage upgrades, I think. 
Like, I'd rather have a base upgrade than upgrade a weapon that I might use sometimes. Like, ideally, I want them all, right? You know what I mean? Tentacles were not my friends there. It's tricked. Right, the arsehole. Oh. Well, I missed one of those, but eh, we'll come back for it. Right now, I just want to head to the objective. And we can clear all this out when we have the teleport points open. Okay, I'm alive. Lots of these slug guys is a problem. But not if I do it like that and play it cool. Well, if you isolate them and you're not getting gangbanged by like 10 of them at once, you're probably okay. I say as I'm about to get gangbanged by 10 of them at once. The health, that health boost is so fucking useful, the, the getting health and kills. Best ability I've ever invested in the whole game. Come on, punch it, punch it. Hell yeah, done, don't. Oh no, there's more. Anything else? Another fly. It'd be weird if the last enemy here is a fly. Like, usually it's, it's gonna be one of those toxic guys, right? Can you get out the fucking wall? Biggest problem with the flies is they just, sometimes you just can't hit them because they're like just too busy, like, swerving through blocks. Anyway, we did it first time again. That was way easier than the last ones. All right, can't do that route yet. Good. Finishing move. Oh, we finally see it. Did she just inflate her ass so big that it punctured the enemy's face? I think she did. Lovely. The ultimate finishing move, an ass finishing move. As you can see, I'm using the projectile again because it's really useful in fights like this. Like, unless I need to use the ground pound or something, the projectile seems to be by far the best fucking thing to use. Just being a ground pound, I do need to use it here. But let's uh, kill the horrific bugs trap first before it kills me. Alright, if we go this way. This is obviously the wrong way, but. It's obviously the wrong way. Nothing is obviously the wrong way in this place, actually. It, 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 the way down is under me. God, it's so good to have a way to. I'm feeling a bit more confident again now after having my ass handed to me in the spike sections. Can I even get up here, though? Yeah, I can. You made me fall down again, you fucking arsehole. Oh this jump. What the fuck? Normally the jumps in this are like have all been while well, there's like timed ones, obviously, like and questionable ones, normally like it works, but this jump is like broken as fuck. What the hell is going on? There we go. That's so strange. I don't know why that didn't work. I fucking hate this bit. Oh no, spot okay, we can't go thank fuck. More more one hit kills we can avoid. Ah, oh, the best feeling ever. This I'm not optimistic about this room, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, I'm dead. Thought I was as soon as I saw that. And again, the checkpoint is literally a decade away. What the fuck? Sometimes the game is so fucking user friendly, and other times it's just like, yeah, actually, I'm gonna just, just, just fuck off, actually. Just fuck, just fuck off. 
fun? What's that? You know what? I'm gonna go down this hole. Don't know if this is the right way or not. I don't care at this point. So. Oh, it's a secret wall killer. Oh, weird music here. Enhanced healing. Oh, yes! Can heal more over time. Uh, there's like a secret down here and that's it. It's been over a month since we found young Lennon's body. After informing the authorities of the incident, Infonet launched an investigation. Nothing was found inside the crystal pits. No monsters or predators. Vosses claimed the poor boy was probably crushed by a boulder. Nonsense, I say. As usual, these gentlemen try and hide the truth. We missed jungle entry three, but uh, I think we get the gist of what's going on here. More weird, creepy shit. Can we get to the next area without getting absolutely groomed? without killing anything. Run, run. Okay, I got to the fight again. Why have I got my chainsaw selected, first of all? Absolutely fucking useless ability. Let's try Void Wave. I haven't tried it yet. Don't know why I'm so dead. I'm, I am dead already. This is what I mean. This is the problem. I mentioned this... I, okay. I was like, well, I didn't show you the room where I died a million times. It's like that room. Because the slugmen just gangbang you to death in three seconds flat if they fucking hit you once. Because they all just combo you and you're just fucked. And there's nothing you can do because you can't tell who you are amongst the seven billion enemies on screen at once. <laughs> Holy shit. I've got to do another one of them. And this one, I can't just go down. This, the other one was right just before a save point. The save point here is like fucking... I have to run for like five minutes to get back every fucking time. Can I isolate one of these guys without the other ones joining in? Maybe. I say as I immediately just get fucking owned by that fucking attack. The fucking ball attack sucks so much! Okay, help. Okay, good. I'm gonna try and isolate them individually and be tactical here. And maybe I'll have a chance. Okay, just run away, just run away, just run away, it's fine. Oh, that's an interesting villain. Absolutely fucking useless, but interesting. Get health. Nearly dead. They're nearly dead too, though. One hit fucking. Hang on! My health was. My health was 20 when he. My health never hit zero and I still died. Are you fucking kidding me? You guys saw that! My health was on fucking 20 health, he died, and then I just died anyway. What the fuck is happening? My health even said 20 on the fucking game over screen! So how am I dead? I'm fucked. There's no way I'm getting back to this room in one piece here. I have to do that all over again. Right, last try on camera. Then we're gonna just have to fucking cut out another like 20 minutes of fucking gameplay in this. Jesus Christ. Difficulty curve in this is insane sometimes. Like, it'll be like, you'll be fine for like 20 minutes, and then it'll be unbeatable. There's been like stretches to this dungeon that have been great, and stretches of it that have just been like, fuck you, why are you playing? Fuck you. Like, the, the di difficulty imbalance is actually some of the most insane I think I've ever seen. Yeah, I can't do this. Especially when the fucking fatalities aren't working at all.
I am somehow still alive amongst this chaos. Please be the last two. If you're the last two, I've got it. Don't suddenly just die on 20 health either. There's more. There's fucking more. At least it's one of these fucks. There's gonna be more. Nope, that's it! We did it! Holy shit! That wasn't as bad as the room I got stuck in, I will say. It was bad, but it wasn't that bad. Holy shit, what the fuck am I now? Oh, a secret. Ooh. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you hiding. I think I have enough to do some serious upgrades now, but I need to find a teleport out of here, otherwise I'm just stuck anyway. I feel like I'm heading towards a boss fight. I've had, no, this is not the way forward, but I don't know what I'm doing here. I want the booty fatality again, but I keep killing the enemy. This guy. This fucking arsehole. This arsehole enemy. Worst enemy in the fucking game. I'm kind of chasing him. Don't go in. Get fucked. Cheesing him is acceptable when he kills you so fucking easily. More spikes! I don't want more spikes, I just want more... Cuddles. More cuddles, less spikes, that's what I want. Alright, this is a dead end going up there, I can't get up there at the moment. We're going down again, like, where the fuck is this going? Oh, I thought that was a secret from me, I was excited. Come on. Hey, I got the arse kill. Jesus, that arse kill is ridiculous. I just wasted all my fucking ammo by shooting the wrong direction. I think I'm alright. Yeah, got a fatality on him. That should be enough to deal with the other guy as well. Some really intense combat now. Like, the difficulty is insane. Alright. Oh, we found a teleporter! This is not what I expected to find here, but this loops around to where we were. Just keep going. Just keep going left. Oh no, this is, this is something else. There's stuff everywhere. There's so much stuff! It should be illegal to be this much stuff in a video game. Go away. Alright, he's dead. Fuck that. Alright, getting the crate in here seems like risky business. But I did just get a save, so... Oh, it's not that risky. So there's no fucking way he's surviving that. Alright, so what happens if I do go this way some more? Will I regret it? I mean, I regret everything about this section, to be honest with you. Oh, let's open the shortcut. Oh, that's a big shortcut. That's going to save us so much time later on. Like, in terms of getting around the level. That just basically opened up everything that I previously had trouble getting to. Yeah, what the fuck is this? More secret? Oh, another light room. Or oh, another light puzzle, that means, I'm really for me. But probably worth it to get an energy battery, I'm gonna assume. Well, that sucked. You know what, you know I said that the ball puzzles weren't, weren't so bad? I fucking hate them. <laughs> I've decided they're the worst thing in this game, and I want them to stop immediately and never be in the game again, okay? Alright. 
That means there's a thing up there for the ball to go on, the fact that he didn't come back down again. Okay, we made it over the slight ledge. Ooh, saving my fucking ass here again, by the way. I can't actually damage this enemy right now, by the way, because, um... I haven't got any fucking strong attacks, and he only is weak to strong attacks. So we just got this enemy that is invincible, that I can't fight, just stuck here with me. But he's just getting knocked everywhere by the ball as well, so nothing is happening. <laughs> We're just stuck perpetually trying to juggle this fucking stupid fucking minigame bullshit. There we go. Holy shit. Alright. Gotta get it across the gap now. Okay. Okay. We're doing good. No! <laughs> it's a tra everything in this dungeon's a trap. I guys, I'm never ever gonna finish this. This dungeon has taken three hours. Someone told me this game was four hours long. I've been playing it for nine hours, and I'm not even fifty percent done. Why lie to me? What did I ever do to you? I'm just a knock you. I can't kill any of the enemies here because I have no mana. So let's just ignore them and keep going. If I die, I'm absolutely fucked. That's the problem. Ah, um, there's the light switch. Yes! 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 Give me something good. You didn't. Oh, there's a secret wall here. So you didn't give me anything good, but this you could have given me something good. Just hit it. Eh. Not really worth it. But I will take it. Oh, I actually need some cork tissue uh, for an upgrade. So that's pretty good. I think I've juggled as many balls ever as in this game. Oh, this all ties around. This all goes back to where everything makes sense again. And a teleporter. I'm gonna go to that teleporter because all this is like, like holy shit, look what I just did. We still are nowhere near the fucking boss, by the way. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. All right, there's loads and loads and loads and loads of secrets here though as well. Look at this, look, it's crazy the amount of shit going on. Yeah, that's fine. You okay, Crazy? Alright, well, I've got have I got more components I can add. Not at the moment. Alright. More progress made. We're now trying to find another route forward towards the boss. Which I'm assuming is a boss anyway. Might not be. I would say there is a good chance that it is. Of course, that means a lot more spikes to deal with. He's dead. Um, which... How am I alive? I found a secret by pure chance. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god! What does that do? Well, whatever it does, it did something that probably made life a lot easier. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Oh my god, we are so... We're, go we're going down. We're getting closer to the boss as it is. <clears throat> well, secret door there. In a really shit place. Let's tag this and then try and get it. That was not happening. Interesting though. We're right at the boss. That's really exciting. I really want to see what it is and get my ass handed to me a million times. I have upgraded my damage, by the way, guys. If you didn't know. When I'm my damage, I think I actually have enough to upgrade my health again as well now, but we're gonna. I mean, I don't want to teleport out right now, you know what I mean? We're right by the boss. 
Yeah, this looks bad. Oh, we actually can teleport right out. So let's do that. We're going to go and teleport back to Hidden Diner. And I think we can upgrade our health now with what we have. Just. I think we just in a position to upgrade our health. That means we'll be tier 2 damage and tier 3 health. Which is pretty good. Oh no, that's the max upgrades. There we go. So we've upgraded our health and damage to max. Pretty happy about that, I'm going to be honest with you. Now we need to start upgrading weapons more and more and more and more and more and um, we'll be Gucci. I say Gucci. Watch me get my ass fucking wrecked right now by whatever this is. Yeah, it's definitely the boss fight. Holy shit. Alright, what do you think? It's going to be big. Regina, what is happening to me? I feel like my insides are on fire. Trey, please, we need to run away from here. You're incapable of defeating this guy. He's coming for us. We won't die here. We need to save Shinji. Bakasura. I feel like I'm not meant to beat this guy yet. This is going to take a lot of practice. But, I don't think that was too bad. Can we beat Bakasura? Like, is he killable? A lot of health. It's going to take a lot of practice. Felt like I was like fucking nowhere near that attack. Bullshit, I rolled through that fucking thing. <laughs> Definitely beat a bull though. Got him on my second fucking try. On my second try, Bakasura defeated. Chainsword in half. Phase two. Nope. Ancestral Clown. Kill Bakasura. That was fucking badass, and we did it really, really quite easily. Hi there. Hello, young mysterious pinkhead warrior. Who are you? You just saved my life. I'm Cherry, and you are... You can call me Theo. I'm maybe in Mercenary. Here's my business card. My atomizer is my speciality. Nice. Dad, I need it, though. Sethio, what are you doing in a dangerous place like this? 
Infinite paid me a shitload to deal with the monstrosity. Something weird's happening all over the mega structure. These things came out of nowhere, they just want to kill and destroy. The more they do, the more powerful they get. They? So there's more than one, huh? Interesting. Many, I'm afraid. I tried to fight that one, but my techniques were useless, so I hit her until it lost interest in me. Useless, huh? Maybe it's time to pack it in, old man. I had no problems wounding it. Goodness, Cherry, can you please try and be more polite? Not my style, I'm just being honest. It's fine, my little bip bip. I actually appreciate the brutal honesty. Bip bip, so my name is Regina, and I'm the sophisticated I.R. in the world. More like the JJ in the world. Ha, huh, that's a good one. Ridiculous. You know what, you might be onto something, young blood. After two weeks of freezing my mutant butt off in this cave with no food or water, I'm done with this bullshit. I think it's time to retire. I think you deserve some rest, Mr. Mutant. Go on, take this beauty, you've earned it. You're the one that defeated that thing, I think you deserve it. Hey, thanks, man. Any chance of a Noah way to get out of the Golden, to get to the Golden Tower? No, I don't, but I've heard rumors that there's a rebel base at the bottom of Diesel Lagoon. The leader's name is Punani. She seems like she might know a way. Thanks a lot, I'll take a look. Alright, we got the Atomizer. And we can't get past this door yet, because we still haven't got the Bat Power, or whatever the fuck that is. Hey, can you go to our- you wanna go to our base? Uh, oh, Diesel Lagoon. Where the fuck is Diesel Lagoon? Oh. Looks like we need to go back to the Hidden Diner, huh? Oh, I wonder if it's through that big door. Interesting. Um, how do I leave? I, I can't, I, there's nowhere to go. Oh, maybe here? No? Where the fuck do I go to leave this fucking- Oh, I bet I had to- I bet I can shoot that thing now. I bet I can shoot it. That's what it is. Maybe? There we go. Hold down. Shoot. Done. Excellent. Well, Bakasura defeated. I'm really proud of that fight. That went really well. Like, way better than I thought it would, to be honest with you. Did that work? I think it did. Yeah, it did. Alright, so this is just a tutorial on the gun to get through here. Alright, we can do a lot more now we have the bat thing. Read the journal. Today came the official communication. The crystal pits will be temporarily closed because of inaccessibility. Interventions will be made to ensure our safety. However, for the duration of these interventions, our wages will be halved. We are tired of being treated like scum. My department will revolt against infinite and occupy the mine tonight. I think anything can happen if we stick together. Yeah. Guessing that's all the bodies we found in the shit pit. So we have all the upgrades now, by the way, that aren't um, a weapon upgrades. But. Getting all the weapon upgrades is going to be pricey as fuck. Raz, you here? Come in, Raz. You hear me? Yeah, man, loud and clear. Oh, we got another one of Shinji's logs. We don't need to fucking read that the word for word. We get the idea. Let's go and read the log when we get back to the diner. And splat. Alright, that means there's two abilities we haven't got yet in the game, I think. Which is like a wall jump, right? Haven't got that. Why do they do that? Oh no, this checkpoint's so shit! Stop putting bollocks checkpoints in video games! I wanna fucking play! Fucking 20 minutes of fucking running back doing fucking nothing! I have a fucking time! People have lives! People have busy days! This checkpoint is bullshit! Just fucking let me fucking run! Let me just spawn in the fucking room that I died in! Or something! I don't fucking know! Just make it- Just fuck! The checkpoints in this are so fucking annoying! Holy shit! I don't want to see this more than once, ever! It's just a boring fucking jumping bit! 
get the fist. There's a weapon we haven't got to. Which I guess could be, theoretically. Hi. Thanks, bye. I'm glad the spikes kill those guys really fucking easily, at least. Jesus Christ. Alright, anyway. These fucking traps. Go away. All of you. That's when I lose my fucking mind, is when the fucking... Jesus Christ. Anyway, back of Sarah was easy. This isn't a teleport point. Oh, there's one over there. Alright, so what have I missed down here? I missed the whole area going left there. The thought of going down there makes me violently ill, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, that's just the worst idea. I missed some stuff down there. Miss various things here. That one there I can't get at the moment, and that up plight is there. The wall jump. Wrong way. Let's just teleport back to the diner. But there is stuff in every section that we can theoretically go to now and unlock and get more stuff. Probably more uh, batteries, I'm gonna guess, and new skills and things. Let's have a look, shall we? Shinji's Log 2. Today I was finally able to get my hands on some top secret documents and learn facts never mentioned in history books. Victor Garbanzos was a world famous explorer, great grandfather of Black Hand Salem. He was the first and only 212 years ago able to explore the whole megastructure. He planned for over 20 years for his most important expedition. The goal was to reach and conquer the center of the megastructure. When he got there, Victor saw twin luminous rhomboidal shaped minerals fluctuating around the core of the megastructure, resonating with power. We call the energy the void. A team of 20 scientists were paid to conduct a research about these minerals and kept that secret. The team was called Infinite and it became its former president. Alright. First of all, there's various items here, but that's where I need to go, that, that scannable door down there. And I have the key card now because I bought it from the zombie guy. So diesel pits seem like a good place to be. Hey, what the fuck is this? Did you see that? There's like a fucking prompt there. What? Oh, it's just him. Through the floor. For a minute I was excited. But yeah, you can get up on that roof somehow and get more stuff it looks like. It looks like there is multiple places we can try and explore here. If we, uh... If we are so inclined anyway. But for now, let's go down the pit. I want to see what this uh, rebel leader's got for me. But yeah, to get the key card to get into this place, you need to um, have uh, bought it from the zombie dude. We already read this. Oh, I just need to shoot. Oh, I just need to shoot this. That's the other one as well. I guess the key cards for further in. It definitely said diesel bits. Oh my god. There we go. New area, diesel pits. Excellent. There's not many areas left. I think there's like... Three? This looks like the place the mercenary talked about in the mines. It looks abandoned and dangerous, but could be the perfect place for Punani and the rebels to hide. I don't know if that's how you say her name, but I've got a feeling that name... At least in certain languages means something. Interesting. Maybe she's going to be really friendly, and this will just be a really short section where there's no risk of death, and everyone's just really nice. Yeah, I'm wrong. Oh, that's a boring kill. Don't like that one. I can hear things walking around that are not me. There's a door immediately this way, which is weird. Let's go and have a look. Chronicles of an Explorer 1. My name is Fiona Felix. I'm an explorer and a documentary filmmaker. My colleagues and I had the idea of following the footsteps of Victor Garbanzos, trying to explore the megastructure and filming the entire thing. Yesterday, we arrived in a mushy sector. We couldn't imagine air so unbreathable and atmosphere so humid. We'll try and collect the material we need quickly and then move on to the next area. <laughs> Definitely mushy. I don't know if mushy is the word I use here so far, but we'll see. Yeah, upgrading all the weapons is where my money's gonna go now, and that seems an incredibly expensive 
thing to do. I think they all go up to three. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with those, like, to avoid their attacks. They seem pretty, uh... That's a wall jumping thing that I need. I'm guessing that'll be the next ability I unlock. We've already seen this mob, but just like a fat version of it. Wow. Really went to town then, didn't he? Fuck that. Different kill. Oh! I like that one. Okay. The through the wall shit needs to stop. It's bullshit. It's really fucking obnoxious. I'm dead. Fuck me. That yeah. having enemies hit you through shit is like the base fucking tier fucking bullshit fuck that needs to not be in video games, okay? In the NES era, sure. But not here. It's just annoying. Secret wall here with the chest behind the earth you can see on the map. Hey, that's not bad. It's a shame, those fishy eyes, I ended up buying them and wasting money on them, and I could have just fucking waited and got the upgrade here, but I wanted the upgrade before I did the big, the first, the boss of the mines, you know what I mean? going to be here the whole fucking time, aren't they? Flies are just like the... They've, they've rapidly becoming my least favourite enemy in the game, I will say. Because they do crazy damage. I don't like those. What the fuck are these? Creepy fucking motherfuckers. So something I realised that I never realised before, you can push enemies into these really easily with this. I worked that out while I was doing some other sections the other day. And there you go, that's one down already. Now let's see if we can do another one. See, it doesn't do any damage to them, and it makes life so much easier. I had no idea we could do this to solve these. And we did it. So, see how easy that is now? No big deal at all. Just so fucking easy. And we got whatever this is already. Another energy cell. Eh, fucking excellent. Fucking excellent. Well, we got this down now. We got the we got the red shit down. Not quite happy with how to deal with those at the moment. Like I feel like I'm gonna get hit whatever I do. What the fuck is that? Oh, as expected, spikes in. I was reading. Many creatures populate this place. Yesterday we came into contact with an amphibious humanoid creature. After a moment of fear, we realized the creature was not hostile or savage at all. As the leader of the group, I immediately seized the opportunity to communicate with it. But when I tried to get closer, the creature plunged quickly into the diesel lagoon. Things are getting more and more interesting. I really hope to meet this being again. Interestingly, though, can't go down there. With the abilities I'm getting, right, there isn't many places I shouldn't, I should have trouble going anymore. Like the wall jump. That's not it. How do I do this fucking thing? There it is. The wall jump is the only thing really that I, I'm missing now, right? Oh, and the little, maybe the mining robot thing that I mentioned. I was wrong about it being a mining robot, but you know what I mean. There was like something that's like... I guess you can't do a fatality, by the way, when that's in your hand, which, uh, which kind of sucks. How far is the objective? As the objective isn't too far away, I wonder if this area is going to be hopefully a little bit smaller than some of the other ones, because that last one was just fucking massive. Like, death trap massive. 
It was massive and it sucked. So it was like the perfect combination of shit. I was gonna say, I knew I'm dead. I wanna try something. Maybe not. I thought I could maybe punch the bomb into the animal, the other, like the tentacle thing, but I guess not. Oh, bollocks. So you're gonna take slight damage here, whatever. What a nasty trap. Yeah, fatalities just aren't working sometimes at the moment. Like, I'm definitely pressing Y. But it's like, nah. He didn't press Y, but I did press Y. Oh, we're gonna have to change weapons a lot here. Because this whole dungeon's gonna be based around shooting shit, right? Oh, so you can you can do fatalities, by the way, with that equipped. I was just wrong. Frequently, I am wrong, to be fair. So you know. Huh. Oh, interesting. So they don't always die from your skip. They don't always die, like how and blow up. Interesting. Um, look not sure how I didn't take mad damage there, but uh, okay, I'll take it. Wall jump needed there. This guy isn't actually crazy hard to beat, he's just annoying. Hey, interesting. So a teleport point there, which is not the way the game seems to want us to go. Interesting. Well, I I'm going to go and backtrack now and clear out all the bat things in the previous areas and stuff. I may even have a little poke at the dickheads. See how much damage I can do to them. And if I uh, beat them or if I start killing them, I will record it. But uh, I'm going to go and explore a bit now off camera. Alright guys, I have successfully backtracked a bit and uh, explored different places. Now we're going to get our asses handed to us in a challenge room. are really useful for killing everything in the fucking room. I mean, they're really useful for killing you as well, unfortunately, but still. That was pretty fucking easy. On a fucking roll as we begin. I'm going the wrong way on purpose at the moment, as you guys may have guessed. Did find a bunch more stuff. Uh, I now get more void from brutalized kills. This fucker. So yeah, everything's looking pretty good if you ask me, actually. Oh, we definitely need a skill here to get through here. Oh, hang on. Can I do... Nah, it's, so this is definitely the skill that we need is in this dungeon, I would say. Definitely can't progress past that way at the moment. Don't like those statues, they creep me out quite a bit. Ooh, that was lucky. Didn't mean to change to a chainsaw, but I did. Guess it's not the end of the world, because we're still okay. This 
is so far not- this area is way less stressful than the previous one so far. Every fight's been less stressful, there's less bollocks. Lots to see, lots to do. Easy enough to get those kills now as well. I don't like those things, because I still don't know how to deal with them properly, but they're not like kicking my ass. This is definitely a room I'm not meant to be going through yet, I don't think. But I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, gun. You. Thank you. Oh! Now this is an actual new ability that I got to. Wall slide. Jumping repeat was it? Okay, so you can stick to and slide down walls now. Let's test that out. We've got loads of new places we can go. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. We can climb vertically now without any problems. Hell, fucking, yeah. That is what I wanted to fucking see. I am Fiona Felix. I'm currently in a state of complete shock. Because of my wicked decisions today, my team had to suffer horrible consequences. As we moved towards the center of the swamp, we realized that strange and amorphous creatures were floating above us a few meters from our heads. One of my colleagues, Paul Willis, decided to approach one of them. As soon as it touched it, the creature glowed with a blinding light and exploded on him. The smell of Paul's blood attracted some horrible carnivorous plants which devoured the rest of my companions. I don't know how I was able to save myself from that horrible carnage. I just remember that I ran like I've never ran in my life. This is so... I will say, this feels more and more like Metroid. I would play- people have been asking if I'd play a Metro game. I- I hate Dread, it was just too difficult. But, uh, the others, sure. Okay, how quickly we cleared out this whole fucking area though, fucking badass. And we have a new ability. That new ability, by the way, is gonna let us get to a bunch more areas elsewhere, but for now I'm gonna press on with the main story. I still haven't beaten the dickheads, by the way, I haven't tried. Um, I just thought, well, I may as well power up my weapons and shit more, you know what I mean? Which is what I'm going to go and do now quickly, because I definitely have enough points to do it. This area definitely seems significantly smaller, I'd like to say, than the previous one. So we'll see how quickly I can get through it. Uh, hi. Oh, you want my... Oh, we fully upgraded. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. I, don't... I just realized that. What I need to do is go this way. There's stuff up here. Oh, you can just climb vertically now? Oh my god, that's so useful. I don't even have to climb back wall to wall like Mario. I can just... Oh my god, that's amazing. Alright. So let's see. Um, let's upgrade... I'm gonna upgrade the fist again. I think it might be the most... The max level. No, there's more? There's level 5? Holy shit. Well, I used the gauntlet the most now, so I think we'll stick to that for now. By the way, he has asked me... Uh, for motorcycle frames and things like that and he'll make me a super weapon if I bring them to him Don't know if I'll be able to find them, but if I do I'll bring them to him. I don't have them at the moment. So uh, yeah But that was something else that happened off camera while I was fucking around. All right, anyway teleport back down here. Let's go Let's go and hopefully fight a boss or at least talk to Punani whatever the fuck her name is I don't really think I'm equipped to probably fight the dickheads now. My health can't get any better. Uh, it's just a question of fighting them and learning their patterns and things like that. Watch it take me like 20 hours or some terrible shit like that. Alright, that's the way forward. Let's go. Cool. Ah, so that's why you had to go the other way first, because you couldn't have got up here otherwise. This... I like the way there's a save point here. To help you deal with bullshit, because I get what you have to do. Oh my god, that's too low? Are you fucking kidding me? That's so lame. Alright, before I do this, gun. We're getting into the bullshit sections, though, now. Every fucking one of these games has these. This game hasn't been that bad.
I don't know why she didn't double jump then. It's like she was just was not responsive at all. <sighs> okay. Patience is being tested here. Fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Did I hit it? I don't know if I hit it or not. Did that time. Let's see if that opened that door back here. Oh, I didn't. Which means it probably did some other bollocks somewhere. Fuck off, I didn't hit that. God, I hate this shit. The spike sections are shit. Like, they're just... They're not even fun, they're just annoying. Some of the most annoying shit I've seen in the world, I'm gonna be on. But how did I turn that off, right? Is it timed? Nothing has been timed in this game so far, so this is new as well, which sucks. I don't know if I can do this. I'm gonna be honest with you, I hate this kind of shit. What? There's fucking... What am I meant to do? Oh my god, this is just trial and error shit now, I hate it. This is where the, ga okay, the game's losing me, rapidly here. This is not fun, this is just shit. This is just irritating shit. So I'm really confused. It turned out that area with the bullshit jumping that I died on, I'm gonna say like a hundred times, guys. Um, I can't do it, by the way, I just gave up. Um, that area is not required, it's an optional area. So I don't really know where I'm meant to be going now, because everywhere just loops around, and there's nothing. There's just nothing here, there's nothing to do, there's nothing to see, everywhere is a fucking dead end. Everywhere. Like, this area here does not join here. This- there's a door there where that map is, but it's locked and I can't get through it. So all I can think of is going up. Up there. Which is... which is fine, but I feel like I was really- I was really enjoying the game. And then it threw that platforming in and it triggered me. You know why? Because Ori in the Blind Forest is massively overrated shit Metroidvania because it's just constant constant garbage platforming and nothing else of fucking enjoyment whatsoever and it reminded me of that and metroidvanias don't need to have like garbage inaccessible shite in them to be good metroidvanias and it's a shame because that really soured my opinion of the game i was like hey all the jumping in this has been like you know doable and shit like that and now that's just like trash i hate it i absolutely hate like bullshit like, required exact timing platforming sections. I think they're just terrible. And they have no place in a game like this. I really hate it. Because it really just locks people out of the game. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. But anyway, enough of me ranting about the fucking platforming shit. Because I'm genuinely tilted by it. Um, I don't think I can actually get up here. Nah, that's too high and it's at the wrong angle. Okay. Alright, so there's only one place to go. There's one place left in this whole fucking dungeon that we can potentially go to actually progress. This area is, was looks really straightforward, but it turned out to be not at all. Actually, what the fuck? Hang on. There's no fucking- there's no teleporter up- oh my god! Also, teleporters at the entrance of every dungeon! It's not fucking rocket science, it's just fucking quality of life. I don't want to spend ten minutes climbing out the fucking dungeon just because I need to backtrack slightly! Jesus Christ, have every one of these fucking teleporters, that every one of the checkpoints be a teleporter. That would be fun. That would be good, okay? That would be what what would make the game so much more fluid and less fucking time wasty at this point, is that shit. Because fucking hell. Oh my god, it just feels like busy work at the moment. And it's lame. Alright, let's go back. Like, I've played a lot of Metroidvanias this year, and I haven't played one with as much fucking around with bad fucking teleportation and shit as this one. I'm sorry. I've played like... I finished nearly 20 this year, I would say. And this is one of the only ones where I'm like... I really, really, really wish that...
There was no checkpoint? In that whole section? You don't want to see my face right now. Well, you probably do, actually. My patience with the game is rapidly wearing thin right now. It went from like a 9 to like a fucking 7. Nah, a 6 with this last section. Maybe even a 5 with this last section because it's just been shit. Boss fight was great. Combat still feels great. Just far, far, far too much faffing. Not enough fast travel. Not enough quality of life stuff that should be basics. I'm not playing Symphony of the Night fucking, you know, 20 years ago. Uh, you know. To be fair, I don't think I don't think Super Metroid has as much backtracking as this, and that's like fucking 30 years old at this point. It might do. I, it's been a long time since I played it. I, mean, I was a kid when I played it, so. Can you guys just stop fucking being cunts, please? Have I been up there? Kind of, but not mate, not really. This is the only way I can think of going if I can last, if I survive long enough to do it. The wall jumping is not bad, by the way. Like, it feels pretty good. There, I, that jumping puzzle, though, with the one-hit kill spikes everywhere, I'm just not doing it. Like, I don't, I, I won't, I definitely won't be 100%ing it now, and it's probably the motorcycle part I need for the side quest, but I'm just not doing it, because it's just, it's just... I, sp I died a hundred times. I haven't got the patience to do it. It's, it sucks. It, and, it, and, it's, and there's no checkpoints to it. It's just a mess. Yeah, this is where I needed to go. God damn it. That's like, that's so frustrating. Uh, we escaped from the Golden City, denying the authority of the Garbanzos family. We even denied our old names and gave ourselves new ones. We have gained and exercised freedom, keeping alive our ideals and our connection with the gods of the earth. Well, hopefully this takes me... Are you fucking kidding me? This level is gonna be as big as the previous ones because how did that fucking hit me? Fuck you! By the way, once you, when you're doing the mid air shit, you're fucked. Like, there's no way you're gonna fucking survive. Fortunately, the tentacles don't kill you quite as, as, uh, as much as the other things, so that's okay. This I am definitely going to die on. Yeah. So there's no way I'm surviving that shit. That's alright. Um, I guess we'll press on. I'm going to try and calm down and enjoy myself again and just hope that there's that the reach on this dog shit like unreasonable dog shit uh, i feel like the game is getting unnecessarily fiddly at this point when it was it was so perfect beforehand like the the range on these is just bollocks like it's just not fun to fight them fuck you Hmm, I don't think there's anything up there. Oh. Oh, I really wanted a fatality on him for the fucking health and shit, but at least we got this stuff. The only thing really holding back my upgrades now is money. Like, I could upgrade a lot. If I had loads of money, I could upgrade pretty much everything. And the wall jump, by the way, does add a nice, like, uh, ability to do avoid things. Problem is, like, this shit is just unacceptable to have this far into the game. Like, it's suddenly, like... like it's just, it's just, it's just not fun. It's just shit. Okay, that's the problem. It's not fun, it's shit. I feel like I'm constantly, just constantly replaying hours of fucking gameplay at the moment. Like a Souls game. And this isn't a Souls game. Because you don't lose shit. Oh, it's a shame, it's a shame. 
I don't want to complain too much. I need to try and calm down. I am tilted, which is making me more angry. Like, that was just bullshit! I was fucking rolling the whole fucking time and it did nothing! Jesus Christ, I'm gonna die in this fucking shithole room again. Because... Might be alright now, I've got this guy stuck down here with me. Health. I do wonder if I should kill the dickheads, maybe that'll help. We're alive. We got past the shit. We got past the shit. Okay. Up we go. Checkpoint. Thank fuck for that. Missed something over here. Let's go and see what it is. Well, it's a crate. Oh, we need to... Can we go from underneath there? Yeah, we can. It's just, it's just hidden. Hmm. Maybe I can't. Like, I can't get the wall here. It's too fucking low. Look. I should be sticking to that side wall, but it, it just doesn't do it. Oh, well. I don't care enough at the moment. I'm, I'm done looking for secrets, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm too annoyed. Yeah, the wall, the wall stick is not working. There we go. It just seems a bit RNG there. Like, if you're gonna have wall jump, make it work. Have it stick straight away. Boom, done. Well, I'm dead because I immediately fucking fell down in front of the guy that does a 90 fucking damage hit combo on you that's unavoidable in seconds. Excellent. He's doing I can't get out. I can't get out of this fucking shit fucking hole pit. Fuck you. I actually can't jump up there. There we go. Was that giving birth to these things? The babe, the, the, these things? <laughs> I'm seething. I am absolutely fucking seething. There we go. Get health back. This respawning was bollocks. Like, it's fucked me. Yeah. This, this room, again, I'm in another situation where I'm just dying constantly with no fucking variety or fucking ability to progress and I'm maxed out now so I can't even grind to fucking power up and make it easier. Holy shit! Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you so fucking much. Fuck you. I can't even get where I want to go at the moment, which is really annoying. Might be alright now. Glides are dealt with. He's dealt with. Fucking arsehole. Give me some fucking health back, you fuck. Actually got full health, but still. Done? Fuck you. Oh my god. I don't know if the game is getting more bullshit or I'm just so fucking annoyed at the fucking spike section still that I can't get over the fact that... Oh my god, another one? Hey, at least they stay done. At least I don't have to redo that previous one. Yeah, I'm dead. 
fucking flies are never going to give you a fucking chance against that shit. If you can't get rid of the nest in about 0.2 seconds, the fucking bull bullets of the flies will just kill you because they're, they're so powerful and so obnoxious and they just you're just fucked. There you go. I'm going to go for another nest is going to spawn. The nest. They spawn these because it try and catch tries to catch you out. That wasn't good by me, but at least I finished the fucking room. Woo! And at least there's a checkpoint there. A locked door up here. I have a key for this area. The door's been unlocked, Cherry. Let's go, yeah. So I bought the key from the zombie guy. I wonder if this is going to be an optional area. Great start. It looks like it probably is an optional area, yeah. That nest stays in the fucking challenge room? That's the first time anything has respawned in the challenge room in the entire game, by the way. I give up. I can't do it. Game score is now a 5 out of 10 for more fucking bollocks shite that shouldn't be in the game. Just dog shit. Just dog shit. Those spike rooms. Just utter shite. Like, they're terrible. They're uh, like, I'm so I can't put into words how triggered I am by their presence. Like, it's... It's extracted all the fun from the game for me. We fought and defeated the enemy by exploiting the alliance with mutants and our ter territory's hostile conditions. But that defeat has not stopped our enemy, who threatens to commit genocide against our people. I know for a fact that if we give them a chance to act, we may not be able to defend ourselves this time. It would be better for us to take them by surprise. We attacked them using the underground freight elevator that leads to the Golden Tower. So she's going to tell us about the freight, ele freight elevator. We are just doing the story now. I'm not doing any side stuff. If there's a side, if there's like a weapon in the way, sure, I might grab it like as an item. But I am not doing any, I'm not backtracking anymore. I'm not doing any more side stuff. It's shown that the it's willing to just do shit that is not fun. Like, holy shit, it's bad. And it's such a shame. Only one of four. Oh, I pressed the wrong fucking button. I was doing the wrong thing. That's my bad. I'm just tilted that it exists. Alright, that's going to unlock that door at least. So that's good. I was enjoying this so much. And I'm just fucking livid. Holy shit. Alright, that's a shortcut unlocked. Back to the main area. This morning, only first managed to return safely from battle. Our main mission has failed. Many of our comrades died in the attempt to sabotage the production of DWK 300 and 400. I know for a fact that if we give them the chance to act, we may not be able to defend ourselves this time. It would be better for us to take them by surprise. However, we have managed to cause considerable damage to the headquarters of the Golden Tower. My daughter, Punani, stood out into battle. She even managed to cut off the hands of the Scion of the Gabaznos. She will be a great leader one day. After the last battle, our military forces were considerably reduced. The danger of an enemy assault still remains a real threat. This morning, I headed to the Krakos camp and asked for their help to defend our sector from possible future invasions. Moreover, new barricades will be erected around our village and no foreigners will be allowed to enter our territory. We won't let our guard down. How close am I to the fucking objective? Not too far now. I just want to get there. Nothing else matters anymore. Oh. This room looks sus. Like, suspiciously suspicious. I 
I don't like this. This is a new area. Why am I going to a new area? Why am I in the crystal pits? How do I get back to where I was? Where's the way for- <laughs> Ah! <laughs> hey, at least I've unlocked a shortcut there. Excellent. Alright. I'll accept it. That's where we were earlier. I have no idea how these levels interconnect this way. Like, it doesn't seem, like, feasible from, like, the way the maps- oh, No, I guess it is. No, I guess it is. I'm wrong. It is. Alright, so... Where was I the fucking supposed to go? <laughs> ah! Everywhere's a dead end! Alright, at least I got some more money. I can upgrade at least two more things now, it looks like, so that's probably useful. I'd really like to max out one of the weapons, so I can, um... Uh, have, like, just the maximum damage possible for boss fights and things. I see, we're gonna go up here. Oh my god. Grayson. My patience with this game is wearing considerably thin. I was trying to do a lot of different things. I've given up. I'm just doing the main story now. The side stuff's getting so difficult that I just can't do it. Like, it's not even the combat. It's like platforming with one hit kills if you make a mistake. And then you have to redo everything if you fail. Hey, we made it, I think, to the Rebel HQ. Whoa, wait a minute. Where the fuck do you think you're going? You want in, you need to bring us the heart of an enemy. You find those bastards on top of the Numa chambers. Hang on. Oh shit, we need to beat the penis heads. We actually do need to beat the penis heads now. Whatever happens, I have to go and kill the dickheads. I love the fact that there is no fucking way of teleporting out of here, by the way. They didn't put a teleport point next to the fucking exit. <laughs> They're like, actually, no, we want you to suffer. No, there might be a teleport point here. The Krakos are worried. I've heard that some of them were devoured by a very powerful creature that roams the mutant cemetery. They call this creature the Arakunda. In exchange for their help, they asked me to take this monster's head and bring it to them as a trophy. It will be a true challenge. I don't want to risk the lives of my people again, so I will act alone. I'm a very good hunter. There is no beast that can outwit me. This person is clearly dead. Where am I now? Actually, where am I? Okay, there's a teleport point near me. It's not a great location for it, but it is better than nothing. Yeah, I am done looking for secrets. I am done with it all. I'm done. 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 Just gonna finish the game. We're beeline to the objectives. No detours. No bollocks. We're gonna go and kill the dickheads. If I don't die to this fuck. Which I might. Alright. Dickheads, here I come. Well, I don't actually know. It said kill- it said bring us the heart of a monster, right? No, that's not the Numa Chambers, because you leave the Numa Chambers. So this must be it. It must be the dickheads. Let's see how badly this goes. Okay, so it's going better than I thought it would. I'm gonna die here, but that's alright. Gonna have to learn the fight. Yeah. Best I've done! That was actually pretty good. I almost got both of them down evenly, which is kind of weird, actually. I'm not quite sure how that happened. But still. Dickheads. 
think this is much more doable now than it was. That was terrible by me. Ah, oh, I almost got the gun one down. Don't know if I should just focus him or not. Like, it's hard to tell what the best option is. It's going to be a few more tries at least. Maybe, like, I would say, like, at least 10, I'm going to be honest with you. Him shooting at close range like that is dog shit. Like, there's nothing you can do about it either. Shooter's nearly dead, but it's gonna kill me. Me health back, please. No, no health back. Bullshit. Ah, oh, okay. One down, but dealing with both, it's gonna be really, really tough. Bullshit! That fucking second shot is dog shit. It's unavoidable trash. Might have a chance. Heal again. Okay, focus up. Yeah! Dickheads down! Fuck you. Fuck you. The bosses are quite... Are quite simple compared to some of the shit in the game. Raz, you're there. Hey, come in, Raz. You hear me? What's up? Maybe I should look one of Shinji's logs. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we get their heart? I don't think we did. Unless it's here. Oh yeah, hot call, there we go. This is probably the tower, right? Oh no, just takes us back to the new tubes. Holy shit, that was brutal, but we did it. We fucking did it. Oh my god. I was, I'm so pissed, but happy at the same time. 
I wish I knew how to get in here. Well, I think I do. You need to do wall jumps from down there. But I'm not going to go out my way to look for shit now. It's just... It's just too risky. Like, I don't want to spend fucking hours doing fucking... Terrible jumping puzzles that just aren't fun. You know? I'm not- I'm not doing anything that is- that gives me Ori in the Blind Forest vibes. Or Ori in the fucking Willow the Wisps. God. I hate them so much, I'm sorry! Just talking about them makes me angry! Alright, anyway. Let's go back to the diner to upgrade and read the log. And then we'll, uh, continue on to where whats her face is. Oh my god. Alright, Shinji's logs. Three. It took several days to find the courage to start writing my log again. I'm beginning to suspect that someone is following me. Have they noticed me snooping? I cannot know. Maybe my paranoia is unfounded, or maybe I'm just feeling the weight of these horrible secrets. Today I discovered new details about the dark and never mentioned past of the infinite. Back from the expedition to the center of the megastructure, Victor Garbanzos managed to steal one of those minerals that floated undisturbed on the core. It seemed that by removing it from its original position, the natural balance of all things has been altered. 212 years later, the mysterious minerals stood in their hands. They call it the Red Seed. It'll be mine very soon. Okay, so that's what they're saying we stole. Which Shinji clearly did, but we did not. And we have one ability left to get. Okay, we fully upgraded the, um, the fist. Max level. Now we can focus on doing the other ones. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Feel good about beating the dickheads, at least. Let's say the, co the the combat is good. When I'm not really angry, I like the combat. The problem is, the platforming is so fiddly and floaty and bleh that it ruins the, the combat balance. Alright, I need to go right down. I think these, I mean, these are both e e like fairly equidistant to each other. I'm going to try and get, do the fucking thing up here, because it shouldn't be that difficult to do. And I know it's not some horrific jumping puzzle, it's just like normal fucking gameplay. Oh, Only two? I swear I punched a lot more of that in. Gonna get up there for me? You're not gonna get up there. You're too fat. Oh well, never mind. Not gonna lose any sleep over it, we're gonna keep going. Uh, down, just, just down. And now, hopefully, as we have the heart of the dickhead, he, the heart of the dickhead is a funny sounding thing. They will be like, oh my god, you're so numb, and just let us in. Wow, dickhead heart, no shit, welcome, go through, you've reached the village in no time. Oh, we got there. Great trophy, welcome to Bastardville, sister. Our great leader, Padani the Rebel Princess, awaits you. Oh, this is Bastardville. Okay, so it's a separate map, it's gonna be, it is gonna be a separate map. We've been to Bastardville briefly though already. I'm hoping this is a bit chill, this area, and they're just like, oh, we're friends. Like, that would be nice. This is a shortcut back to the other area here, look. May as well open it. All done. We already cleared that area out, by the way. I don't know if I showed it on camera or not, but I don't care if I did or didn't. We're gonna move on. Lots of boobies, so I'm on board. Well, the hell are you doing here? How'd you get past my men? My people, my territory, babe. Burn scraps of my light and welcome here. Time to cut you down to so Oh, boss fight. Oh, shit.
She has a lot of health. Like, way more than anyone else in the game. Which makes sense, as she's the furthest boss in so far, you know? Hoping to get some heals in here before she kills me. Might actually do it. And we won! First time! You're so goddamn annoying. Annoying. You're the one that attacked us, psycho chick. An irrational course of action for a leader. A better strategy would have been to assess the level of hostility before returning to violence. You, robot. Name and primary function. Now. The name's Cherry, you goddamn lunatic. And down here, I'm Regina. As for my primary mission, can't remember. Then you're a defective, violent scrap of metal, and I'm like, oh, welcome outsider. And a fucking Denzel. Yeah, well, your bitch-ass gads let me in, Panani. Fuck off, how the hell do you know me? You some sort of goddamn bounty hunter? Announcing to us that we're in your territory and that you hate damsels is all the evidence we need to know who you are. I'm done talking, bitch. Let go, you and me. One, let's go, one, you and me, one more time. Relax, we're not bounty hunters and I don't have time to kick your bony ass a second time. Miss Punani, please lower your temper. We are rebels fighting infinite just like yourself. That's some serious bullshit. Denzels don't even know what rebellion means. Denzels have a vocabulary of more than 60,000 words. I'm sure if it's missing rebellion, it could be effortlessly defined and added for their reference. Regina, shush. Panani, listen. We just need some infinite down. We need to take infinite down. We need your help. Well, looky what do we have here. Girls always seem to gravitate towards each other. Shit, we've been located. How the hell do they hack us? Hack, please. I own your network, you pathetic little brats. God damn it, it's you again. Can't you do anything besides threaten us from the other side of that screen? Silence. I bet you'd love to know how Scissors Girl here fared against me the last time she and her goons attacked us. It was rather pitiful, honestly. Yeah, that sleaze will try to slip his hand where the sun don't shine. A little snip stit and those fingers of his were useless. Easily replaced, my dear. The number of fingers I lost? Insignificant compared to the number of friends you lost. Next time, we'll see if we can slip those seven digits up your ass. Oh man, I'll help. This shithead definitely has it coming. Let's join up and take this guy down. Dibs on his tongue. It's not very useful, so the least we can do is turn it into a trophy. Gross, you do you, girl. Love the suicidal enthusiasm. So it's settled, you're on your way. Good, it'd be a real shame if you died before you got here. Sending my boys down to Barstable in the meantime. Prepare for an earthquake, it'll shake you down. You weren't bullshitting, huh? You really are a rebel. It's about time you get caught up, so you're helping us or not? I still don't like you, you're loud, you're rude, but Salem Garbanzos, I like him even less. He's way worse than you. You got it, Denzel, we're partners for now. Cool, small favor, keep up and don't die. Easy peasy, I'm not the one that has to carry an ass wider than these shoulders up the staircase. And I'm not the one with fucking balls on my head. Settle down, you two. I'm no longer satisfied with either of your attitudes. Focus on the mission at hand. Fine. Your sensitive friend is okay. Let's get figure. Let's figure out the plan. The only viable access to the Golden Tower is on the western side of Bastardville. The last time we fought them, we sabotaged the elevator that connected our area to theirs. So you'll need to upgrade and power up your sweet metal ass in order to climb up there. If you manage to get to the surface, we'll meet you there. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Now fuck off. Guess we're going to the west side of Bastardville, but we need a new ability first, by the sounds of things. That was a lot of fucking money. And nothing else, really, but we can go up here, so. It's my workshop and stuff. God damn, man, what rig's in here? Oh, you know, my mold. You smoke, I can get you some of the good shit. Yeah, thanks, man, but I'm okay. That's all you got? See some tools, what are they for? He's clearly inebriated, we should leave him alone. Please, let's go. Well, that's fucking wild, man. I'd totally be tripping if my big boy started ordering me around. Eyes up here, Stonic. How about answering my question, if you can remember it? Oh yeah, wait, shit. You gotta take it slow, once more from the top. What do you do for a living? Ah, uh, mechanic. Okay, and you have potential customers standing right in front of you, so... I do? Yeah, man, so how about a little customer service? You're serious? Okay, it's not every day I see a dancer looking so human. You're making it a fine-ass job. Props. But these hands, I can turn fine ass into perfect. You're that confident, huh? Of course I am, Bay. Take a look at what I can do for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We can upgrade our health again. And our damage. I'm doing the health. But we definitely could do with the damage upgrade. Ass kicker level 3 to ass kicker level 4. That's fucking great. Just need to remember to come back here. But we need a new skill first before we're going to get anywhere else, so... 
question is, where are we going to find it? Oh, right here, potentially, actually. In fact, this is it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I have to equip it. I think. Yeah, I do. Yep. 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 We can go anywhere now, pretty much. Now the question is, where is this elevator? It's up here, clearly. I feel like the design of Bastardville is very, you know, like, counterproductive to, like, surviving. You know, it's like... I don't really want to go this way for now. It's like... How does anyone get around here? Oh, this is the dead end this way. Oh, actually, it's not a dead end. I don't like the fact I have to change abilities so much. But, a bunch more money, which we definitely need for that fucking other upgrade. It'd be really, really nice, I will say, to get that damage up. Because it'll mean we're, we're fully powered up with everything. So, it's probably worth, you know, the exploration. Just not sure where to go from here, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I guess up and around, maybe? I do, I, I do the wrong jump every time. Every fucking time. Yeah, definitely. First thing I do when I get more money is coming back here to, um... God, everyone's a fucking dead end. To, um... Uh, get that uh, damage upgrade. I think it's just going to be super worth it in the end. God, there's loads of places to go, isn't there? I'm going to have a look around a bit, I guess. Like... Oh, that's locked as well. Interesting. That's locked. How am I going to get in there? I'm back where I started now. God damn it. I didn't realize. Fuck. Well, whatever. Uh, I think we get the general gist of where we got to go, I think. It must be just up the main area, because I can't really see anywhere else to get around. That door's locked. And I don't know how to unlock it, and I'm not going to fucking spend hours trying to do it at this point. We're going to go to the right, and then up this bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, hopefully this goes towards the elevator. This seems like it probably is the right way. Hey kiddo, can you hear me? Loud and clear. I got... Alright. Oh, we found a way to the Golden Tower. No shit, great work kiddo. I need to prepare for the final fight. You're goddamn right, man. I really hope this is actually nearly the end. The game has outlasted its welcome for me now at this point. We should go back and read those logs when we get a chance. Well, I think we climbed the elevator, which is good. And probably got to the final area of the game, I'm going to assume. The Golden Tower or whatever the fuck this is. Unless there's like another area that we need to get through first. Here we are, detecting signs of Shinji's life energy. We're not far away. I've updated the objective on the map. We have made it to the Golden Tower. Guessing things are going to get even more bullshit here. But we'll see. I'm going to be honest with you, I just like a bunch of back-to-back -back boss fights. I would feel most comfortable with that. 
Danger alert, code 111. Intruders have infiltrated the Golden Tower. All units prepare for battle. Oh, I haven't seen you for a while. In fact, we've only seen you once before. That's a crap finisher. Oh, that was fun, that one. This is one of the. This, oh, you know I said I wanted the boss rush. This is literally one of the bosses. I think that went pretty well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't even have the best, the best damage upgrade yet. This, on the other hand, is already triggering me. This is a main objective dungeon with the spike bullshit. And with the way this, this shit controls... And how massive the hitboxes on the spikes are... I predict that this might be unplayably shit. We'll see. Fuck getting any objectives, we're just gonna fucking keep going forward. Because there's just no point. If we get a teleporter, I'll teleport back to Bastard Town and get the health upgrade when I have enough money, which I need like 2,000 for. Oh, these spawn those guys that spawn the other guys. It's kind of funny. But uh, other than that, I am not um, not even going to try. Not, when, those spike, when those spike jumping in this game is involved, not worth trying. Let's move on. Again, like, you can't steer in this game well enough for this to be an acceptable way of fucking... A, a part of the game. See? Like, it's just, this is gonna take me, like, 50 fucking tries, because you can't fucking angle yourself in a fucking straight line! Oh my god. I hope we find a teleporter in here, by the way, I was going to lose my fucking mind. Because I do want to get that other bonus upgrade. And there is, technically, you, we could grind for other upgrades now that make things easier. In terms of, like, the combat and stuff. But the combat hasn't been too bad, that's not the problem. The problem is the fucking spikes! I do like the fact that you can cannon into enemies with that, and it's so fucking useful at doing it. I'll take it. Oh shit. Sorry, I'm focusing a lot here, guys, because this is getting really relentless. Which it should... The, the combat, so good. Like, it flows so well, I say, as I get wrecked here. I'm not quite sure what that finishing move is. Like, it's like they deflate. I'm not going to 
to chase you down there. Sorry, dude. Another checkpoint, which is good. I'm glad these enemies are made to come back. They're like the easiest thing in the fucking game to kill. Knew that was I could see that happening a mile away just because of the fucking traction the game has is just terrible. If there's the spikes, the hitbox will find a way to collide with your body when you're nowhere near it. It's just like a written rule, I feel. Wow, the knockback on that was bad. Oh, I can't knock this guy back, actually, I just realised. Oh, I am fucked here. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm trapped in a tiny space with enemies that do crazy amounts of damage. Whew! That was on me. And to be fair, most of the deaths in this are on me. I am aware of that. But the spike stuff... This is the thing, right? I really like this genre, but it's it, for the most part, I find it very difficult to play because of how tricky it is, right? Like, it's very, very... But a lot of Metroidvanias thrive on trying to do this Souls-like difficulty that sucks. And what I really hated about this one is it didn't have that, and then it did. If that makes sense. Like, it was not super difficult, but then it became super difficult as the, uh, as the game continued. And it was like... Like, if you're going to be a hard game, fine. But just like, let me know from the beginning so I can decide not to play it. And it's the only difficulty in this is from the spikes. Like, the combat isn't that difficult. If the spikes were, like, just, uh, you know, just damaged you for X amount and then you could recover, it would be absolutely great. Like, even if it was, like, 50 or 60 damage per hit, like a really high damage thing, and then you could have a second chance, I would love it. But because it's the one hit kill and it's so fiddly, because the, 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 the aerial controls on this are a bit, a bit shit. Um, it just doesn't have the precision that it needs. You know what I mean? It's not as bad as, um... God damn it. It's not as bad as, uh... Oh, God, the fucking checkpoints. The checkpoints are garbage, however. Like, it's like... Like... I feel like they just weren't tested. It just... It's just... Uh, I, I, I don't understand why, pe why anyone would want to replay as much as some of the checkpoints make you replay in this. I've nearly got enough fucking... I'm gonna leave these guys alone for now, because there's so many fucking enemies, it's getting ridiculous. Oh, okay, that's a dead end. Bye. Yes! That's what I wanted. Alright. What I do want to do... I hope that this could be, like, the, the boss, right? Oh, no, it's not. Where is the boss? Focusing. This should give me enough money, by the way, to go and get the damage upgrade. That is bullshit. Focus. Just don't let him get up. Finishing move. Health. This guy is nowhere near as hard as he was when we first fought him. It shows like how, as you learn the combat, the game gets significantly like more fluid in terms like that. 
Didn't mean. Oh god damn it! I fucked that up. Oh wow! See, that was just the room. That was fine. All right, let's go and buy that fucking damage upgrade because that's gonna make a big difference. I think the damage upgrade we should be prioritized. There, he does sell other useful stuff, but um, Bastaville, we want. I don't know which one of these we want actually. I think it's. I think it's this one. I don't know. We'll find out. And we should go and read those vlogs because we got the last two. We got all the logs now, so yeah, it's this one. Um. So once we've read those, we'll have, like, most of the lore. I've liked the lore of this, by the way. I feel like being a Metrovania holds it back a bit, unfortunately. All right. Uh, upgrade components. Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, my God. That was my bad. I completely fucking fucked that up. Oh, well. Never mind. I say we completely fucked it up. We nearly have enough. We're so close. Maybe if I look for some treasures, I'll find something here. So I don't have to teleport back yet. Like, this looks like a teleport treasure route, right? Oh my god, I'm like 50 short. Okay, I should be able to find that here, and then we can go and buy it. Especially in this, like, I say neutral area. It's not that neutral, but you know what I mean. I'm leaving this room! I don't want to... <laughs> Oh my god, it's a fucking Undertale reference! I'm not reading this. I'm too mortified by its presence. Bring me a rare object and I'll give you a powerful thing. Sure. Oh, he gave me something. Are you really pissed off? Time to go into a death machine. Unleash the full power of Mecha Cherry. How done I'll be to release a storm of fist. The longer how the more damage and void consumption it'll do. Holy shit, he just gave me a bunch of cool shit. Like, we got... Holy shit, I think we just brought him everything we needed. That said, that might have, um... That might mean that we can't afford to do the fucking thing. Oh, the damage upgrade! No! I didn't know he was gonna do that! We just gave him every fucking item in the game. I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh my god. This is cursed. Okay, we have enough thing. I'm gonna go and check, but I've got ba a bad, bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling that Phoebe Fox, Phoebe Tox, whatever his name is, the the furry, has uh, stolen our entire supplies, and we are doomed beyond all belief now. I'm right. We haven't got the beast gland. Well. God, I'm triggered. I'm so fucking triggered right now. And it's entirely my fault for being a complete idiot dickhead moron. Oh, well. Hopefully we can figure this out. No. I need to go and re I want to read the things. Teleport to the diner. We can buy a beast gland here from the zombie guy. We should hand over the component we found as well. All right. Shinji's log three. It took several days to find the courage to start writing my log again. I'm beginning to suspect that someone's following me. Have they noticed me snooping? I cannot know. Maybe my paranoia is unfounded, or maybe I'm just feeling the weight of their horrible secrets. Today I discovered new details about the dark and ever-mentioned past of the infinite. Back from the expedition to the center of the megastructure, Victor Garbanzos managed to steal one of those minerals that floated undisturbed on the core. Oh, I already read this. Oh, here we go. Yesterday I had the perfect opportunity to act. Puyami's troops invaded Infinite's headquarters, taking the Golden Tower by surprise. In the chaos, the attention of the armed forces was greatly reduced, so it was a piece of cake for me to sneak into the O2Y magnetic containment room. Regina helped me take out the surveillance cameras and turn off the alarms. The Red Sea was there, floating inside a magnetic silo. I can't describe the immediate influence that mineral had on me. It was a feeling of total wonder and attraction that made me act with incredible resolve. I took it quickly and disappeared. There's no going back now. Salem Garbanzos and his special units will take a while to figure out what happened, but I'm sure they'll connect my disappearance to the theft of the Red Seed. I can't afford to waste precious time. I have to get to work. 
I have no more words to express my deep hatred for the Garbanzos family. There's nothing noble in their line. How can they turn the soul of a dead into an industrial resource? How can death be used as a tool for increasing the workforce? The power of the Red Seed is frightening. I must stop this damn uh, damnation. The souls contained within the metallic bodies are forced to perpetual bondage. They drive our cars, they cook for us in restaurants, they feed our factories, they build our houses, they serve us, they kill us. Denzel's so tra trapped in an electro-titanium body. That's what hell is. Okay, something else I want to do while I'm here. Oh my god, that not get launched through a fucking tube that I was trying to jump on top of. Let's go and talk to him. Oh, I haven't found all the bits yet, I guess. Um, bye. I need... A beast gland. So I should be able to buy one still pretty soon. I uh, should be able to get that upgrade pretty soon. That's the last beast gland I needed, so it's not that big a deal. They only cost 300, which is not, like, insane. I've got a horrible feeling this Golden Tower dungeon is going to be, like, fucking hours long, though, unfortunately. Which I hope not, because I feel like at this point, it, it'd be great to just be, like, to blast through. I hope there's a teleport before the last boss too. I saw spikes, I'm moving. That literally was bullshit. And he's a bull, so that actually makes sense. Get fucked. Don't really know where I'm going, by the way. I'm just all like panic exploring and just hoping that we find the way forward as we go. Well, there's an upgrade up there, so that's what I want. Turn this off. We can do that. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just sort of panicking and hoping that we find something worthwhile here. We demand the recognition of the one true history and devotion of the noble president, glory and tributes to the fallen leaders and soldiers, and shame and death of the traitors of the palace. Lovely. Oh, that was I, that was the combo that he killed me with back in the fucking day. Back in the day, a few days ago when I was playing this bit. There's a dickhead? Oh, that was it? Pretty chuffed with that, to be honest with you. This looks like fucking AIDS. It is! Wow! I could tell just by the room existing that it was going to be a complete fucking waste of my fucking day! Fuck the spikes! Fuck the one-hit kills! It's so shit! Fuck them! Why did I go through the platform? I'm trying to figure that out. I don't know. It didn't make any fucking sense. Why would I do that? Why would that be a thing? Why would I go through the platform once... Fucking... Fuck! Just land on the fucking platform next time. Just land on the fucking... I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this, because this looks like dog shit. And... Oh! You can't hold it forever, by the way. It just does it. 
Why? Why? Why ruin the fun? I hate it! I, I just... I, I just... I just want to fight the boss. I just want to get to the top and have a really fun boss fight. The boss fights are great. I love them. I love them. Why do you have to ruin it with this shit? This fiddly fucking garbage fucking platforming shit. I'm aimed at the fucking corner. Okay, just, just stay calm. Just stay calm. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Not fine because it's shit. Not fine because it's just a. Uh, God, I. Okay. I, I, I don't know if this is just a. I have severe ADHD, right? Like, and I, I don't like. I don't want to be medicated for it because I don't like. I don't like being medicated for it, okay? But I hate things that involve me having to wait. Like, they dri it drives me fucking nuts. And I consider this waiting for the fucking spikes and things. The platforms and things. Fucking hate it. Holy shit. Every time I press the wrong button because it feels like the wrong thing, to, the right thing to press. I don't know what to do here, except die horribly. Okay, we're past the spikes, we're past more spikes. Please give me a checkpoint. Oh, thank fuck. But more spikes! More of this shit! More waiting for fucking platform shit! Fuck! What do you do about this shit? Like, I don't get it. It's just... It's always fucking leaving as I want to fucking go forward as well. I hate it. This might be... See what I mean about the hitbox, by the way? Just... I'm here. I jump up. I die. No, I, I don't know if I can do this, guys. I don't know if I have the patience for any more rooms of this shit. It's so far up. It's so far up. I, fuck! Holy shit, this is just terrible! Don't know what happened there. Don't care. Just keep going. There better be an elevator that skips like 50 fucking floors, by the way, at the end of all this. Fuck you. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. I can't just go. How am I alive? How am I alive? And why did it just do- why did it just- it just- Just go, Please give me a checkpoint. I don't want to do this again. Please, 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 please. This is the worst thing. Like, ever. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. I see where the ball goes. That's good. It's not spikes. I'm really concerned that we're gonna have more bullshit spikes. I almost quit Blasphemous because of the spikes as well. Uh, but at least in that, it's just like one dungeon. In this, it's just all the fucking time after a certain point.
me health. Definitely could do with that damage upgrade. So I looked it up. I am very, very close to the end. Like, like 10 minutes close. Oh my god, I did it. That took fucking half an hour! Oh god. Oh my god. How the fuck did I do that? How the fuck did I do that? Oh god, more spikes. More spikes. More bollocks. What did this do? Oh, there's a way up to the left. Oh, thank fuck. Oh my god. We're so close to the end. This might be the last tube in the game. This might be the- I know it looks miles on the map, but it actually isn't as far as it looks. Alright. We need to go to... Bastard Town... This one. To get the upgrade. I have enough of everything now to go and get the final upgrade. We're good. We're Gucci. <sighs> All right. Damage upgrade activated. Okay. We're so close, everyone. I could smell victory. It's also like, like a delirious relief. Um, I've got three points left. Anything else worth equipping that I've got? Might as well regenerate void over time as well, going into these final fights. All right, yeah, so I checked our long play. Um, I am on four minutes 35 of four minutes 50 of this video. Obviously my playthrough took a lot longer than that, but I did, this is like uh, just only doing objectives, no side stuff, this long play, so. Which is what I should start doing, by the way. I need to learn a lesson. Because I would like, if I, if I hadn't done all the side shit in this game, I would have liked it a lot more than I did. So it's got to be another dickhead. This guy's gonna kill me. Fuck you! I was gonna say, this guy's gonna fucking kill me because he's a dick. I had a fucking asshole, prick, fucking dickhead. I mean, he literally is a penis head. Don't know why that, added, that happened there. Don't know why they're kicking me around so easily here, but... Uh, well, they didn't do before, but... The other one didn't aggro last time, but this time it did, unfortunately. Ah, uh, Bullshit? I'm starting to get angry. Entirely my fault that I'm failing here, obviously, but still. I mean, I will say, like, on the platforming, it's still my fault. I just don't like the design. That's my biggest beef. I just want to clarify that, right? This version of the dickhead is, uh, really shit. Like, the, the homing bullets... ...are just bullshit. Like, they- he, he's firing them constantly. The other guy, the main dickhead boss, only did that twice, like, ever. In the fucking whole sequence. But that guy's just like, yeah, I'm gonna do it every fucking time. 
I'm not quite sure what happened to him there. He was full health and he still died. It's like me that time when I had 20 health left and I, uh... Alright. This shit is lame. I'm dead. I'm dead because it, the fucking homing bullets just fuck you! Holy shit, that's obnoxious. It just does it every fucking few seconds! What am I supposed to fucking do about it? I'm gonna be in this fucking room for like 20 fucking minutes? And the other dickhead fucking rag road this time, so I'm fucked this time. Get fucking health back, you fucker. But also, the void regeneration is garbage. I'm glad I didn't fucking waste fucking battery points on it until now. Fuck you. Fuck you. Much better. Get fucked. Get fucked, asshole. Fucking do this. This is gonna take us all the way up to the top. Of this checkpoint. I'm guessing that's a shortcut to somewhere that I missed. Oh, here's the big elevator. I said there'd be a big elevator. It's gonna be a big fight, isn't it? Can't jump in this. That's a shame. I like to like jumping in elevators on the SNES games on these on like side squad and beat 'em ups, and then watching it fall down further than it actually is. Please be a checkpoint before the fight. That would be great. Hmm. I'm sussy of this, but. Fuck it. What is this shit? What is this garbage? Garbage is what it is, but still, we made it. Very close now. Holy shit. Is this a dead end? Better not be. That's like the Sex Pistols and Marilyn Manson, he looks like. That, that, I'm pretty sure that is Marilyn Manson. There's nowhere out this room. What is the point of this room? I think this is a Easter egg for a start, which is great and everything, but I'd rather just finish the game <laughs> at this point. There's the door. It's on top of the fucking elevator. So I'm going to have to go. Oh, my God. This is just like a secret under the elevator thing. It completely optional. Very much not worth the time. If that gave me like a super mega weapon that was like the best weapon in the game, sure. That was worth it. But it was definitely not worth it. Definitely not. Okay. Alright, let's go. Across. I have a lot of Metroidvanias to play, and I've definitely learned my lesson not to go exploring too much in these ones from now on. Oh, look, there's what's the face. Hey, Cherry, you found the bastard yet? Not yet. Bummer, well, don't worry about this garbage. We'll take out the trash. You go on ahead. Thanks, sis. You're all right. Changed the voice completely there, as you can tell. Thanks, sis. I'm a Yakuza. Let's fucking go. Get 
probably the last one of these. Yep, this is it. Should be the last trial of your journey, Chair. Are you certain you're ready? I'm gonna die immediately. It's time to beat the living shit out of this monster. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna teleport to town and back, because then it'll heal me, which is stupid. Hang on, does editing components heal you? No. Teleporting heals you, but editing co This is- that's such a- Just give me a heal option! Heal at the booth. That's all I need. Just a heal at the booth option. That's all we need. That would be, just, be, just be great. See, I'm full health! Why can't I just have a heal option instead of having to go through a fucking loading screen to heal? God damn it! Alright. Watch me not be able to beat this boss. I think there's probably a true ending. We are not getting the true ending. <laughs> Alright, before we go in. Uh, fist. I want the fist. And I want the... Uh... We're with a slingshot for now, but we might change our mind. Cherry. Shinji, what did he do to you? Damage analysis, concussion, two broken ribs, broken left tibia, 40 individual wounds, infection caused by internal bleeding. Cherry, it's all right, we failed. Don't say that, I'm here now. We're going to get you back home. We, we saved you. Cherry, Shinji is right. In her current condition, we cannot remove her. Her infection's far too severe. She not, will not recover. Shut up! We're here and we're going to save her. We're going home and she's going to heal and... You shouldn't be here, Cherry. The mission. You can't abandon your mission. What are you talking about? My mission is to take care of you. The red seed I put inside you. Your head. It's, it's in your head. Have you forgotten? My head? I don't understand. Shit, your memory. It must have happened in the attack. You've forgotten everything. Shinji, I don't understand. I came here because I love you. I don't fucking care about a goddamn seed. All I want is to be with you again. How it used to be. If you really love me, run. Run far away from here. You can't be here. Salem is coming. Don't let him get you. Cherry, we must leave. Now. What am I supposed to do if you die? Why should I keep on living? One day, you'll fulfill my dream. When your memory returns, you'll understand. You will see the untold truth. Until that day comes, you must promise me, take care of that seed. Is this my fault? There has to be a way to fix you, please! Shinji? Cherry. Wake up! Wake up, Shinji! Cherry, stop. She's gone. I can't handle this pain. It's too much! Cherry, please stay focused. We must accomplish our mission. We must head home with her. No, we're not going home. I still have some bones to shred. All right, Salem. Very well, you really do have the guts to face me for real. Now I get to take back what's rightfully mine. Not a chance, fuckface. You're a dead man. You deserve no mercy for what you did to her. Holy shit. This guy's got a ridiculous amount of health, by the way. I mean, he is the last boss of the game. Apart from, like, the optional mega bosses, I think. There's an optional mega boss, which I'm guessing is his dad. Back away and play it cool. What do I do about that? That was like one hit kill thing. God, why put shit in the fucking fucking? I hate shit like that. It's trial and error bollocks. It's trial and error bollocks, and I hate it. No one likes it. No one enjoys one-hit kill mechanics. No one has ever enjoyed one-hit kill mechanics in the history of video games ever, okay? Nobody! I don't know what to do with that, by the way. We'll just have to worry about it later on, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what this is. What do I do? What do I do? Do I have to really fucking Google what to fucking do? Because that's a joke. I shouldn't have to fucking do that. I should just be able to fucking know because it should be part ex fucking explained. Holy shit. 
I'm so triggered. All right, let's watch. I'm watching a fucking video now because like apparently it's the only fucking way to tell what's happening. I shouldn't have to watch a fucking video to get an idea of what the fuck I'm meant to be fucking doing. He's not even doing it in this fucking video. He's not fucking doing it. He's not fucking... Okay, he's doing it now. Okay, I have to punch him until he interrupts it. <sighs> Regina should say, Hey, Cherry, you should fucking interrupt him. Then I'd be fine. There you go, punched him out of it. Oh, I'm dead. That was my bad. Oh, no, no! Get to heal as well. God damn it. I'm dead. Heal, please. Get it all off. Best I've done so far. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, not bad though. That was better. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna change my weapon to... I'll try the hyperdrive on him. Doesn't hurt to try. Because when he's doing like the super attacks, right, he's really fucking weak. Like he get once he's charging up. It makes it really easy to fucking do crazy damage on him. Kind of useful. Not quite sure what happened there. He kind of teleported completely. So I'm trying to focus, guys.
There you go, Salem. There you fucking go. Suck a fucking dick. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow. That was visceral. Hey kiddo, how you feeling? I really don't know, man. I really don't know. I know it's a top moment for you, I'm broken too. I- I really need some time myself. Kiddo, I think we should- Give me a break, man. I know, I picked a bad time trade, but I still care. There's something you need to know. Alright, do your thing. Bad news, the red seed is consuming your core structure to every one of your systems. Your body's gonna break under the strain. Ain't no time for jokes. I'm dead serious, Cherry. What the hell are you talking about? I don't feel any different. Can we just remove it? Not an option, kiddo. That would kill you instantly. Is it possible to stop the spread? I don't know, I need to research this, but I'll do my best. How long do I have? Probably a year, maybe less, depends on how much of the power you use. A year? What a fucking joke. So this is how it ends. I'm sorry, you two, I don't know how to stop it, I couldn't find anything in Shinji's logs. Really, I can't believe it, she was a hell of a genius. Truth is, the two of you are both useless. Hey, you give me shit, but don't you dare fuck with Shinji's memory. I didn't build her grave, just so you had something to be mad at. You're not the only one in pain, kiddo. She made you, but in a way, she made me too. I get it, grief is new to you, but it's not something that you can beat with your fists. You're right. Sorry, Raz, for everything. You only ever helped me. Helped us. I just miss her so fucking much. I know. I miss her too, but we need to do something about the Red Seed. Don't give in, you and me. We got work to do. You're right. Damn right I'm right. Before you leave, visit Shinji's tomb and pay your respects. Some say the dead can still hear us somehow. Raz. Hmm? Thanks. Thanks for everything you've done for me. You never need to thank a true friend. I don't think this is the end, theoretically. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're here. What am I supposed to say? I really don't think she can hear me. Cherry, you seem upset. Why didn't she tell me? Tell you what? She didn't tell me anything about my primary function, Gina. It's so frustrating. Wait. The feeling, the anger inside of me. It might sound weird, but it feels so familiar. Getting dizzy. It appears traumatic events we went through have helped us restore additional memory systems. We should return home and rest. We might be able to to remember things clearly. Primary function. How dare you! We really have no choice, Cherry. We have to put aside our selfishness and do the right thing. But Shinji, I thought your dream was to be with me forever. Cherry, you must understand there are more important things than you and me. We have responsibilities. The world must know the untold truth. Fuck that. Why is your obsession to save the world stronger than what we have? This has nothing to do with us, Cherry. The megastructure's falling apart. I'm falling apart. Can't you see my illness is getting worse? You're gonna die. Why did you even create me in the first place, huh? Why'd you include me in this plan? You could have done everything without me. Listen, I created you because you were achieve things I could never dream of. I will never regret having you in my life, no matter how short it's been. These have been the best days of my life. It's been a true joy to be with you. What are you talking about? You can't keep dumping even more shit on me. I can't handle this. Pain is part of life, Cherry. I know it sounds unfair, but even if it hurts, you must complete your primary function. You need to bring the Red Seed back to its proper place. You need to bring the Red Seed back to its proper place. And what about you? What are you going to do? I'll get in touch with an old friend. His name is Raz. I'll make sure he protects you and help you during your mission. And then I'll turn myself in. When they come take me, I'll buy you as much time as I can. That's your plan? Yes. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. I'm so sorry, Cherry. <sighs> Gina, I think I wasted enough time. What do you want to do? It's time to leave. We're heading to the core of the megastructure. And that is the end of Cookie Cutter for me. Uh... Oh, wow. Rebirth process complete. Primary function is preset. Awakening begins. Ooh. A post credit scene. Oh, is that the end? Oh, that is the end. I guess this is for next time? The next game, maybe? Oh, it is! I thought that was actually it, but I guess it's not. I guess that's how the game ends. Um, I thought this was great until they started adding in the one-hit kills. Then it reminded me too much of Ori and the Blind Forest, which I think is a bad game. Um, 
I'm sorry for the last the last hour of salt, but the combat was really fun, and I really enjoyed that last boss fight. I really, I, I get salty in boss fights, but I do enjoy them. Like they, were, I thought the the boss fights in this were all really fun, adrenaline pumping things. I like the cutscenes and the characters and the world. I just hate the fucking bullshit rooms, and I feel like they didn't really add much except frustration and. Oh god, this was exhausting to get through the final sort of few areas. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't do everything, but um, I think I did enough to showcase a lot of the game's upgrades and stuff. And I'm glad that we got through it all. I'll put it that way. Uh, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 final score. The the spike bits have... If it hadn't had the spike bits and just had stuck to what it had done throughout the first, like, five areas, four areas, whatever it was, I would have given it a... I probably would have given this a... A much higher score, maybe even an 8.5, but that really brought it down for me and just ugh. And I know some people really like that sort of like hardcore platforming. I don't. I feel like it's just unfair and it just eliminates a huge subset of your player base by putting the skill ceiling too high and I felt that was just too high for me. Like I just couldn't enjoy it. That said, the overall game and the fact that you can get through it for the most part well, without having to deal with the spike shit is good. Um, and I'm glad I played it overall. Cool protagonist, cool story, cool co The combat is amazing. It's great. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. But I wish it didn't have the bullshit platforming. But that's uh, Cookie Cutter. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And um, if there's another one, I will play it, hopefully, with less bullshit platforming in it. Um, but for now, we're moving on. That is the end of this playthrough. Guys, if you can, consider pledging to our Patreon. It, it's the only reason I can make these long plays. This took me like four days to make, working four hours a day. It's going to be even longer to edit. It's going to be a train wreck to put together. But I hope you guys enjoy it, those of you who watched through, through all this. It's only possible because of our Patreon. There's a link in the description. Make sure you drop us a subscription there if you can. It really, really would mean the world to me and help us out immeasurably. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being Nom. That was Cookie Cutter, and that's the end of the playthrough.